and we are live. Excellent. All right. I'm here with Frank and uh, Small Frank. Say hello, Small Frank. Why am I Small Frank now? No, you got to do like a like a high pitched voice for Small Frank. Like do a fake little high pitched. <laughs> Like remember what we uh, were doing for uh for, what's his fucking name Will Wheaton? No, I, I, <laughs> right. Uh, hold on. Oh, hi there, Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Kermit again. <laughs> oh, it's Kurt. It's Kermit it's the again. One voice. Perfect. Well, I'm looking for the the meme that had the the small Frank in it. It was uh, that's fine. I had it on my desktop, but now it's gone. Don't worry about it. Chat. It's uh Fred Knudsen. He uh, has allowed me to, uh, I don't know, talk, he talked me into playing chess with him. Uh, he's going to demolish me. I haven't played chess since I'm like eight or something. Uh, it's it's okay. I'm like, I'm very iffy. My, my problem is that I'm actually still very, like, I understand basic tactics and strategy, but I'm unfamiliar with the game. And so I, and when I end up playing anything below like 15 minutes on the timer with 10 seconds added for every move, I blunder constantly, and it's really depressing. Would you say you bungle? I bungle. I bunger so hard. Bunger, bunger. Could you use the word bungle? Yeah, yes. Blu I just, every, <laughs> like, every time, like, blunder mate in one. Bunger, 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 bunger. Okay, let's go again. Like, we that's, we still <laughs> that's need a, an animal emote for the word blunder. Uh, we were talking about that not too long ago. We came to a conclusion. It was like a blunder, like a bee, I think. A blunder bee or something like that. We're oh, gonna do blunder bunger would be so good. Oh, well, now we have bunger, so shit. Yeah. By the way, speaking of bug or, snacks. Or, or like you fuck oh. up and you go, foxicle. Fuck, foxicle. Pre please appreciate fuck. my profile pic. It's our all, all ribs. All ribs, Triffany. Uh, this is on chess.com, which is uh, how people play chess with each other and the modern, uh, the modern there, age. There are a few different ones. This is kind of like the plebeian's choice, right? I think the the patrician's choice is Lee Chess. So we're plebs right now. We're 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 definitely plebs. So there's a better website for like, you know, the big boys. It, it's like more bare bones. Okay. Um, and a little bit less like user friendly. It's it's one of those things where it sort of expects you to know the game and be familiar with it. It's it's made for people who already play chess. Ah, uh, understood, understood. All right. Well, now it's more bare bones because I'm. Triffany, ribs, ribs, Triffany. Now, yeah, you ri are. Ribbony? Ri ribs, ribbony. Yeah, I'm uh, seeing it. All right. So I, I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to be really embarrassing for me. I'm going to end up feeling like stupider than I usually do tonight, which is a lot. That, that's saying a lot. So uh, hopefully Fred will take it easy on my, um, my hole here and uh, just kind of ease it in gently. Well, I was actually going to ask if you wanted to get like a mini lesson on basic tactics before we start. Uh no no in in this no? in in the spirit of how I refuse to to read tutorials in video games I'm gonna reject <laughs> any any attempt to learn how to play this game right now. Okay. All right. Uh, what what would you like? What, would you like me to deafen myself so you can chat with chat and like strategize? Uh no, because I also want to talk to you. Fair enough. Oh. Maybe, we'll, maybe we can do that later. The trick is, is to a, ru thought. rush B. Uh, Bun time, thank you for the gift sub to Vinehart. Feel back to the family, Vinehart. Also, I saw some other ones. Maybe we'll do them at the end of the we'll do them at the end of the stream tonight. That way, I'm not uh, talking over Fred. Uh, I like to do that when I have a a, a guest on the channel. All right, it's fair. So at the end, yeah, at the end of the stream, I'll read all those out. Sorry if I don't call it out, but thank you guys for the for the support. Um, all right, well, I'm lubed up. You ready to go? All right, yeah. Um, I'm actually getting ready to send you the invite whenever you're ready. Would you like to play as white or black for our first game? Uh, coin flip. I know black has the slight disadvantage, right? right? Random. Uh, it has a significant disadvantage. Which um, ends up being a significant... Like, one of the most... Like, one of the best chess players ever said, like... And a lot of people agree. You know, you try to win as white and you try to draw as Draw black. as black, right? Of, that was in the video. Matter, a lot of modern players, especially in, like, shorter time controls. Like, you know, each person has three minutes on the clock. Go! Um, no, black can absolutely play for victory and, like, get tricky. Okay. But um, in more classical games and longer time formats, often, you know, black uh, will just play to draw. Have you ever uh, seen spe was... speed chess? You know about speed chess? 
Yeah, like, like you know, that's like blitz, right? Are you talking like blitz or bullet chess, where like they're just making moves in literal seconds? Well, I watched the Queen's Gambit, and there's a couple of scenes in that in the show where they have they have speed chess going on, and uh, oh yeah, it's wild. It, it's you get no time. You get no no time to to make your move. I don't. You have instant. You instantly go. You instantly go and make your move. You get. You get like I made a, a second. Seriously, a second. Crackhead chess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like my my understanding is, is is it like the clock is reset every second? I actually have no like, fucking idea. Or is it just idea. like is it just like 10 seconds with 1 second increments or something? Like what what time period does Queen Gambit's Queen's Gambit take place it's in? It's the fucking uh well, it's it follows her whole life, so it it starts in the I think it's the fucking 40s. I think it's like 40, 50s, okay. 60s. So by the end of the show, it's like the end of the 60s, I think is 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 what happens. Okay. Um I don't think Bobby Fischer had introduced his increment. No, it, he hadn't incre introduced increments yet at that point. So I, I, I have no idea what that could be then. Does Can anybody in chat actually answer these questions? Um, but in the the scenes where they're playing it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like I'm trying to follow. I, I don't. Un it was just confusing and, and, and weird. And I was like, I don't know how they're. They were using a timer. And right. it was kind of fucking wild, but they're making a move hitting the timer, making move hitting the timer, making a move hitting the timer, making the move hitting the timer. And I guess oh, if yeah. you take you any longer like... than that, you you fucking get you you forfeit or you fail. I don't know. So um, the way that time controls in chess work is if you run out of time, you lose. Okay, that's it. So I, I actually am going to make the uh, time format that we're going to play a little bit longer than what a lot of people like to do. You know, oh, someone introduces God. chess to someone and they're like, all right, 10 minutes on the clock. Let's go. And that always, especially for a new player, it's just ball busting because you have no time. You're not comfortable with the game. And so you have to like, for me, at least I have to analyze every position. Um, I, I'm not comfortable enough with the game to just be like, oh, yeah, this move makes sense here. Uh, so I'm making our time controls 15, 10. What that means is that we're going to start with 15 minutes on the clock, mm -hmm. and every time we make a move, we get 10 seconds added. Okay. This is um, this is a kind of chess that Bobby Fischer popularized. A lot of, there there are a lot of like people who are pissed off at it. It's like just give me all my time at the at the beginning and let me decide how I'm going to use it. But this makes sure that like you at least you know you you've run out your clock. You at least have 10 seconds to make your moves toward the end. Okay, like that you at that's least have something. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you for thank you yeah. for doing that. And, okay. and so, if the game goes longer, then uh, we'll have more time on our clocks. What and then if I you like increments. Mm -hmm. I I personally really like increments. I think that it guarantees a good game, no matter like you no, know, you don't end up with people like fucking around desperately trying to make their move before they run out of time. It just it feels especially online. It feels dumb. Uh, so increments are nice. Here's what I'm worried about. And thank you for that. But here's what I'm worried about. There was a stream. Me and me and Rev Scarecrow. We played uh, a video game together. It was called A Way Out. It's about these two dudes that break out of prison together. And at one point, this is a two-player game. Yeah. It's really fun. I recommend it highly. Very, very, very cool game. Uh, at some point in the game, we end up in a hospital lobby together, and there's a Connect Four set, and you can play Connect Four together against each other in the game. Oh. And I had my shit pushed in so thoroughly, I could taste it in the back of my throat. Like, just over <laughs> and over and over again, he embarrassed me in Connect 4. Over and over and over. I, I, I don't think I at any point beat him. Maybe once, but because he let me. That was the entire stream, Skullgate. Do you remember that? I think it was just like a half hour, maybe. And then by the end of it, I was such a broken man because he had embarrassed me so thoroughly in front of all those people. And the whole chat was just ripping into me, like calling me a <laughs> moron, calling me stupid, like abusing. I'm worried that that's going to happen tonight. But chess is different <laughs> from Connect 4, I'm assuming. Why and how is a chess different from Connect 4? <laughs> Well, I mean that, that there is a chess meme where you can like you move all four of all, like you move your pawns so you have them all in a diagonal, and so you can connect four of them or you can connect five. So you connect four and you win chess. Oh, that's fun. Like 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 the like the game might not say you won, but morally you win. Uh, the chess has a horsey man, which I I can't wait to be trampled by your horsey man. The cool thing oh, about yeah, the horsey wanna... man is he goes really fast. 
and he could just he could just trample the pawns. Like you could go straight across the board with the horsey man and just stomp on everybody with your hooves and go <laughs> the whole time you do it. It's really fun. Can't do that in Connect Four, right? Sure. Okay. I think I'm ready to play. I think that's. Do you, all right. So I'll send you the challenge. Um, I'm making it unrated. So like you know. Ooh, unrated. Be, right, yeah. because I'm a because <laughs> I'm about MP4. to get I'm about to get fucked. Yeah, I'm I'm about to gape your open file. <laughs> and penetrate deep into your back rank. Yeah, guys, don't expect to see anything uh, spectacular here tonight. This is just going to be two bros hanging out um with one of them completely dominating the other one in every fucking way, every part of his body with no mercy. Okay, um accept. Yeah, yeah. Uh play fair. Right, you're white. Ooh. So, follow these rules to keep chess fun. Treat others how you want to be treated. The golden rule. No help from players, applications, or engines. Finish every game. No quitting or stalling. stalling. If you God damn it. Dude, you have 40 seconds to make a player. We're going to follow this game. these rules. All right, I'm going to go for the... game's going to abort. If the you don't make a move. The Sicilian defense. That's not the Sicilian Shh, defense. <laughs> Never been against the Sicilian when death is on the line. All right, I think that's the Sicilian defense, what you just did, right? <laughs> Isn't that the Sicilian defense, what you just Actually, did? Actually, you right. can see the name of the opening in the top right. Oh, the Saragossa opening. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, so we're not going to move here because that will instantly uh, fuck me, but I can do that, right? That's going to just kind of... First move defense, yes. We'll just kind of have a little stalemate over here and just kind of taunt each other from across the blow a fart in your general direction type of thing for a while, right? do here what do i want to do here maybe i think chat do wants to see it? wants to see you crush me like don't they, they don't want you to take it easy on me they want you to embarrass all right, me yeah so i'll go hard embarrass i'll go me. hard all right so that my friends is a trap right he wants me to take that pawn so he can do something fucking nefarious and i cannot figure out what it is so i'm gonna fall into that trap anyway <laughs> and now it's I'm up on really, it's not it's yeah. not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I'll tell you that much. I'm up um, on material. So a, a, except accepting that is not actually the worst thing in the world. Oh, really? Okay. Good to hear. Yeah. I didn't I didn't completely it's, fuck something up for once. So th I'm basically playing the queen's gambit from the black side. The queen's gambit from the black side. Uh, I watched basically, yeah. I watched like fucking ten hours of that show, and I still have no idea what the queen's gambit is. I want you to know that. Um, um, I actually play the queen's gambit. Uh, you just did. Fun fact. No, no. Um, you you can only play the queen's gambit from the white side, but I'm kind of oh. doing something similar here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. I have a similar gonna... idea that I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to overthink this. I'm not going to try to take it too seriously. His fucking bishop can now do uh, this. Uh, and I think he might go for that, especially since... So I'm going to move that here so the bishop can't do that. Right. And then... Which is probably exactly course. what he wants me to do. Yeah, it's... He's um, like, yeah, it is. I, I, yeah. Think, <laughs> I think that you can. I, I think that there is a way to save that pawn. Really? Like, if have it not... If you're playing white. Not be it. taken by the bishop right now? I don't know. I think... So, the, the thing about the queens... So, a gambit in chess is where you sacrifice a piece for a positional advantage. Mm -hmm. And even though it's called the queen's gambit, which is sort of like the position that we're doing, um, it's not actually a gambit because you always can get that pawn back. So, it's like... It's, it's not really... Like, does that make sense to you? It's a gambit like, because there's actually a... actually giving... There's a chance you can lose the the piece, which is why it's a, a gambit. Well, well no. not really. Like you, you don't really. There's no real way for you to lose the piece. Like lose the piece. I think that you can in black. I think what I did technically is a gambit, but it's okay. Yo, yo, a boops, It's me, gambit. I'm gonna do. Uh, just I fucking just if I move there. No, that actually the queen can't get it and then i'm going to you know, cuz i'm looking at this over here and i'm seeing i'm seeing the potential for the queen to just come back in here and then start fucking shit up but if i were to for example uh nope that's dumb 
Yeah, no, that is that is dumb. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to establish my my side over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice that piece in order to maybe get the um. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the bishop come out to play a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. No, that's yeah. reasonable. No, what if they made chess talk? And edgy. Somebody left the the stream just now because they didn't play chess yet and they didn't want spoilers. <laughs> Oh, I don't know this opening, so I'm like, I'm, I'm a little bit uncomfy right now. Oh, thank you for the bits, the urchin. Uh, oh, he's uncomfy. Oh, which puts me in a situational advantage of being comfy, less comfy, more comfy. I'm comfier than you are. Probably right now, yeah. Um, having no idea okay. what, what what he means by comfy in this in this context, by the way. Okay, I, I think I know what to do here. All right, let's see. All right, so... If I take this piece, he will simply trample me with his horsey man and laugh while doing it. So instead of that, uh, I'm going to just... um, Just uh, fucking eat some ass over here. Amazing. The horse can cut. He can go in the in the white space, or he could go in the other white space. Here, uh, six C, I believe, or six A, are both places where the horse can end up. Is that correct? I'm still confused. Let, let me see. Um, six A and six C. Your knight. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I can go to. It can go to A six. He makes like a three square L shape, right? Yeah, in yeah, yeah. Direction. Okay, so. Uh, if I take that, then uh, we could have a potentially. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Don't ask me why I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I'm gonna do that. Nick, thank you. Uh, thank you for the sub. All right. So what just happened? I was looking at the chat. Oh, I I just took the pawn on c5 with the bishop. You took a pawn, pawn wasn't defending from, because it you uh yeah because uh because I fucked up right because that no no because... no yeah, I I I don't like the thing is holding on to that pawn is such a nightmare. It's like this is fine. Like I I would not. You're not in a bad position. Is the point I make? Like this is not a lost position for you. Like it's definitely not favorable, but at the level we're playing, who fucking cares? I could have kept that pawn. Like, see, here's I'm gonna be honest with you. I forgot why I put this pawn in this space. I forgot why I put the pawn in four B. Honestly, I, I, mean, I did. Like, I did. The position was kind of weird. It's I I wouldn't feel bad about it. I the thing that you are like feeling weird about, I do that constantly. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, right. That was defending this piece. Yeah. Well, I guess I just blundered a piece. Great. Blunder bungle. So I if bungled, I... I, I, I bungered a piece. Yeah. Thank you. I got a. I got a. I got a. Um. I got an idea. I'm gonna put this here. Hmm. But I don't think. Um. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna take that. I don't, I don't think you're gonna take advantage of that. Right, because you're. Um, you know. Well, that's what I'm debating right now. Yeah, it's a sack, uh, a sacrifice play. You want to go for a sack play, or you want to you want to sack up? Well, I mean, my bishop's defended, so it's like it's a dark square bishop for a dark square bishop. Yeah. Um, and actually, I would like to save it if I could, but I don't think you've given me much of an option. I have a few op, like I have a few things that I could do right now, mm -hmm. like. So uh, what I'm thinking is that if you do take that bishop, I can take your bishop with my pawn, my b6 pawn, and now I have another pawn that's geared toward the center. Yeah, um, and then you're going to make it over here, and you're going to have a whole, my position. A, a whole the mess only of queens. Thing that's iffy, you know. The only thing that's iffy is that that makes the b5 pawn into a passed pawn, which is annoying, um, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I can deal with it. A, a passed pawn? What is it? A passed pawn is a pawn that cannot be opposed by any other pawns. So, like... I no no pawn of mine can stop your pawn if I take on b5 with my pawn. Yeah, what he said. All right, so <laughs> this is but what I was I, afraid but, of. But, but, but I th I think I have a compromise. Mm. Good night, Vinehart. I'm not gonna boop without you. Don't worry. No boop. No booping without you, Vinehart. 
All right, so the horse is out. Okay. Rocking that designer choker. Really DGAF. Uh, how about I also take out my horse and he's just ready to fuck. Bam, Fantastic. Now but yeah. with, with his horse cock. Yes, that's <laughs> the, the best kind. There's Terrible. no cock like horse cock. Yeah, that's what I hear. Found that out on the on the on the boo room. Did I ever tell you that story? No. My oh wait, yes you did. No, I the, I know about this. The the, the art boo got like blitzed with like millions of images of, ho of horse, horse penis. Horse cock, yeah. Of, yeah it was... And then I just didn't have a boo for for fucking years because like I was, yeah. I was just like fuck it. But apparently there's you know there's there's stop gaps in, in place now to kind of stem the tide of penis you know. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Actually, I think I think I have something I can. The do on, the onslaught. It was 1,200 images of, of, of horse cock. It was one of those things where it was like, man, if this wasn't my buru, I would find this pretty funny. Um, hmm. well, that, that is an interesting play, right? Because you have sacrificed this, correct? Yeah, um, it's a trade. It's, it's a, just a trade. A material trade. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, he's got a material trade. Uh, were they unique images? Every each one was unique. It was like snowflakes. Every horse cock was different. No, it was uh, it was there. They were uh, repeated a lot. It was just a spam. They used like a bot or something. I don't know. Many horse cock. All right, a, so a, plural, a plurality of horse cock. A whole gaggle, a bundle, if you will. Um, oh, your oh hi calamity. Your I was never given a response during the Christmas Hell House, but can I make my own rendition of that wonderful commission where Shadow the Hedgehog wearing an American flag cape shoved lettuce on Sand's head while riding on Lightning McQueen being driven by Garfield? Well, we can't stop you. I I'm not stopping uh, you. So, yeah, by all means. Yeah, please, have at it. <laughs> um, if you wish to become an agent of chaos. I guess, I guess you should ask the artist, the original artist, I guess. Um, good night, tidy Roly. Thank you for coming. I'm gonna put the uh, that's your king that you brought out, huh? No, queen. My that's queen. the queen. Yeah, that's the queen. He's doing the queen's gambit, chats. That's the gambit. <laughs> queen's gambit. <laughs> Fuck. He went for the gambit. He went for the gambit so early. I can't believe this. Oh, I can't believe he went for the gambit this early. Computers aren't supposed to do that. What the hell? Uh, hmm. Oh, I'll put my queen here. No, no, I actually, I see that. I see that. He's, uh, yeah, he's got me by the, he's got me by the dick hairs right now, chat. He's got me by the dick hairs. And it feels better than I thought it would. I'm going to put this here. Okay. I think I got this. Yeah, I'm going to put that, I'm put that there. Sorry, Mike. That. And put that there, and put that right there, and put that there, and put me in check. And put me in check. I saw it too late. I saw it too late. I just I saw it too late. I saw it too late. So I'm put that there. And now, um, you're just gonna take that fucking horse. You're just gonna take that horse. No, I'm I'm gonna do something. A take the hor the horsey. Take the horsey. You're gonna sack the queen, so we have a queenless game. He took the rook. Oh, I just... Wow. Oh, oh, my bunghole. Oh, my God. Wow. Reamed. Okay. Um. Oh, he's got me. He's got me bad. He's got me bad. He's got me so bad. I'm going to put this... All right. I'm going to talk through this, okay? So I put this here to remove myself from, from fucking... Um, from check, right? That's how that works. So he can then do any number of things. He could take the other rook and leaving me rookless. Or he can move up here, take the pawn, which then I can fucking then take it with my queen. So he's probably not going to do that. He's probably going to go for the other rook. He's probably going to go for the other rook. Block with bishop. But then I'm just sacrificing the bishop, right? No, you're not because it's uh, we'd be protected by the knight on a3. Oh, because the knight could come. Yeah, I forgot the knight existed. How do you th like think about all these things at once? It takes a lot of practice. 
Like, you have to think about every fucking situation happening on the board at the same time. All right, I'm going to parry the next attack. All right, I'm uh, not going to overthink it. So, FYI, yeah. uh, you cannot castle out of check. There's somebody in chat saying try castling, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw that in chat, actually. Um, you cannot castle out of check. All right, so the, I only have, like, two options here. All right. Uh, I can move the queen back down, or I can move the king back. I can move the king up, right? Those are the those are actually the only two things I could do. Or again, the third option is is putting the uh, the the bishop here, but then you would probably just leave because you don't want to oh, lose the queen to the fuck. Let's see what he does. I, I don't even care. Fun, fun fact, by the way, yeah. um, you can right click on the board uh, on spaces to highlight them, and you can click and drag right click. Um, to make arrows. So if you want to visualize what you're doing. Oh, okay. I'll try that. It's not going to help me, but I'll try it. And I think there's really only one move I've got here. Let's see what he does, chat. Yeah, there, I, I've only got one move here. He's just going to leave. Yeah, he's just yeah, going to... He's just going to peace out. Having done his damage... Like a thief in the night, he stole away with, with my fucking my boyhood, my bunghood. He stole away with my bunghood like a thief in the night. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Um. Maybe it's now. Now it's time to go on the offensive a little bit, right? Uh, let's go on the offensive a little bit here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do something completely unexpected. Like this All is right. gonna be just off off the fucking wall. Crazy play. Uh, All right. Something you'll never see coming. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Uh, something you'll never, ever see com com coming at you. Coming at you. Any second now, as soon as I figure out uh, what, what it is. Just got to figure out. <laughs> just got to figure out what it is. And then we're golden. Yeah, six and right? a half minutes. I'm going to put that right there. That's what I'm going to do. Put the pieces up your nose. Eat them. Eat them. Eat them. Do you think, like, your nostrils would be big enough to fit a bishop inside each one of them? Uh. Mmm. I always get afraid, like... What's your main concern when I, when about... Was... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, just like, is that going to stretch your nostrils? Is it going to give you fat nostril? So, like, you'd look at things and be like, I wonder what the outcome would be of putting that in my nose. I, I, I thought about it. We all thought about it. You don't have to, like, be coy with this. We all thought about putting things in our nose for the fuck of it. Yeah. Well, well, well it's like... It, it, it's like... Nostril game. You know, what, what, hap what, what happens if you, if you pick your nose, right? Like, do, yeah. do your nostrils get bigger? Uh, um, I feel like in order to actually enlarge your nostrils, you'd have to, you'd have to have something in there for like long periods of time, like a gauge, like a fucking earring gauge. You know what I'm talking right, about? Right. Yeah. I, I know of what you speak. Yeah. You'd have to leave it in there for a while, like walk around like that, you know? Right. And let it adapt. They say that the bishop is the sexiest chess piece. Is that just because it looks like a penis, or is there some swagger that the bishop has that I'm not seeing? Oh no, I'm I'm just referencing something. Oh, it's a reference to something. Well, it what did they, well, what well, what did they mean by that? Uh, because it 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 can kind of look like a tit, or or like a penis, depending on the set, right? Kind of, yeah. And the creative uh, liberties they take in with the piece. Hmm. I'm just like I, I'm in a good position, but I need to not bunger it. It's my bim bam. Some people would say that the horse is the sexiest piece, piece, right? Yeah, it's complicated. It's the most complicated piece. Well, no, just because of the horse cock. That was really not not oh, anything about like oh. how the piece moves or you know how it's. it's now it's, I'm wondering it's, it's, it's if intriguing. you're the person who put the horse cock in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Stockholm syndrome for your boru. The the like, you know I'm actually okay with the fact that he, <laughs> that he put all that horse cock in there. For the record, I didn't do it. Um, the, <laughs> I just, yeah. the fact that you feel such a strong need to defend yourself. Oh, is, oh, is yeah, yeah, gotta, gotta, gotta do that. 
the points can be kind of nipply from from in certain light from a certain angle. A, a, a if touch really, nipply. If it's like if you got All a right, weird I, I think... certain kind of weird shaped nipple, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. I yeah uh, no I I think I know. I'm sort of fucking my development a bit here, but. That's yeah, okay. Now he's fucking his development. A little bit. But he's not fucking me think... just yet. Well, he is, but it's a it's a it's a it's a long, a long game. You know what I mean? A long I'm game. Working fucking. on it. Um, which again, we've had we had a reminder today about you know Twitch TOS. Like we, you actually can't fuck me. You really? Twitch, like, did did you see what they what Twitch said about um, what was it? <laughs> um, there there was a Fortnite event where like they oh used an ACDC God. song, yeah, yep. and like Twitch's solution, I, I saw they the tweet. put out on Twitter. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. even think they informed streamers like on any other like platform. I I, I don't know if they did, uh, but they just said like you know if you want to make sure you don't get DMCA'd, delete the VOD and any clips. And it's like what what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you what do you mean that's your solution? You're kidding, right? Like, go to bat for us or, or, or something. Like, like for, like, for what, what once in, like, the, in I'm, this situation. I'm, so I'm, I'm allowed. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm allowed to stream this song, but I'm not allowed to have a video of it. Is that, I? because I think there is legal precedent for that. But they're not being, like, if that is the case, they're not being terribly forthcoming with it, are they? It's very confusing. And I believe, actually, this was an interesting development I saw today. OBS is including a feature in the next update where they can have it so uh, you can stream the like the audio on a separate channel so it will actually not appear in the VOD on Twitch when it gets stored on Twitch and in okay, the subsequent that, export that you do to YouTube. So, okay, so at least you know, there's some... In, in, in other words, record. they... They would have to DMCA strike you while you're live in order to fuck you. Copyright that, is so fucked. It's really complicated. Um, I just my solution is easy. I don't play music. Right. I just well, I just I mean, don't like, do it. You know. Well, are, are you playing? You're playing the music from my videos. Yeah, you're but we know music, right? we we know that. But you asked Ryan himself if it was pop. Ryan ain't gonna do ain't gonna do anything. Right. No, he he. Uh, yeah, no, he, he's happy about it. Al although he did say that he felt a little bit weird seeing, like, me talk about, like, Kermit cuck. Like, Kermit getting cucked over his music. And he's like, oh, no. So, like, <laughs> someone's going to find that clip of, <laughs> of his music being used about us, like, talking about Kermit getting cucked. Um, like, it... he's going to try to get a deal with... <laughs> Should I should I stop using the music then? I don't want to put him in a no in a, no 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 he no 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 it's fine it's fine he's totally fine with it. I don't want to put him a in very... a cucky situation, you know. No, he's uh, not. He's fine. No, it's 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 okay. Don't worry about it. Kermit cock. That was a thing that you talked about. Wow, yeah. wow. What's wrong with us? We're like okay. I remember I was actually watching over a little bit of that video again. Mm -hmm. Uh, specifically the bit about where we were talking, uh, the bit where we were talking about the IR sauna, and I kept calling it UV. It's uh, infrared sauna, not UV like, sauna. I knew yeah. that it was an infrared sauna. I knew what infrared was, but like that house put me in such a fugue state <laughs> that yeah. I would just was getting IR and UV mixed up. Fred's doing a corrections video right now. Basically, uh, yeah, uh, I was really yeah. embarrassed. Like I straight up said, oh yeah, it's IR. And then I immediately said it's UV. No, not the Fencer house. We're talking about the Christmas hell house. All right, now like this. They had it. This okay, yeah, you happen. got three minutes it, on the clock. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You saw the threat. Long. Yeah, we took way too long. Yeah. Okay. Threat? No, I just did that for fun. I was like, oh, oh the queen no, needs I, some cardio. Oh, okay, I'm gonna move okay. her. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything then. Yeah, it's, it's no threat. I see no threat. Okay. No threat. I'm. I'm completely oblivious. <laughs> Another house stream. You. You. You guys really liked that, huh? Uh, find me some fucked up, uh, what, what do you call it? Real estate listings and send them to me. Do it. I, I have a blast during those streams. Yo, you'll come back for that shit, right? Alright, he moved the horse. Um, he moved the fucking horse, chat. You believe this shit? Horse is on the move. On you fucking real. You want to know a fun real. fact? Please. 
Uh, when humans... So, so humans just have trouble with the night. This is just a scientific fact because when when knights are removed from the game mm -hmm. um, and, and humans play against computers, humans' yeah. chess ratings like increase by several hundred points. Right, because... Which is massive. The, the, the night is so... It's so fucky. It, yes, it, it, exactly. It's confusing. Like, it moves in a confusing even, way. Yeah, even high-level players are just like... They miss tactics with the knight all the time just because it's so weird. Like, the knight is a really special... You got two minutes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I'm seeing it. The knight's that. a I'm really special that. piece um, because it's the only piece that can... Um, it's the only piece that can threaten, like, the most powerful pieces on the board without being threatened in turn. Because mm -hmm. it has that ability to jump, right? Right. Um, what's, uh, what's, um, what's, um... <laughs> so, so when you move the queen, you were defending your knight, but then you move the queen. But then I move the queen. Yeah, I'm dumb as shit. Okay. Uh, let's um do like the uh hmm. Nope, that's dumb as shit. Um, fuck, 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 fuck me, fuck, fuck me. Yep, fuck me. Hmm. Yeah, I cucked myself pretty hard here. Um. What's he gonna do now? He's Man, gonna you got you got a minute and fifteen he's seconds. Gonna, he's gonna move here probably. He's gonna do he's gonna do that shit. Is that what he's gonna do? He's gonna do that. Is he gonna do that? He's gonna do that. I'm gonna castle. I'm gonna castle just for the fuck of it. I could do that, right? Yeah. Just to say That's I did reasonable. it. Just to say I, I did yeah. it. I mean, yeah. just that. Look, I castled. It's fine. It's fine. Castling is actually a decent option here. It does hang the pawn, but like. Oh, I did it just to just to say I'm castling. I just wanted to say that out loud, so I did. F it. Fair enough. It's fair enough. Yeah. I do need to be careful here because I think I can. If I'm not careful, I can. <laughs> there is no threat. There's just there's no threat. There's no threat. Come on. You're fine. Cause if takes here, oh, takes. Um, what about takes here? Um, oh no, the bishop's hanging. Okay. Yeah, no, I am right, so here, here, here. He's stalling the game, forfeited Mike Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, of course. The only way I'm going to win is on some kind of stupid yeah. technicality like that. So let's let's keep our fingers crossed, guys. Yeah, no, I, I think that this checks out. It checks out. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't I don't see any tactic. Did you see Chuck E. Cheese asked Hugbees to play chess with him during Uh no, but I the, the fucking Chuck E. Cheese has been coming around to everybody's Twitch channels and being a a fucking oh, um a, a a clout chaser and it's pissing me off. Oh my god. Yeah, I... they they came here too. They came they came here too. Um there's a point where it stop. It's it's like seeing a one-time like B-list celebrity <laughs> on, on the street, right? Like like they're homeless now because they like spent all of their money on booze. <laughs> You're, yeah. Well, I and, mean, listen. And, and like they're they're hoping they're hoping that you care that you see them and you're just like, oh, you're gross now. It's like you're thinking that just because. Mike, you got 20 seconds. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, damn it. You. Mm. 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 Ah. 
Ah, uh, my brain is so sweaty. <laughs> You're thinking that because... Well, did you ever go to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid? Yes. Like, maybe you 15 thought... 15 seconds. Maybe... Huh. I don't even know what the fuck you just did. This is dog shit. I took your bishop. Uh, that's all right. I always hated him. <laughs> okay. Uh, you won. That's uh, completely expected. Let's do it again. Yeah, all right. So it's like, you think that because Chuck E. Cheese was cool, maybe, when you were a kid? Ma maybe. But Chuck E. Cheese was never cool. No, you it were wasn't. Just, you like, were just the, dazzled the as, a, as a child, right? Uh, no, so here's the thing. I always thought the animatronics were really uncanny. I never liked them. Nah, that that's a lot of people felt that way. That's why FNAF was so successful. Oh, that's why that, yes, because it preyed yes, on that, right? It was the it was like the inspiration for FNAF. Boop. Um, but yeah, I don't you you because you compared Chuck E. Cheese to a B-list celebrity. I wouldn't even put them. I wouldn't even rank them that high. You know, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're implying there was a fall from grace where the place was always disgusting and the food always sucked. You know what I mean? No, that there, there is no fall from grace. There, there, it, there was like, no, yeah, there, were, there was never grace to fall from. But fuck, I, I guess, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess just it being big, like people recognize the name Chuck E. Cheese, right? Like th there's the clout there. <laughs> it's it's like seeing. I, I, it just feels so desperate. Yeah. If if Chuck E. Cheese point. was a celebrity, like an alcoholic former B-lister celebrity, begging for change on the street, who is he? Uh, like see, what? It would be some B-list celebrity, that, like like maybe Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> <laughs> Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> oh, that's easy to. Oh, game oh, aborted. Make your move in time. You... Fucking really? Let let let's try again. Yeah. Uh, it's. I wish we could like oh. pause this here and there because I want to. I, I, I want to. I want to talk with you. You know. Uh, here. Let me. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen was like a list back in his day, though, wasn't he? He was. Uh, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese is David Schwimmer. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that bait. I'm not taking that. That's bait. That that's bait. Not taking that. <laughs> Gary Busey, <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, is the Gary it's Busey sort of, of corporate pizza chains. It's a, it's like it's not proper <laughs> bait. Remember when I was saying like Queen's Gambit? Um, it doesn't. It's not really a gambit. Like you don't actually get like you can't hold on to that pawn. There's no way. So then why? Yeah. Well, well. Because the position that comes up as a result of it is, is the, good is for the white is if the you gambit. accept it. Uh huh. Like it's still yeah. worth it as white if you accept it. Um, that's why like declining the gambit is usually like the way to go. Okay. Like you can like you can decline it. The most common responses are um, f6 and c7, or c6. I mean f6 or c6. F6 or f6. Six, six or c uh six i think i understand what you're saying but probably i would have to see it in practice to re like like a fucking demonstration to actually understand what you mean by that because i'm i just can't think about things abstractly how would you feel about you and fred co-streaming geoguessr i was thinking about geoguessr earlier today it i watched joel stream it a couple of times it looks really fun and i want to play it but i thought it got shut down for some reason it didn't get shut down. It just ended up being really weirdly monetized. So you have um, to in pay. A way that a lot of people don't like. You have to pay to use yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You have to pay to use it more than like three times. Like play pay to play more than like three times or something. All right. He's gonna do some shit where he's gonna. There's no complicated tactic well, here. I'm just. Gonna... Well, I'm did, did I? I have to stop and think about the uncomplicated tactic. Is what I have to do. So he's got... Okay, and I can... Alright, I'm gonna put that there. Alright. Put you in a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Between a cock and a hard place. There you go. Uh, I think... I think I can do this. Put him in the hot seat a little bit. Put him in the hot seat. He's in the hot seat. 
do I do I retreat the night? What do I do? Let's see what he does, How chat. Do I do this? Hi, Cat with the monocle. They increased the uh, Google increased the cost of their API, so GeoGuessr had to stop being free. How much does it cost? Because I might I might get get sign up for it for a little while, do a couple of streams, and then cancel it, like I did with AI Dungeon. I don't want to do this. Okay, no, you know what? I've I've got a plan. What the? What happened? What's the matter, Fred? I've just never seen this position before. So What's the like, matter? You get eh. get getting sweat getting sweaty over there? I got you on the run. We got him on the run, chat. I'm not even kidding when I say that chess has risen my heart rate more than any other game. <laughs> I believe it. It is one. It is the most. I, like I have never. I believe it. I have never like played a game more intense than chess. Of all the FPSs that you've played and and, and fucking you know. Uh, yes. Why did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Uh, it's actually not the worst move. It's dumb as shit. No, it, it's... I don't I don't think it's that bad. It makes sense. It's blocking my queen going to a4. Fred is giving me the biggest benefit of the doubt whenever he says something like that because he's, he's seeing things that I'm not seeing. And he's like, surely Mike is not dumb enough to have not seen that, that the potential of what he just did. Surely. <laughs> no, I like I know that maybe you don't see it, but it's not actually that bad of a move, I don't think. I'll see how uh, it plays it out. Blocks, it blocks off a tactic that I was considering, that I was actually hoping to do. One ninety nine uh, a month to do annual geo guesser. That's that's twelve. So like twelve bucks for the uh, twenty two bucks for the year at that point. One time payment wanna... and then cancel it. F fuck it. Yeah, maybe. I'm just kind of thinking about how I want to do this. Would you Would you be down for that geo guesser? Would you want to come out, come over and, and play geo guesser with me? Sure, I'd be down. Yeah, I've only ever seen streams of it. I never never played it myself, but it looks like a good time. Agreed. Uh, I don't want to do this. And then he just flips over the chessboard and like smacks me in the face, and then rams a fucking bishop up my nose. Whew, okay, all right. He's going for this. And I call you a gay lord. And then he called me a gay lord, which um is just great, just great. Um, how did that like? That's just a name. I, I I get I get why people are like haha ha, funny, but it's like it's it's just a, it's just a name. It's in well. When was the last time you met somebody named Gaylord? It's been a long time. I never met what anybody is the named Gaylord. What of that game? Hold on, uh, that game, that name. That sounds British as fuck. Or like start there. Maybe the, not. Here we go. Um. Oh, here we go. It's the first thing. The word Gaylord comes from the old French word Gaillard, which mean which meant joyful or high spirited. Uh. The term evolved into a fam family name of Norman French origin. Since then, there have been many esteemed indiv individuals with the surname Gaylord, including politicians, journalists, and artisans. But it's yes. also a first name. Wait a minute. There's a kind of cardboard box called the Gaylord box. <laughs> Really? The Gaylord box. Everything you need to know. You've probably <gasps> seen them at your local Goodwill or grocery store full of used clothing or fresh whole watermelons. <laughs> Today, what? the Gaylord box is a well-known container that's used in a variety of industries. That thing is called the Gaylord box? box? Really? I know what yes. you're talking about. Really? Yeah. Spacious and lightweight, these boxes are perfect for large quantities of produce, of recycled dicks. materials, and books, dicks. and other bargain products. They're sturdy enough to ship products across the country, uh, and they're relatively inexpensive compared to other packaging materials. Learn about the history of Gaylord boxes and why they're still used today. Okay. Do your worst.
I don't know if I'm playing this terribly optimally. Get in the get in the Gaylord box, Gaylord. Um, that was my strategy to lull you into a false sense of security before whipping out my skills. I'm hustling you, Fred. I'm hustling you. It's it's a long term hustle. Like I'm playing yeah, stupidly. No, I'm, call, and, I'm calling you on it. And just just you know you're gonna you're gonna get comfortable and and start making silly mistakes, and that's when I strike. All right. This, that's, that, that's why. That's why I'm. This why is. I'm taking so... this for cereal. A little bit. A little bit poop. A little bit poop. A little bit poop. But I've seen. I've oh, seen by worse. the way, connect four. I win. No! <laughs> you lose connect four again. Can I take my move back? Because I just saw how I fucked up. No takesies, backsies. I need a mulligan. Is there mulligans in chess? Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. No takesies, backsies. There are some, like, there's, like, I feel like you can do that on Lee Chess. Be like, hey, can I take back my move? And the other person can be like, yeah, sure. Get out of here. They wouldn't let them do that, really. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. In League Chess? No, 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 not in Lee. No, 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 no. Lee Chess, like on the website, if it's just a casual game of chess. Oh. The other website, the superior website, right? Right, right, right. Lee Chess. I, it's L I C H E S S. I think I, I keep thinking it's like a. I saw it in chat earlier, and I was like, "What? Like a female lich?" <laughs> what are they talking about? That's the name of the website. Fuck! 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 Fuck the girl! Fuck! All right, you know what? They were not done. You want to be like that? That's fine. You want to be like that? You want to be like that? What even just happened? I took your queen with my queen. Right, the file right, was open. right. Okay. And now you can't castle. I don't want to castle. I don't even care. I don't even care. I didn't want to castle. Fine, fine. See if I give a shit. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Yeah, moving your king or either of the rooks uh, forfeits your right to castle. Mm. Okay. I don't even care. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Okay. I'm only up two um, points of material. So it's like, at, at our level of play, this ain't nothing. Put that guy, little fella right, right over there. Wait a minute. Can't do that. No, don't do that, Michael. I'm not looking at your stream, by the way. I, oh, yeah, that's okay. okay. Was that, was that, was that smart? That felt smart. Yeah, no, that was good. You're defending your pawn. <laughs> Yay. Has uh, it also means that I can't threaten your rook on like D4. It's a prophylactic move. You did not just say prophylactic. It, like, no, that's what they call it in chess. It's a chess term. It's a prophylactic move. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> that is entertaining to me, to say the uh, least. Do I want to do it like this? Mm. It'd be fun. Ugh, but there'd be like no defenses for my king. Nah, I gotta. It protects you from chess aids or chades. Chades. Yeah, sorry. Um, moist angie lips? Wow. Welcome to the family. Thank you. It's protection against chades and chads. Well, this is all shit, isn't it? Um. You cucked this bishop over here quite a bit. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you cucked them. It does... Yeah. It, it's kind of a funny position because, like, you can't really get. Yeah, I, I, I locked your e7 bishop or e7 pawn in place, and then if your bishop moves to g7, then it blocks the rook from protecting the g5 pawn. So I just move my um, a1 rook to d1. Check your king; it has to move or get defended, uh, and then I grab the pawn on g5 for free. So it's like I've got kind of a nice position here. Yes, you do. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give you some options now. Uh, that's actually, uh, I, I think that that's the best move in your position. Oh, uh, look. Oh, wow. Lounge round. 
Brat it's actually for like it it does mean like it's the only square for your knight and like oh actually wait a minute no that wasn't a great move i'm sorry oh never mind i'm the dumbass he's got a nice spread sfm says you know he's got a nice spread beautiful spread nope no, i take it back that You're actually stupid. was not a great move yeah you're I, right, don't, I don't know what i was thinking I'm yeah sorry. I, I take it back here dumbass it's okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what i said yeah i know but it's funnier that way okay um you know what it is? I like that like I get to say the insults. Like I I appreciate that you don't say the insults. You let me fill in the blanks and you make them myself, you know? Uh I have a few different tactics. Like the question is how do I want to do it? I don't think there's any move that really stops this. What do I do then? It's past then. Ooh, that's spicy. I think I'm going to do the spicy play. All right, so he's now threatening the knight, which... Well, the knight was already threatened from my e6 pawn. Right, but I expected you to, like, take it, and then I was going to, like, maybe take it with the king or some dumb shit. I don't know what I fucking thought. I did not think as far ahead as you did. All right, so at that point, um, let's, uh, put, nope, don't do that, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, Maybe, like, uh, put that... Nope, because that's just giving him a free... No, it isn't. I'm going to put that there. That's the play. That's it. Now, nah, it's in your court. You want to take that, that horse? Uh, actually, I think I want to take the pawn. You can take the pawn. And he did that because... Oh, pain. Wow, pain. Pain. On passant. You can attack diagonally with the pawn uh, as long as it... Wait. You can move and also take a pawn with another pawn. You're going to have to explain that again for the for the chat. I see okay, that confused so this too. Okay, so this is one of like the three... This is one of the three funny rules in chess. Um, en passant... So that was an en passant capture. So if you have a pawn on like you see you see how you tried to jump your pawn two spaces ahead of mine to try to avoid it being captured yes um so i can like i can capture that pawn as if it only moved one space um it that is the only time that that um that that is allowed like if you try to move two spaces to jump past one of my pawns like one of the squares that my pawn is threatening that was the thing that the deep blue computer had such a hard time with right Exactly. In the, in the video? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm having a, a very hard time with it right now. Uh, so, I okay, mean... Okay, so... I, and, and I know that lots of people are going to be like, that that move is dumb. Like, no, that, that thing is stupid. And I'm about to tell you why it's not stupid. It's because it promotes aggressive play. Chess used to be a much more... Uh, a much slower and methodic, uh, more methodical game. But then, like over the over hundreds of years, <laughs> new rules were Let's added uh, in order to help make it more aggressive. Uh, the two big things that helped that aggression were on passant, which meant that having uh, pawn positions and being aggressive um, is rewarded, so that the other person can't just try to like skip past. Um, the other big rule that changed that made chess more aggressive was uh, making the queen more powerful. The queen, I think, used to be able to move just like the king, one square at a time. They it were basically like the same, was much more limited. The same piece, essentially, right? Yeah. Um, I, I think. I don't remember exactly how it moved. But then they changed it so it combined the rook and the bishop, and the queen became unbelievably powerful. Um, and that became known as Crazy King. And then over time, Crazy King, king became normal chess. Well, Crazy Queen. Or Crazy Queen. Cra crazy Queen. Yes, sorry. Yeah. That's what I mean. Uh, crazy Queen became just chess. 
Yeah, I would. I, just, I am. I'm trying to put myself into check because so, I don't want to. You know. So everyone keeps saying, "Why doesn't Chess have a sequel if it's so good?" Well, the answer is <laughs> because to... it does have a sequel. It's called Chess. And because on Passant got added after Crazy Queen became normal Chess, it we're basically on like patch 1.1 right now. If you look at it in terms of patches, yeah. This yeah. is sev several versions into the game of chess. This ain't the, this ain't the OG. Right. But what if what if there was a chess too? What would you what would you do? How would you make it more interesting? How would you bring it up to date? How would you bring chess into the modern age? I I don't think you could. Like, Jetpack bishops. Just, it's great as it is. You put jetpacks on the bishops. They can move straight and diagonally, but only two spaces at a time. Make it so that you can time travel. Introduce ch time travel into chess. Give the knights huge tits. Got him. Make bishops jump. Wizard piece. Okay, what does the wizard do? He can shoot! <gasps> you just give everybody guns! Give all the pieces guns! So I'm playing that Hyrule Warriors game, and you know what I was thinking? They should make one that's just the American Civil War. Like Hyrule Warriors or like Dy <laughs> Dynasty Warriors, but like like fucking American Warriors. And you could be like Robert E. Lee and shit. And just beat the so shit out of each other and stuff. Goes. Yeah. That'd be fucking I... incredible. I don't know if this is the And right you you could make like Ulysses S. Grant into like an anime husbando who's like voiced by fucking the guy who does Prince Sidon. <laughs> Lincoln only if Lincoln is play do, do you think we would make this game and not have Lincoln be a playable character? Come on. And you could change the fucking storyline so where Lincoln like doesn't get shot in the head. So he just does like a 360 no scope and like shoots John Wilkes Booth. All the way in the book, <laughs> book, book suppository. They should start doing the the Warriors games with, yeah, with other, you know, outside of Asian culture and I guess Zelda. Um, did you do something, by the way? I don't, you moved. Yeah, I took your knight. You took the, uh, you with took my C6 the, the knight. That's I don't know just, if that was the right take, but I did it. That's delicious. Something had to happen, and God knows I'm not making anything happen here. I'm feeling very... Um, impotent right now. Uh, very small PP. Okay, I'm gonna do. Um, oh, oh. I'm gonna do that. I right, obviously it doesn't work if they have guns. You could you could do it with like Rome. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, Rome, Greece, Egypt, etc. Like, ooh. Well, mm, mm, fuck my ass. Mm, mm, okay. I think what's funny is that I think you have more developed pieces than I do. Well, like does, you have two rooks. I don't really feel like it. Well, they're out and about a little bit, somewhat. Right. Yeah. No, they're they're activated. Um. Like they're they're doing shit now. I just have to get my other pieces out here. <laughs> God, what do I do with this? Okay, yeah, I know. I think I know what to do. He's got his move. Yeah, I think so. It's going to rock our worlds, chat. It's actually quite a boring move. That's the move. I wonder what his play is here. I wonder what's for dinner. I wonder what he's getting at with that, seriously. I cannot fathom what he's getting at with that. Maybe he wants to come and try to come in here and take this fucking piece. He's thinking he's thinking like ten steps ahead and I'm only capable of thinking one.
What else am I going to do? We got to get the show on the road. What happened to Vinny? He, he's fine. He Apparently, he put a boob on his channel, and then uh, he'll be back tomorrow, probably. So, you, you fucking just... Right, because I, again, same like I was saying earlier, I forgot that I was in check, essentially. You're not in check. Or yeah. I was I was one move away from being in check, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just fucking forgot. We are not in check. Like, you're still not I will, in check. I, I will be. I... Because I was counting on taking this pawn, but I can't because that would put me into check. Like I was gonna go, right. I was gonna move the king to to uh, d7, but you're gonna I, take on d7. But I, the rook on d1 is stopping it. Yeah, that's you that's what I check. I fucked myself, right? Yeah. All right, let's um, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do this. Wait. To protect the pawn. Oh, the, well, the pawn was already protected by the f8 bishop. Oh, right, right. Now it's double protected. Yeah, that's helpful. It's not helpful. I know that. White won by checkmate. How'd you do it? Hmm. I I uh, moved, went bishop to b6. He simply moved the bishop back to b6. And you you had been thinking about that like 20 minutes ago, essentially. You had been thinking about that. Uh, just a few moves ago. Um, I, I was actually expecting you to go king to c7. Um, like if you had like I, I kind of had you between a rock and a hard place because if you went king to c7, I would have still gone bishop to b6. You either would have had to move it um to the left or take the bishop and then at that point i promote my pawn on uh to on d8 to queen and then that's and then it's and then it's game. over anyway yeah th then it's just trivial at that destroyed point. destroyed with facts and logic let's try uh let's try it again i think i learned a lot from that all right and i think i have a i think i have a chance this time all right good so, so you did not watch the um you didn't watch the Queen's Gambit. Well, you don't have Netflix, you were saying, so you can't watch the Queen's Gambit, right? Um I, I haven't seen it. Yeah. It's uh it's pretty rad. Uh I liked it a lot. Mm. Uh I saw Did you see so you saw images of it like you saw the actress? I I I've, I've seen very very little of it. It's it's kind of for someone who made a chess documentary, it's kind of silly that I haven't seen it at this point, frankly. That was wild because your video dropped like the same day that, well, not this, not the day that the Queen's Gambit appeared on Netflix, but it was like a couple of days later. And in those couple of day, days, it had become like one of the most watched things on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I think it was actually the most watched thing on Netflix the day that you published your video. Yeah, I, I imagine it was like there was just a sudden rush of chess content, and that was I I had no idea that Queen's Gambit was a thing. Like I was no, I in a I, I was like in a hole when I was making that video. Uh, and people are saying that part of the reason for this is that there's been a renewed interest in the game because of the quarantine. Uh, there definitely was a renewed interest. I, I don't know why. It might have been the quarantine. It might have been a fluke. I know that on Twitch, it got really popular for a while just because XQC decided to play it, I think. Is that what happened? And okay. then chess.com was like, ooh. Which they now have tournaments that get streamed uh, on, on Twitch. Um, you get, see, I got to start working on getting my bishops out early. Instead of just making them sit there, like, holding their dicks. Um, apparently, right now, chess, uh, like, chess boards and stuff are, are just flying off the shelves. I imagine, yeah. What happened to the music? You video paused, continue watching. I didn't, I didn't pause it. What are you talking about? I didn't tell you to stop, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, this is a swanky tune. 
So I saw a vapid article the other day that was trying to argue that the main character in The Queen's Gambit uh, is not believable because she's too attractive. What? Yeah, they were saying that the actress that they cast for the role was too attractive to be a chess nerd, therefore the show is not believable. Dude, okay, so here's something you need to know. Mm -hmm. Those sorts of inflammatory articles are written specifically to be inflammatory because they know it gets clicks. Yeah, it worked. I clicked it. I read the whole thing. And actually, exactly. here's here's the thing that I didn't expect. The person who wrote the article had read the book. The book was published in 1968, where the main character is specifically described as being like conventionally unattractive. And okay. they were upset that the character did not look exactly the way that it was described in the book. And they were trying to argue that it took away some of the flavor uh, from because they adapted it. But the fact that she's going through life as this, uh, the actress actually was a model prior to I don't know, becoming an actress or whatever. They're saying that it took some of the impact out of the book. Like, I don't know, like maybe like uh, her, her, her life was harder because she was con conventionally uh, unattractive and it made her want to succeed more or, 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 or some shit. Um, what do you think? You, 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 th you think it's if a, if a character in a book is, is described as being conventionally unattractive and then they do an adaptation and they replace the actor with somebody who's more conventionally attractive. Do you think that that potentially detracts from the story? I mean, it it's hard for me to talk on it because I'm not very good at detecting when people are attractive or not. I don't know. Like I, well, I grew it, up it, thinking I was broke. I grew up thinking I was broken because like people would say, "Oh, this person is so attractive." I'm just like, "I'm going to have to take your word on that." Cuz I I don't get it. Even if that's true, you surely have some concept of what people mean by conventionally attractive. Yeah, but I feel like I'm... Yes, I, I understand. But you I know just, what it looks like. It, it's... Yes. I, I... Over time, with context clues, I've been able to figure it out. But... I, I feel like I'm not qualified to talk on it because I don't experience it. Like, I... I can't experience it that way. I don't know. Is that weird? That no, is definitely no, weird. No, no, that's that. I asked you for your perspective. That's your perspective. I got I it. Don't, I don't feel. I, I, I certainly have a perspective on it, but I don't feel like it's terribly relevant because I can't. I haven't experienced it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think she did a great job in the role. I don't think it would have hurt to like, maybe like cast for the way. Like, try to find somebody who looks kind of like what they the way they describe her in the in the book. And just kind of, I, like I don't know, like normalize casting people who who aren't like considered conventionally attractive more in le in lead roles, right? Uh, I think I, that that would be probably to everybody's benefit. Maybe I don't know. Again, hard for me to talk on it because I. Okay, hold on. I think I have a tactic here. Benedict Cumberbatch for every movie, then. Oh, no. Ah, yes, the f the faint scent of penis. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I have to send Fred the, the 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 Sherlock Reddit post. He doesn't. I don't think he he's, he hasn't seen it. Uh, but what did you what did you send me recently? Can I show chat that thing you sent me the other day? What did I send you the other day? I send you a lot of things. This Mike Core oh, comic, that, the yes. butt cracker. Yes. Absolutely. Crack. We call it the butt cracker. He wishes everyone a merry thickness. You are so <laughs> fired. <laughs> now, what what made you send me this? Like wait, it, when, when you saw this, you thought right. Man, Mike would appreciate that. Why? Yes. Yeah, why? Why are you? Why did you why did you think that? What do you think? I it just felt like you. I told Fred if there was a Venn diagram that had all of <laughs> all of my interests in it, this comic would be squarely in the middle. F this comic would be dead center of the of the Venn diagram. It's got the nutcracker, it's got it's got the the, the thick S. 
the Nutcracker looks like me? Uh, a little bit. I do have a dump truck. Light cracker. Did you go? You didn't go. No, yeah, I have I have not gone. Still I'm working on it. Trying to. I thought I had a tactic, and then I realized it didn't work. I was Fu looking at. Okay. Well, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, don't uh, don't give me your strategy. I mean, you could still, say it out loud, an and it here. would. You could say it out loud, and it would mean absolutely all right, nothing all to right, me. All right, all right, chat. My idea was bishop b4, but then I real like the, there were a lot of moves that didn't help. But then uh, pawn to c3 fucks it up because if I take knight takes, and if I move it back to a5, then um, pawn to b4, uh, bishop to b6, and he just has a really advanced pawn structure. I followed uh, him side. for the first two things that he said. Uh, it's really yeah, and then he's got another defender for the d4 pawn for free, and I lose like two tempos. The the rest wanna, of and and I just want to kill myself. <laughs> the, the the rest of his sentence felt like I dropped acid and watched the David Lynch movie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, cackling like a <laughs> banshee. Uh, like a ghoul. Like a ghoul. What is the fuck? I am a ghoul. It's like just what I imagine dyslexic people see when they when they look at like the first page of War and Peace, you know, like just just all the words jumbling and reversing in real time. No, I I know that his pawns. No, someone said, who is it saying? Um, Waddle hot. Waddle he is saying Freda's pawn structure is fucked on the king's side. It's like yes, I, I'm aware of this, but I would give him a good pawn structure on the queen's side if I were to fuck him like that. I don't know about good pawn structure, but it certainly would be like decent, and it, he'd have some really nice attacking opportunities on that side. But he would um, probably miss and I don't want to. I don't want to give any quarter if I don't have to. No quarter. Uh, how about how about um how about how about I do how's bouts that I'm gonna do that. All right. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. I know that this pins my G7 pawn, but it doesn't fucking matter. I don't care. He's castling. Oh, my God. He castled. He did it. Wow. Absolute king. <laughs> you just fucked up my whole strategy, son. What was your strategy? That's for me to know and for you to not care about. Fair enough. All right. Uh, how about? <laughs> oh fuck. Um, hmm. Hmm. He castled dab. <laughs> Poggers. He castled poggers. You're really yeah, le you're you're leaving it with with doo doo over here, Fred. I that's really something leaving. that I'm like decent at is just kind of not giving my opponent anything. Like, I, I tend to perform better in more defensive situations, like more strategic situations. Like, my tactics are f fine. They're okay. Um, but that's why I play the Queen's Gambit mm -hmm. uh, when I play white, is because it's uh, it ends up with a slower game, usually. And that's, wh that's where I tend to do better. I learned the... Uh, the ironic thing is I learned the Sicilian. So it's like, uh, but that, but then, like, I, I, but then I play the French, which is another kind of like obnoxious opening that a lot of chess players um, are are really annoyed with. Is the Sicilian kind of boring? Considered obnoxious? The Sicilian, no, the Sicilian is just sharp, typically. But I, I play the French, so it's like, eh, whatever. I'm not a turtler. I just tend to encroach. No, um, if I was a turtler, I would play the hedgehog. But I don't play. Yeah, the you, you, are you trying to make me laugh right now? Like you tr <laughs> trying? No, You're making these things the up, aren't you? Is like, no, the hedgehog is yeah. like the worst name. Get you. Wow, I'm turtling a shit right now. <laughs> Somebody get me to a restroom. Stat. Gotta go fast. Number two. Sonic the Hedgehog turtling, turtling a turd. <laughs> That's where my brain goes. That's my first thought. My only thought. This is all bad. Everything is bad, Fred. Yeah, your peace activity isn't great right now. Yeah, everything uh, is dog shit. I just, I'm just gonna start moving and just pray. Oh, good. Someone said Scoopy Banoopy. Scoopy Banoopy. 
Fred has not played Bug Snacks yet, and he needs I to. I have not, no. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to big time. Snacks is life. Snacks is love. Don't go paper, no pay frog, eh? It, it, this is the problem with strategic positions, is oftentimes the right move is not terribly clear. Uh, I think at this point... Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Yes, okay, I think I have a plan. That does not bode well for me. I think I've got something. On Un unknown said, I just ripped a fat fart, and immediately I was reminded of the video I had seen earlier today of Rudy Giuliani in court arguing about election fraud, and in the middle of a sentence, he rips s. <laughs> Did you what? see it? Right, that was. I, I I think I saw something about that earlier. See, I... he he ri he rips s loudly, <sighs> and like the fucking woman sitting next to him looks at him, and I looked at it and I laughed. And I'm like, okay, it's fake, it's edited. I did some investigating. It is real. He ripped ass in court, loudly, and it's like wet. Like he ri he rips like a a fucking wet loud fart, right in the middle you, of a sentence, like talking about election fraud. Yeah, it's the, a myth. Thing, look it up. See, the first thing that I feel is, I feel like, so we have his we have his sort of hair like dye spray on dye like yeah. melting off his face yeah and like we yeah. have him like flatulating <laughs> massively and like incontinently in the middle of in Dude. the middle of arguing about electrum fraud i just feel like he doesn't feel real anymore you, you know you know he? you know why because he's he, he's slowly morphing into frank reynolds from always sunny from in philadelphia in front of our eyes see i was gonna say he's like he's like a robot that's like malfunctioning down. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't feel like a human anymore. <laughs> He's just a fucking parody of a, of a man, you know, like it's just <laughs> It's like this is real. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh Is they didn't bother to interview a single witness, just like you. <laughs> look at the look at the woman's face. Look at here, the woman's here, pause face. Pause the music when you do it. I'm I'm on the stream. Look at the woman's face. Right. Answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness, just like you. <laughs> they don't want to know the truth. It's not part of that. Well, I, I will I will I will ask that he be <laughs> he be disciplined for that. First of all, first of all, <laughs> hold on. Let's fir first of all, odor in the court. <laughs> odor in the court. It feel answer that I gave you is odor in the and and look at his is that real. Look at his face. Look at his face. Didn't bother to interview a single witness. <laughs> Just like you. He stops in the middle of a sentence. There's like a a short pause and he rips ass. He looks. <laughs> This this looks like something that would show up on YouTube in 2011. <laughs> like a shitty, like a little right, edit, just, like a, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. A, that's what I thought it was at first. It's not. You it's got not. six minutes and 45 seconds, by the way. Answer that I gave you is they didn't bother. I just to don't want you to lose on time. Witness. <laughs> just oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I can. Can't I? You could pause yes. it. No, I can give you time. Oh right. hell yes. Here, that uh, I gave I'll, I'll you give you some more time. There you go. I, I'm giving you an extra two minutes. One, one more, one or, more time. Uh, three minutes. One more time for posterity. Answer that I gave <laughs> you is posterity. Posterity. Answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness, just like you. <laughs> they didn't bother to interview interview a single. Witness, like he stops to rip ass, and then and then just continues his sentence like it didn't happen. <laughs> this woman, odor in the court. <sighs> oh, odor in the court. Oh, okay. All right, we're supposed to we're supposed to play. 
this is supposed to I, I, I gave you I forgot that I can give you time. Oh wow. Oh. I, I'm giving you time. I gave you an extra three minutes. He was hoping it was silent. It sounds like he shit his pants. Is what it sounds like. Um Yeah, like it's too it's too wet yeah. to <laughs> just be a f I don't Guys, he, he farted. Like, it's not the chair. Stop it. He farted. He fucking farted. And that's okay. Like, people fart. Whatever. He's just, he's malfunctioning. He's malfunctioning before our ver very eyes. It's incredible. It's sad. That, it doesn't sound real. It sounds like a stock effect. I can't get over this. It's fucking real, my dude. It's real. This is what it's come to. This is where we are now. Should I do that or is that dumb as shit? I think that's dumb as shit. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Um, nope, that's dumb as shit too, isn't it? Yep, that's also dumb as shit. So you got me in a real. Got me in a real a real conundrum here, my dude. I'm gonna bring the queen out to play a little bit. I think. Shouldn't even even things out, you know. I like that. Yeah, I, I, the idea that he's turning into Frank Reynolds. Slowly, like he's just transforming into, like I'm. I'm thinking about the the episode where he does the uh, beauty pageant, and like all of his makeup, his makeup's all fucked up because a mortician did it. It seems like he paused because it caught him by surprise. Maybe at his age, he can't control his bowels at all. Like he can't control like his asshole. So like it, it did surprise him. Like it scared it scared him a little bit. He didn't know it was coming. All right, so that's your play? Yeah. That's your play. What is he getting at here, folks? What is he... What is he doing, this this guy? What is this guy... What is this guy going for here? What's his plan? What is he doing? There was a distraction here, I think. I think this whole... This whole kerfluffle over here was just a big distraction, is what I think. Or is he really trading down? He's trading down. Why is he trading down? That's why he's trading down, motherfucker. Alright, I got an answer to that. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Were you like hoping I would see that, or were you just you just knew I wouldn't? You were just not even questioning. I was. I mean, it was it was a serious threat. Like I, I just saw like, okay, you know what? I can make this threat. I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was I was like, okay, if this if this plays out right, then I'm gonna be up like four points of material. <laughs> yeah. And that puts me squarely in the cum zone. Which is not we where I feel uh, at home. Girls. It's not where I feel at home. Um, okay. So, no matter what I do, you're probably taking that knight and that bishop, right? Uh, I'm taking at least one of them, I think. Yeah, you're taking, yeah, you're taking one of them. Mike specifically asked for no chess help. Which was dumb. And I probably uh, think I regret that. Um, but you know what, man? It's almost like w trying to teach a goldfish how to play chess. Like, would you try to teach a goldfish how to play no, chess? I, I could teach you the basics. It would be like a waste of your energy to try to teach a goldfish no, it wouldn't. to play chess. No, it wouldn't. The hardest part of the game is the opening, and that can be taught pretty quick. All right, maybe we'll talk about it after this game, okay? Like, like just opening fundamentals. I can't teach you a bunch of different openings. Like, you can get really theoretical if you want to, but... That's what I'm going to do. Uh... That's it, that's the move. They teach goldfish to play basketball, Snorlax? You, what? What? Alright, we'll put that there. Oh, and then you're just gonna gobble up all those pawns, and there's nothing I can do about it, huh? 
I mean, your queen's protecting the one of one of them. Yeah. Gobble, 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 gobble. Hmm. But I wanted to say that I did like the Queen's Gambit a lot. I think I think it's it's worth a watch. There's definitely a reason why it's at the top of the Netflix uh, charts or whatever the fuck. It's fucking great. You're gonna give up the Queen, really? You're yeah. Going queen, I'll queen, queen for Queen. You go Queen for Queen. Yeah. Yeah. He's going Queen for Queen. Gonna be in the Queen. He's doing it. He's going Queen for Queen. Uh, but yeah, you should seriously watch it. It fucking was kind of it's kind of great. I believe it. No. Hmm. Queen for queen. I should have been careful because, as you know, she can move in any direction. I had to sit on my desktop for like the past hour, just waiting for an opportunity to put it put it into OBS. I have to do something about this pop. Have you ever, you ever seen this before, Fred? This has been on the internet for years. Oh, yes. I, I have seen it. <laughs> What'd you do? I was looking at the meme. You're right. She's, no, not I... even, she's not even standing on a square. That said, I bet you could probably just nudge her onto a square with like a quick Photoshop. No, you know what it is. She's playing Go. She's playing jo uh, that. That's what like Pokemon Go. What are you talking about? I mean, no, Go. Go is in the game Go. What's that? It's it's an ancient game. Um, where it, it, it's the one with um, you play on the grid and then you oh, it's a pretty good move. In before he says no, it's not. Never mind. You suck. <laughs> no, it is it is a good move. Um I don't actually think I have much of a response to it. I think I just lose the night here. Uh no, I don't. Uh I have a move. You know what Fred really wants it's to learn how to play now. chat? He, oh, he... wait a minute. No, it's not. I'm I'm sorry, Mike. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I I knew I knew it was I knew it was too good to be true. You know what Fred really wants to learn how to play chat? The the game that I can't remember the name of, uh, Pai Cho. He wants to learn how to play Pai Cho. Am I saying that Pai right? Pai Cho basically Pai, Pai like Cho. Yeah. Is it Wait, am I thinking of the right? No, I'm thinking of Mahjong. Mahjong is basically hyper poker. Um Why don't I just have the queen walk into the middle of the battlefield and bend over for you at oh, this point? Wait. I mean the king. Yeah, wait, I'll just no, have the... show is what is what they play is what Uncle Ira plays. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get it. You didn't even get what I was talking about. It's, it's oh. been it's <laughs> Yeah. I get it now. It, it's been a few years since I've well, seen I, the show. I, I need I, to rewatch it. I feel like it's one of those shows I gotta rewatch every so often. I also said it wrong like a moron. The game from Naruto, pa Paicho. Um, I don't, I don't know, Fred. You're, you're abusing me, and I don't. It feels bad. Um, uh, uh. I can, I can teach you basics if you'd like. Hmm. What you gonna do now? Mm. Think about it. I bet you if they made a game pie pie show and they marketed it towards like the Avatar fans, like they would fucking eat that shit up and love it. They they invented I'll a game. I'll bet that there. I'll bet that it exists. You think it exists? I'll bet that it does. Hold your knights hostage. It's right. Now what? Mm. They're actually not hostage at all, cause I'm not gonna fucking sacrifice a rook. The the, the rook is For one of the knight, it's yeah. it's one of the only fucking pieces I have left. I I can't take either of these fucking knights. This is just me fucking, well, you know, playing chicken right now. Well, it would be an exchange sacrifice. 
Uh, and exchange sacrifices when you trade a rook for either a bishop or a knight. Uh, because a knight, uh, bishops and knights are considered to be worth uh, three pawns, mm. while a rook is considered to be worth five pawns. And while the rook isn't terribly powerful in the middle game because the board is typically so messy, um, it is more valuable in general. Every piece is assigned a value, right? Hi, Tito. This is the Dark Souls of board games. <laughs> Okay. 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 Fuck. Mm. Mm. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm not interacting a ton with chat. I, I'm not very good at chess, and so this is taking all my concentration. Alright, this is gonna be bloody. This is going to be very, very bloody. Um, or is it? Maybe it's Maybe it's not going to be bloody. He thinks he's not good at chess, but look what's happening right now. This is such doo-doo. How did I let myself get into such a piss position? Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, hang on, hang on just a second. Yeah, your new adoptive parents has a good point. I'm, I'm good enough to know I could be much better. That is a really good way of putting it. Fucked me. I thought I was clever, but you uh, you fucked me real good, real good. Uh, there's there's one. Mm, yeah, I'm trying to me. think because fuck like, nice. hey chat, nice. um, I'm looking at bishop to e3 attacking the d5 pawn. Pawn takes on f5. Bishop takes on d5, threatening the rook, but the rook's gone. Okay, that that's why I was thinking that. Oh, whoops. Ah, no. How do I how do I undo a pre move? I got eight, eight minutes. I have two minutes to make this move. Just click it again, yeah. Yeah, I this think I, I think so I, I did the pre-move. I'll give you some extra time. I mean, there's there no, go. there's no way out of this. Like, this is, this, this is what I fucking chose for myself. This was the, I made a decision that I was gonna enter into this, and I didn't think, I didn't think you were gonna be able to do what you did, and now, and now I'm fucked. And now I'm just, I'm just fucked. I'm just trying to figure out how fucked I want to be right now, you know? Yeah. How fucked do I want to be? Like, what level of, of fuck is acceptable right now? I really don't see a whole lot for you, to be no, honest. No, there's nothing here. Yeah, this is this is beans. It's beans. Yeah, I'm up twelve points of material. It's beans. What were you going to do earlier? Have your king waltz into the battlefield ass up? That was the idea. Yeah, that was the idea. <laughs> just just, just walk out there. Like, walk backwards with my ass. Just my ass out. Oh, you're good at chess. Name all the possible board states. He's gonna on Passat me. 
Use a max revive, DJ Steel says. No, I'm hoarding them! I'm hoarding them for, for the final boss! Mike, just eat the pieces. It's the only way to go. Just start stuffing. Are you do you do you realize that I didn't I didn't see that that move? Do you you know I didn't see that move, right? It like, took me a second. I was like, oh, what if he goes H5? And I'm like, oh wait, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's great. So good. So good here. The pawns have a chance. I I don't know what you're talking about. These? No, this is over. The 5D version of chess? It, it, I thought that was a meme. You're, you're telling me that's a real thing? Oh, that is a real thing, yes. Um, it's absolutely wild. Well, what the fuck goes on there? <laughs> it's mind-melting. Basically, pieces can move through time as well. <laughs> What do you mean? What? What are you talking about? Move through time. Um, so like a rook, for example, can move horizontally infinitely, vertically infinitely, but it can also move through time infinitely, the, okay. as in it can stay on its square, but go backwards. Well, that's chess too. That, that, that's your answer. Chess too exists There's at that point. Too, yeah. So what? It has like tears to it. Can I look up a picture of this? Ugh, it's it's a nightmare. Do you want more time? I just want to look at it. I just want to look at. Right, I just want to see I'm what the board you, looks I'm like. I'm feeding you more time. Um. Oh. F oh. Fuck this. Yeah. yeah there's a trailer yeah. on on Steam. Here, chat. This is what I'm looking at right now. Good luck. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's not for me. I know what's, I know what's for me and what's not for me. That's not that's not for me. Uh, With chess, not. you can sort of figure out what to do. Like with with a little bit of time, but with five D chess with time travel, it's just sometimes you can't move, and like the the game is clearly saying, oh, you have a legal move here, but you spent like I would spend five minutes trying to find it. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean there's a legal move? Is th am I not fucked? And it's like, no, you can go back. You can move your king back in time. And it's like, oh, great. Uh, Neptune Evo says it looks like an eye exam. <laughs> you can go back in time. A uh, fuck, it's you know, horrifying. like just, just th that. And create, and the way that it, it the way that it, um. That the way that it fixes paradoxes is by paradoxes is by creating new timelines. <laughs> and timelines. You know what? I'm gonna end the match this way. I'm gonna get you into into check. It's just to say I I was able to do that. Yeah, I knew I, right. I saw that, but I mean I just, I forfeit. This is fucked. What am I gonna do? Did you just keep going with the pawns and pray. There's no. There's nothing. It's over. No, there's there's not much. Yeah, it is. I'm afraid. You can resign. There's a resign button if you want to just move on to the next game. But where? Let me mash the shit out of that resign button. Where is it? It's underneath the list of moves. It's under... Uh, Alright, so there's binoculars and... Oh, I see it. Smash that yeah. motherfucker resign button! I did have a mistake. Let me see where it is. A mistake? Oh, so Ploptopus is asking, Hey, Fred, does the black disadvantage still exist if it's computer versus computer? Is the disadvantage more of a human psychology thing? No, it, it's it's true for computer games as well as... Um, it's true for computer games as well as, com like, human games. Well, what's the essence they, of the... Uh, God, sorry. What's the essence of it? Yeah. What I was going to ask you. Um, white starts a turn ahead. It's really just that simple. Like, there's the well. Well, what's the 
what is the benefit of being able to to to, to go first, like materially? Uh, because the like the game of chess is basically a game of trying to stay a move ahead of your opponent, at least at all times. And so it's not psychological. Like there's an actual tangible advantage to being able to go well, first. To go there's, first. Yeah. there's been a lot of argument about this because some like there there's an argument that chess it, like the disadvantage of black is all psychological like there has been an argument about that and the reason that uh the results for black are so bad is because people who play black will like give up opportunities for victory because they believe that black is inferior when really like over time, though, there's sort of been more and more analysis done, and, and like there is a significant belief that white is just better because it starts a turn ahead. So there is a psychology to it, but only after that you acknowledge that there is a probably just a slight advantage, right? Well, it, it the the advantage becomes much larger as like the skill goes up. Okay. So like at, at our level, it, it's not as not nearly as big of an advantage. For Grandmasters, however, you know, it's like, all right, I have white this game. I have to try to win. Right. Waddle High says that the disadvantage doesn't apply to people with a rating under 2200. That's it's not that it doesn't exist here at all. It, it I mean, that there there are arguments to be made either way. All right. Uh, you want to do this again? Or yeah, let's um, go. am I done embarrassing myself here? What's what's. Oh, sorry. Except. OK. All right. Uh. I'm going to try to get the bishops doing things early this time. I I think is well, I'm going to try I'm going to I'm going to try different things than I tried before. All right, that's the plan. I'm just going to just going to try different things, just different just different. Fun D chess would all be online. One D chess? <laughs> I don't know how you do that. That's checkers. <laughs> no, it's not. Chess That's is three. checkers. How you wait a minute? Chess is three. Is is three D? Right. What? No, it's played on a two dimensional plane. Yeah, but the 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 you know it's graphically it's three D. You know. I mean, yeah, but. Functionally speaking, why did I do that? That's actually not a bad move. Do I want to sacrifice this bishop? Probably not yet, right? No, let's not. You let's can. not do that. I don't think it's I should. You. I think it's. I think it's dumb to sacrifice the bishop at this point. We're gonna kind of probably need him. Uh, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that just yet. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, this. Yes, this was the right move. Yes. Okay. Now I don't have a choice. Or do I? He's already got me on the defensive. That's often how, like games go like white tends to be the aggressor you know what i'm gonna make it worth it i'm gonna make it worth it okay hmm Do I want to do here? I can't believe he beat me at chess and connect four tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So, am I gonna am I gonna play Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven or, or what? what, what do you, chat, do you do you want to see this game get get streamed or what? 
trying to figure out if I should buy this and play this. No replay bug snacks. Guys, I can't just stream bug snacks over and over for wait. <laughs> I mean you could be a speedrunner. Can I? Can I? I certainly Why not? I certainly could. Speedrun bug snacks. Nah, I'll fuck that up too. Um <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, that's what I jokingly replied to Vinny on Twitter. I was saying, like, does this mean that I'm gonna be able to, you know, make the dick boobs in in Cyberpunk 2077. I am I, I think what happened to Vinny was it was a technicality because he was playing a mod. So the actual base it, it's it's bullshit. No matter how you slice it. But, it's very strange, isn't it? Yeah, because it's like, well just because this game had is is a it's it has been modded now it violates the TOS, but like again, led the big example was Last of Us Two that had boobs in it. It's like that that was fine to stream that game, right? I don't, I don't get it. I the weird, I don't know, like strange, puritanical, odd. I don't. It, it's arbitrary. Yeah, Airborne Dink is saying that correctly. It is all arbitrary. Cyberpunk has a no nudity option if you're worried about Twitch. It, it, why would I play the game without the nudity? Isn't that the point? Wasn't that going to be the point? We were going to fuck around in the character creator and make the dick boobs and then run around with dick boobs. And then, like, if I can't do that, then why would I buy this game? <laughs> There's, you've defeated the purpose. Right. But, you know, at the same time, I guess I want to see what's going on. I kind of... I have a feeling it's going to suck monster ass and it's going to be a train wreck. And everybody's going to hate the game and I kind of like, I want to be a part of that, you know? I want to be a part of the of the train wreck. Why do you think it's going to be that bad? Uh, Because it's because look how hyped it, it is. It can't, it, nothing can mm. live up to the amount of hype that this game has had. I see what you're saying. It's been in development for fucking like nine years or something. And people <laughs> are fucking salivating to play this game. There's been so much controversy during the development. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can I don't think I can play it just because of like the really the gross working conditions. Like that there are some really bad stories that have come out of it. And like, that was, game development is such a messed up industry at this point. That was part of the reason why I didn't want to play uh The Last of Us Two. It was uh mm. like an actual ethical consideration, you know? But Yeah. And I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't buy it. A part of me still wants to eventually, like, play it just to, to fucking see what was going on, but... But then, but then they win, so I can't probably ever play that if I really want to... If, if I really want to embrace that ethically, I can never play that game. I can never buy... I can play it, but I can never buy it, you know? Right. The, the way I feel is I have so many other games to play, dude. Mm-hmm. I have so many games to play. And, you know, it's one of those, you know, I'd say I get an open world game. Whenever I play one of those, I get overwhelmed and it's like there's just too much. You know, it's not the type of game I typically I typically play. You're bringing the queen out here now, man. You're bringing the fucking queen out here, dude, like that. You can bring the queen out. I can't believe it. It's really you're funny that, like, in all of like our that. games, my queen side has been, like, quite developed. Look at my stupid army. Look how bad they are. <laughs> Look how dumb and bad they are. God, I hate them. Yeah, get, uh, game development industry is fucked, but... Find me an industry, honestly, that doesn't have... Shitty working conditions like that. Like, f find me one that doesn't have fucking problems like that. And I'm not excusing that, I just... I'm extending the complaint to literally everything when I say this. Well, I mean, there are games that are produced ethically, though can play those true that's that's just my thought in that sense in that in that sense but just as, in terms of there being industries wow wow what the fuck what the fuck i'm pretty happy with this tactic what the fuck 
What I the actual? Like, yeah. I opened up my queen's side enough that I could move both my queen and my bishop up to your king's side. I guess you think that was worth it. Yes. I'm up 10 points of material now. He's like, oh, it definitely was worth it. I mean, I'll take it. No, it, it was very, very much worth it. Hmm. Hi, Mega 5K. Can we ban the stream? The pawns look like boobs, and I'm offended as a woman. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, report it. Report it to Twitch, I guess. Um. Boobular pawns. Bishop do be looking fine, though. <laughs> Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to Google, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to type sex-themed chess set. Yep, it's all dicks. <laughs> it's all dicks! It's all dicks, yep. It's all... Many different... I, I imagine it's just a, a number of different kinds of dicks. Who's been drawing dicks? I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is disgusting. Like, it's, it's disgusting what I'm looking at. Adult... I imagine that it's like a little abject, actually. <laughs> Adult erotic themed Kama Sutra chess set, and it's yeah, it's filled with it's filled with every every if piece it's is erotic a themed. It's probably trash. Like, can we agree on that? When we were talking about that the last time uh, you were on, is that all of the when we did the Christmas Hell House that all of the the theme sets are objectively trash because you can't tell what oh, fucking yeah. piece is what. Yep. Yeah, I hate looking at this. All the pawns are penises, and then the set. It's like if you wanted it's not to act funny. It's not funny. It's stupid. If you wanted to play chess with this, you'd have to be like, "Oh, well, wh which which one is the uh, the bishop? Oh, it's the one in the missionary position. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, I forgot. Which which one is the queen? Oh, that's the one where he's eating her out. It's like this is adding an extra step of difficulty to the game." This is 4D chess, is what this is. You're adding an extra layer of difficulty and confusion when, when, in my opinion, the fucking game is confusing enough. Yeah, <laughs> right. What'd you do? You moved the, the, the knight out? Well, the problem, yeah, the, the problem is that you need to be able to tell what the pieces are at a glance. Yeah. Yeah, we've talked about this. I'm, I'm just repeating myself now. No. It's good. Doesn't feel like it. Uh, Feels like I'm boned. Well, actually. <laughs> Here, there's, the, there's the well, actually. There it is. I I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, now the pawn's hanging. Hanging pawns. Yeah, this is I, depressing. Excuse me. I, we're using the erotic chess set. Now your dick is hanging. Yeah. yeah. God, I... So anything stupid. erotic themed is just dumb. I, I, I hate anything that's just like oh, tee hee. Like, if you've ever been on the worst things for sale, like that blog. I've never like, been. Have on you there. ever seen that blog? But well, it sounds like it's Spencer's Gifts, but it's a website. Like, well, it's, it, no, it's uh, the worst well, things for sale is a collection of like things that really do not need to, to exist. Be products <laughs> to exist. They, they have no right to exist. And they have, like, really depressing uh, backstories, you know? Like, like just... They sit there and bring joy to no one and just maybe maybe bring, like, the like a smile to the face of a really, you know, a really a lewd, really immature person, person. A really juvenile yeah. person like me for a moment. And then it just sits yeah. and collects dust because it doesn't have any... Its existence doesn't have any value outside of that initial chuckle. And then you just right. hide it from people forever so you don't get embarrassed by it. Right. This is... It's always on Amazon, too. Meanwhile, you know, plastic got wasted and it brings joy to no one. I'm, I'm referencing that. <laughs> are we that? going back to that? Yeah, already? we're going back to that again, yeah. Um, I don't fucking get this. I'm gonna just... Um, do a thing. I'm gonna do a thing here. I'm gonna do a thing here. Yeah, I'm doing a thing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm doing a thing.
This, the track that I'm, we're currently listening to, is called uh, "Rudy Giuliani Farting at a That's Michigan what I Hearing." Gave you is they didn't God, shut up! A single witness. It's called uh, "Reawolution." Reawolution. Re excuse me. Reawolution. Uh, I don't. I don't know what video this is from, but it feels like it. It fits this scenario that me and you playing chess like this right now. Why? Like this, this epic battle of two immensely powerful minds facing off in this high stakes game. You know. Mm -hmm. It really sets the the tone for this, right? Got gotcha. Yeah. Please win for us dumb people. I will do everything I can to represent stupid people everywhere. Rudy Giuliani farts to chill slash prosecute to. <laughs> re -avolution. That's clever. I like that. There's a cool um, Cybreed song called Re-Evolution. Re-Evolution, okay. Yes. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Uh, what we were talking mm. about earlier. I, I watched this cool documentary uh, on Netflix last night. Uh, it was called... Um, it was called... It's called I Can't Fucking Remember. Uh, did anybody watch the documentary on, on Netflix about the... Uh, like the alien planets bike? And can remember what it's called? Revali Beak, Beak Jobs. Revali Beak Jobs. All right, we're going to Google Netflix uh, documentary. All right. Alien uh, Worlds or something. Uh, it's called I Alien. Move. It's called Alien Worlds. Uh, it's called Alien Worlds. And what they do is... All right, Lutre. What's up? Thanks for coming tonight. It's basically walking with dinosaurs... But with made up a Lameos. That's exactly right. Um, well, I the, there's and and we were talking about this before the stream. We like chatted for like two hours before the stream or something. <laughs> yeah, we actually just sat here um, for two hours and talked before going live. Um, it's it's an exercise that scientists like to perform. And you know, I didn't see that, right? <laughs> I was wondering. You you were threatening the paw, and I'm just like, does he see that it's protected by the queen? No, he didn't. Nope, he didn't. Um, <clears throat> so what they do is they talk to a bunch of evolutionary biologists and like astrophysicists and stuff, and they try to come to, they they create <clears throat> these scenarios about you know outrageous extreme alien worlds, and based on looking at. Earth life as a comparison, what could potentially evolve in those scenarios. And it was mm -hmm. like watching a Spore movie. Like, it was cool. <laughs> the CG was really good. Uh, and some of the stuff that, like, you, you know it's fucking stupid and theoretical and fucking a little bit, like, over the top and just, like, schlocky. But they, they do it in a way that's, it's mo actually more tasteful than I expected it to be. PG Frog, right. he calls it speculative biology. Yeah. Yes. Um, and some of the aliens are fucking just so fun-looking, you know? Like, they make some really fun-looking aliens. One of them is a crab, to speak to the whole uh, evolution bends toward the arc of crab thing. There's one crab. Right. <laughs> um, I, I hate that that's a thing. Yeah, but it's accurate, unfortunately. Uh, it's weird and cool, and it's creepy. I, I, I recommend it. I liked it a lot. They actually did a good job making the alien worlds look interesting. It was like... If No Man's Sky was just, like, a little bit more talented, you, you know? Like, some of the alien... Right, the, right. the alien... There's only four episodes. So I watched all of it last night, just sitting there. I just binged it. I thought it was... I thought it was fucking great. Um, you watched it, Bolomar? The amoebic sea and the giant creatures that walked across it and ate parts of its mouth with their feet. You know, I don't think we saw the same thing because I don't remember that bit. Uh, I don't know what to fucking do. You just fucked me so hard. I, like, lost all will to, to fight here. <laughs> I have no will left. Um, I don't know. Just go to town. Go to town. Go to town on my ass. 
You guys are talking about Alien Planet. This thing was called Alien Worlds. It, they just released it, so you wouldn't have seen it prior to yesterday. It's a new thing. Uh, bike. Just wreck my ass, Fred. You know you want to. Just go for it. I'm just figuring out how... No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I, I'm so scared because chess is one of those games where you can be really far ahead and then just bungle. Right? Like, that is just a thing that happens in chess on the regular. Two grandmasters. Like, oh, yeah, you're super far ahead, and then you bungle. That's my long shot to win any of these matches tonight, is you making a grievous error and me being, being having the wherewithal to take advantage of it. That That's really my, my only hope. That's my only hope. That's my only hope. I could see a lot of people making the argument that the whole speculative biology thing is a complete waste of time, but I don't know. It's fun. You know, well, it's fun it's, to the to theorize. Well, and, no, and just... it's it's not completely useless because it helps us get an idea of what to expect. From, um, if we're looking for life on alien planets, we can theorize what it might look like, and so we know where to look and what to look for. Yeah. So, so it's not it does useless. it does serve a purpose. Absolutely. But it just that kind of comes off like a little oh, bit it like gets come on, come it's on. It's editorialized to help. All right. um, it's... Especially with documentaries with CG, right? It it because it, it looks like you're watching a a fucking. It looks like it, it looks like uh, James Cameron's Avatar. It's like come on, you're because like, yeah, yeah. at first glance you're like this is insulting my intelligence, but. Then they start talking, and they're like, no, no, look, we have, there's a reason why we're saying this is possible. There's an Earth uh, counterpart. There's there's reasons why we're saying this. We know it's speculative. We're not yanking your chain. And then when you look at it in that context, it's like, it's just fun. I don't know. It's just fun. Uh, and, but, but a part of me feels guilty about watching it. Like, I know it's stupid. You know, like, there's something in the back of my head that's like, this is dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> you know, but no, nah, they're like they talked to the dude who created the the uh, the the F Fermi equation, the Fermi paradox. I yeah. guess his name is Fermi, F Fermi, Fermi man, John Fermi's. Are they you, got, are, they, are you making? Are you making a sex joke? They got him for the doc. No, what? What? No, they got him for the for the documentary. They got the guy. Oh wait, really? Yeah, he's in it. Oh, that's cool. Or his partner is in it, him because he it was he was saying he made it with somebody else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was them coming up with the equation for the possibility that there's sentient life in the in the universe, right? I was gonna say like, wait a minute, Fer I was like, wait, how is Fermi? They yeah, reanimated. Been they reanimated his corpse. They yeah, reanimated his. They reanimated but... his fucking corpse. They reanimated it, and they got it for the documentary. What's I difficult to understand about this? I said. I said really, and I was like, as I was saying it, I was like, wait. A they minute. reanimated his fucking corpse. I'm telling you, the Drake equation probably is what I mean. Is the Drake yeah, equation? Yeah, probably. Yeah, most de most definitely. That's what I mean. We get. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you see it in the chat. You see it. Weekend at Fermi's. <laughs> Dude, it was Weekend at Fermi's. That's what they did. Just so I don't have to admit that I was talking out of my asshole. Weekend at Fer <laughs> Fermi's. You got me in such a bad situation here. I honestly have no fucking I, idea I do, what to yeah. do. I'm up 15 points of material here. Yeah, I'm in check, yeah. Uh, here, have fun with that. Enjoy. Uh, White House press conference at 3 p.m. Enjoy! Exclamation point. Oh boy. Sea urchin said had, mm. says that was a good anti check. Okay, you'll yeah, be, that was your best move. You'll be saying it wasn't in a second. No, I actually think that was your best move. I think it was my only one. I, there were no, a couple a of other things I, I could have done there, but I... Yeah, but the problem is, like, King to D6 
Um, if I well, had done anything else, this would have would have just put me back into the exact same position again. You know, like. It... Mm. Mm. Kind of tempted to just be a cheese ball. I think the likeliest explanation is I got the, the Fermi equation confused with the Drake equation. That was probably the Drake, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's fair. Unless the guy in the documentary just lied, because he was like, me and my friend came up with this equation several years ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't see the continuation, but I still think this is... My roommate just sent you bunger porn on Twitter. And thank God for that. Bless him. <laughs> Bless. Um. Man, that's uh, one of the worst things I've ever seen in my fucking life. But the funny thing about it is, it's actually not explicit. Like it has, it has implications, you know. What was what was that? What happened there? Knight to e5. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Let me think about this. Oh, that's fucking gross, my dude. That's disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ew. <laughs> uh, you're gonna render my bishop completely useless, is what you're gonna do. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> that is why I must make him escape. Got not blunder. Got not bunger. Bunger, 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 bunger. It's like this art is like if you used bunger as a. specific product. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. A specific kind of product. It's a big chicken. <laughs> yes, it's like if you use Bunger as a big chicken. He doesn't want to bungle. Blunder. Yeah, I really, I really don't want to bungle this. I'm trying, I'm basically just trying not to fuck up. Hmm. He sees everything. Like an owl. Like he sees all the fucking things on the board. He knows all the moves. I'm just, I can just see in like a small cone in front of me. He's seeing like 10 steps ahead and all possibilities before they even play out. That really? Now she's laughing her ass off in her room. Good, good. I hope she, I hope she's having a great time. I hope she's just yucking it up. Is she just yucking it up? She's yucking it up? Y yeah. yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, for real? 
Yeah. For really? Okay. This is how I, I'm going to get pinched by the queen and the knight. This is how it happens. I re that Oh, fuck. You got connect five. <laughs> yeah, I did. God damn it. I'm the real winner no matter what happens now. Yeah, pretty, like... <laughs> oh, that. I meant to do that. <laughs> Nesthenic says, you... Do you do... I only come to your stream every so often. Do you do multiple segments or just the one? What do you mean segments? Like, am I going to do something th other than chess tonight? I usually just do one thing, if that's what you're asking me. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's his style. Sometimes you'll do two, especially if, like, one person is there for just a few hours, right? And then you'll move on to another game. Yeah, but typically what will happen is I, uh, I get very mentally exhausted, and then I want to go lay down. That's so legit, though. Uh... I... I, I don't, I, no. I've mentioned this on your stream a couple of times, but I was a Twitch streamer before I was a YouTuber, and I, I gave it up because I just became too exhausted. It can be kind of taxing, honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's... I, I got to the point where I was, like, getting pretty close to being able to be partnered, but I, I recognized, it's like, wow, the, the amount that I need to stream to make this work is just not sustainable for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to burn out in a few months. Oh, I've been burnt out for years, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom and make some tea. I'm just an empty um, husk of a, of a man. Again, I'm going to refresh myself, but would you like a miniature chess lesson? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. He's going to get some tea and get, and get cozy. It's a very cozy stream tonight. I like being cozy. Cozy with Fred. It's always cozy with Fred. Mike, if you stop streaming, please at least set up an OnlyFans. I, I don't... That's not something that I ever see myself doing, honestly. Uh, even though I, I am so attractive and would probably make so, so, so much money doing that. Uh, it's just... I think my mother would be really disappointed in me if, if, if I did that, you know? Um, so, really, that's the reason why, you know? Stick his bishop up your nose, hurry. Oh, I'm going to put all of his pieces in my ass real quick. Damn, is he frying chicken in there? Frank piss is loud as fuck. <laughs> but I think that's pretty cool. I wonder if we could play that for Fred when he gets back so he knows... Uh, so he knows we heard him. But I got Damn, him Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. You piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. Damn, boy. <laughs> uh, have... Ha Hi, Harry Kidney. Have you shown the penis compilation videos to your mom yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's fine. That's That's different. Nothing wrong with that. That's not embarrassing at all. That's a completely different a completely different thing. Have you seen the original TikTok that that audio is from? I haven't and I I think I'm going to try to stay away from from TikTok as much as I can. Uh that seems like an avenue that I I really don't want to go down. You know, kind of like Instagram. Like, I took a look at Instagram. Really, it's like the only the only app I, I really stuck with was, was Twitter, for whatever reason. Um, I, I don't want to be sitting around having, like, 50 different f fuck, fucking, like, apps. Like, I just... Like, I spend enough time doom scrolling on Twitter. I don't want to get involved in, in, in anything else, you know? Like, I only have enough time in the day to doom scroll on one app, right? TikTok is just Vine, you boomer. Yeah, but I wasn't involved with with Vine either. It's the same. It's the same thing. T 
TikTok involves a lot of actual children trying to be funny and not being it. Yeah, I think one of the things that cemented me never investigating anything about TikTok was seeing my young niece and, and nephews fucking around with it and showing me videos on it that they thought were really, really, really funny. And I was looking at them and just dying inside a little bit. I was like, yeah, this is not going to be an app for me. Not, not at this point in my life. Yeah, this is for Zoomers. This isn't. This isn't for me. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like Zoomers. I don't like Boomers. I don't like Zoomers uh, on both sides. I'm. I'm. They're closing in on me. Both generations are closing in on me, and I'm feeling very claustrophobic. I don't like the old people, and I don't like the young people. You know what? I don't even like other millennials. I don't like anybody. Yeah, I don't like anybody. Yeah. Do you like G Gen X? I don't even know what that is. I don't even what what is, what is Gen X? Hey, I'm back. Fred, there's something I need to tell you. Do you have the Do you have um my stream up i do yes do you have the audio can you put the audio on for a second yeah yeah sure ready damn boy were you just frying chicken in there <laughs> for real though you piss loud as fuck i think that's pretty cool damn boy were you we all heard you but it's okay we still love you what do you uh, mean we heard you peeing that, that's impressive because you didn't pee no, I I did. I just oh, have my oh. microphone muted, and also my bathroom is like a, very far away from my office. Well, what can I say, Fred? It's a testament to the human will. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I'm just impressed. Do uh, so you want to do a rematch? You're gonna teach me how to how to play now, right? Like you're gonna give me a little. I, I'm bit... gonna teach you the basics. Yes. Like a crash course. Okay. Is there yeah. any way to handicap you since you're so much better than me? Like maybe we just take away your uh, your rooks. Like you don't have rooks, for example. Like you need a handicap. Well, well, may maybe I maybe we could uh, just give you a bunch of extra time. Like at the beginning of the match, I just spam click that that's give fifteen seconds button. Uh, that's not gonna work. And like give you it, twice my time. I, I had a better idea. Here's how we handicap you. Here's the only way okay. I think I think it's gonna work to hand to ha give you a handicap. We just no need knifers. to fucking bash your head into the wall like a couple of hundred times so you lose like a lot of brain cells and get like a little bit of a concussion. Bitch, I've been burning the last of mine to play tonight. <laughs> we have to find a way to make you stupider. Let's sh we'll show you a bunch of TikTok videos till you become dumb. I've got like five left and I'm using two of them to play tonight. <laughs> you have so many left. Who are you kidding? find ways to make him dumber um uh we just get him high I, I really think that just like give you um like give you a bunch of time oh here work. make him watch your pikmin 3 streams just binge my youtube channel just binge my fucking <laughs> full full stream full stream youtube channel okay so why don't i uh stream my screen to you you want to do that yeah i can do that uh, F11. Uh, I've got the like the analysis board up, um, and I can just show you stuff. All right, hang yeah. out, hang out a second. Oh, uh, just hang out, just hang out a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Read Mr. Boop. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good way to do it. No, we just we just play chess after doing one of our home exploration streams i'm not even kidding when i feel like after after maybe 30 minutes into into like exploring that house i was dissociated oh I'm the cr even, christmas i'm not even joking like the, the i was christmas? dissociated yeah. during that stream <laughs> during during the christmas hell house stream yeah it was uh it was hard it was hard to focus it, it's why i kept mixing up ir and uv it's like me in in my normal state, 
is not i i in my normal state will not like mix those up and i'm not going to be so confused it's like yes i know that ir is below visible light and uv is above visible light but in that moment i just could not parse that information don't forget we had we had been live i think about three hours at that point something like that so you know you start getting trust me man you start getting mentally exhausted you start getting burnt out when you're sitting there like talking for fucking three hours it, it, it gets you it's exhausting yeah. shit man it is i it, it's it's why streaming was so exhausting for me all right you're ready you're ready to fucking learn chess I am gonna do my best to pay attention and try to try, okay. to, try to glean something from what you're gonna show me. Okay. I, I can't guarantee I'll learn and then put it into practice because this chat will tell you I tend to not learn. I'm very resistant to new information, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> I got you. No, you're good. No, I, I think I can do this. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Okay, so here's the chessboard. It looks very complicated on its surface, but the best way to understand it is to break it down into sections. First of all, you have the king side, which is everything to the right of this, and you have the queen side, which is everything to the left of this. Okay. Right? So you need to start. So think about it in terms of like, here's the king side, right? Um, you have your pieces here. Often you want to think about how are you going to develop these pieces so you can castle king side, because usually you want to castle king side. Uh, the general rule of thumb is castle early and castle often because it's a fantastic defensive move that gets your rook in the game. Okay. So always be thinking about like your king's position because out in the center, your king is very vulnerable. One of your first goals in a game of chess should be getting your king to safety. Uh, after, like you wanna make sure that you're not losing like on a tactic or something, but once you feel like your position is sound and secure, start thinking about castling. What are the rules uh, of, of, of castling though? Like how do you- Okay. Yeah, what, what are the conditions where, where you can castle? Okay, yes. Uh, so the rules of castling are if there are no pieces between your king and one of your rooks, and neither your king or your rook have moved yet, then you can move your king two spaces toward your rook and move the rook to the other side of the king. So on the king's side, that puts your king on this square in front of this pawn wall. So this is like a nice safe bunker for the king, basically. It's a nice mm. safe bunker. Bunker bunker. Got it. Yeah, it's a bunker bunker. Uh... So if you're castling king's side, it's very safe, it's very secure, especially if none of these pawns have moved. Like, or like maybe this pawn is here, right? Yeah. Then it's very safe. If you castle to the queen's side, then your king ends up here. Uh, but your rook is in uh, one of the center files. So it's a much more aggressive castle. Because uh, you're often going to take another move to like move your king behind this pawn wall. Okay. It, it, like the queen side castle is a sometimes food. Kingside Castle is like. Did you it's just say it's a, a sometimes food? Yes, it's a sometimes food. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? No, do you remember when what Cookie I mean? Monster was like, you know, <laughs> kids were eating too many cookies? Like they were worried that it was giving the message that, uh, kid, like you know, kids eat cookies because they wanted to emulate Cookie Monster, so they made him say that cookies were a sometimes food. Is that what happened? I think I remember something where, like, fucking Cookie Monster got blamed for childhood obesity at one point. Right, and like, like when, I was, when huge, I was younger, like ridiculous controversy. This was in like the it. '90s, like, right? It is a long time like, ago. People, this went down. People got unreasonably angry at the Cookie Monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the beginnings of like people in, in this country getting fucking angry over literally nothing, like all the time. <laughs> that no, was that, this been happening ever. No, that's been happening ever since the inception of America. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, no, that taxation without representation that, not, is a, is a good America. reason to get angry. Right, like, but, like, no, I, I'm talking, like, people just get angry over stupid shit. Like, that, that is eternal. I think that there's a good argument to be made that the Cookie Monster may have encouraged children to eat more junk food, but the panic that it caused was, like, it's the kind that only, like, middle-class moms know. Yeah, that specific kind of, yeah, Karen panic. <laughs> Karen panic. Okay, anyway, uh, so, Kingside Castling is generally the way to go gets your king nice and safe, and then you can start looking at tactics elsewhere. In the very beginning of the game, with your first moves, the thing you should always be thinking about is trying to take the center. You want to take the center. Yeah, you want to take control of the center in any way that you can, and there are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, moving your pawns up, for example, great way to take the center. Like, the most common opening at every single level of play, from, like, beginner to grandmaster, e4. Very basic. 
King's Pawn opening. So many games start this way. Like, this is by far the most popular opening, and it's the simplest. Because now, you're taking control of the center here. Like, this isn't directly in the center, but it's like, you also want to be thinking about, like, these squares, right? Controlling the center means you have a lot of flexibility. You're taking control over the board, and you can kind of start to choke your opponent out a little bit. Uh, restrict their movement. And then often, you know, Black wants to respond with uh, e5. Then if you want the Italian game, you know, you bring your knight out. Now your knight is starting to attack the center. It's attacking this pawn, uh, threatening to take it on the next turn. Also, if anything happens over here, it's attacking it. Um, if your pawn ends up here for some reason, it's protecting it. And then so Black will do the same thing, taking the center. That's why you see knights move to this square so often is because it's taking the center. Taking the center, okay. Yeah, this is the King's Knight. I think this is called the Italian game. So yeah, now the kings are like, or the knights are out. So th th that's the whole point. That's why this opening is so popular because you're taking the center in a very clear and obvious way. So the Italian stallion is when you take the stallion out and you rip your brajol in his face right in the beginning without any messing I, around. I'm, I'm glad that my lessons are really taking hold. They Listen, I am interpreting the information in my own way and processing it in a way that makes sense for me. You know, That's fair. It, it, that works. Is, it's, it, 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 it is working. I am absorbing. I am learning. Uh, all right, good. It's just, Excellent. it's got to be done at my own pace or I'll hurt myself, you know? Mm -hmm. So your goals in the early game are, are to take the center and yeah. also develop your pieces, especially your knights and your bishops. The reason being your knights and your bishops are much stronger in the middle game. Knights, obvi it's obvious why knights are strong in the early and middle game because the board is very messy and the knight has the ability to jump over other pieces. So a messy board isn't nearly so big of an issue for a knight. So getting your knight advanced and active and doing things is a really good way to start uh, to start your game. That's why often you'll see like people move their pawns and then, oh, here comes the knight. Like just cause good to have the knights out. Right. I feel like I've been doing these these things tonight. Don't yeah. you think? I, don't no, you think for the most part I've I've been doing what you're what you're describing right now for the most part? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, there then why am I losing? Too. Yeah, I just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> so that because I, I think that uh, we actually can um, we can look into some tactics that I think you missed, uh, and recognizing these patterns will help you, like some basic patterns. Okay. Another thing that you might want to think about. Just by the way, another sometimes food is called <laughs> fianchetto. Uh, a fianchetto is... <laughs> I love that. Like, let's suppose you do this. Um, then the bishop can go here. Now it's got a nice little bunker. And it's sniping all the way on the longest diagonal of the board. This is obviously not something you want to do all the time. But if you're having trouble getting your bishop out, it's something to think about. Because look at it's it, Even though the bishop is really far away from the center, it's putting lots of pressure on it. I like feel now like I, I'm attacking this pawn. I, I, I tried this too at a certain point tonight. You did. I, I yeah. saw you do it. Yeah. And uh, I just like I just ate shit. Um, but it's not just about the openings. No, it is not. So let's actually, let me refresh. Uh, let's do a setup. Let, let's clear the board. Uh, boop. So. Boop. Let's look at some very basic ideas. So f one of the most important things that you will learn in chess is called a pin. Now here's actually, you know what? I can just do an opening with this. Let me reload. Come on, let me reload. F5. F5. Fred, I'm streaming your-, your It crashed. I'm streaming your uh, screen, so make sure you hide like the rat porn folder. Oh, okay, good. Like, make sure, like nobody get, can see like the big the big hot dicks folder and all, and all that whatever what was, what was the thing what was the thing Rev, Rev said the other night what what's the folder his secret project folder big hot oh, dicks is what he is the name oh, of the God. folder that has the hot uh, the hot dicks porn zone yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> Chrome big, has been like really bad for me lately has it been bad for you too oh uh, everything's bad all the time so. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna teach. So I'm gonna teach you one of the most popular openings in the game. 
Uh, this right. Here. Uh, let me see. Then Steam has been pissing this, me off lately. I believe actually. this is yeah. So this is the Rui Lopez, also known as the Spanish Torture. Uh, this actually makes an appearance in the in the blue, uh, deep blue down the rabbit hole. They end up in this scenario. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what's happening here is this bishop is pinning the knight to the pawn. So let's suppose black decides to move the pawn. This is a perfectly acceptable move. Um, not great, obviously. There are better options. But now, look what's happening. You generally don't want to move this pawn. You want to delay it because look what's happening now. This knight cannot move because if it moves, it puts the king in check. Right. You pin, you pinned it. That's why it's called pinning. Exactly. Yeah. It, you are you are pinning it to the king. Palm Chomp says, "Are you okay? Why would why wouldn't I be okay?" By the way, can I can I say can I put this out there? That that's one of the streamers' most despised things to see in chat is somebody saying, "Are you okay? You're fine, Palm Chomp. I just want to I just I just want to put this out there for the sake of I don't know conversation." That is, like, not something a streamer ever wants to see because it makes them think that something is wrong. Like, oh, my God, is there is there a problem? Like, am I doing something wrong? Am I may, maybe, oh, God, it makes it makes streamers self-conscious is what I'm saying. So, like, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't do that because now I'm like, I'm like, oh, fucked up. I'm like, what, it's like, maybe I'm not okay. Am well, I okay? I, you know, let me put it this way. You've I was fine. okay until you asked me that. Like, does that make sense? <laughs> does that make sense? So often, even um, and beyond that, even it, like if the person is doing poorly, right, and if they want to share it with chat, they will share it with chat. But oftentimes, for streamers, when things aren't going well, streaming is a time to put that aside and just focus on entertaining. The show must go on. Fred understands this. Right. It's yeah. It's well. On top of that, it can be it can be therapeutic because you're saying, okay, I'm just going to set aside like any any problems that i have and i'm going to focus on on the show yeah and just kind of get lost in the sauce a little bit you know get nice and yeah. nice and moist yeah exactly <laughs> just um, enjoy like it's it, it's it's an escape for a little while so but you get the idea right like i am pinning this weaker piece to a stronger piece and you can see this as well let me reload again you just said everything is awful yeah true yeah yeah. <laughs> am so I wrong though? Can... Like, am I wrong? So you're, you're sorry. You show it's okay, Palm Chomp. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to call you out. Uh, <laughs> so you're just put. Uh, but I, even though I did, so you're just showing me different pin scenarios right now. Yeah, I, I'm showing you what a pin looks like, and a pin does not have to be to the king, right? Like, let's suppose I have a bishop here, rooks over here, and this is something that you'll end up with sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the knight is here, right? And let's say we have, like, this pawn structure for one reason or another. Check it out. So even though this isn't the king, this is still a pin. Because the knight is, like, if the knight moves, like, let, let's suppose we move the knight, bishop takes. So unless that knight is, like, making a check or taking another, like, it is threatening another piece in turn, eh, it's you're losing the rook. In you a lot of so you you may not have like the opportunity to move the rook is what you're saying. Like maybe there's another piece because I think most people would try to move the rook if they were in this situation. Yes. Now that that is a very good point. Um, like let let's suppose for example, right? Uh, we, we can take this farther. Let's suppose Black has has developed his bishop here. So the bishop is still pinning the knight to the rook, or right? Like the, that makes sense. He's pinning However, it. yeah, yeah. So, so if the knight moves, then oh shit, right? But if the rook moves, yeah, removing the pin is a great way to deal with this because now this knight is free to move, and you developed your rook. Right. Okay. So wh whenever your piece is in a pin, often you want to be thinking: Is there anything I can do? Are there any ideas I have to get rid of this pin? And often it really is as simple as moving the piece that um that, that is not not moving the piece that is pinned but moving um the piece that is being threatened behind the pinned piece okay yeah like just, so just solving the the problem the, the root of the issue 
Yeah, exactly. And then you get um, your night back, yeah. Yeah, for example, like, I... I was able to get out of a really sticky situation in a game recently because the dude was pinning a pawn to my king, so I just fucking moved the king. People sometimes forget that you can move, move the, the king. Move the, the piece, <laughs> yeah, the king. <laughs> the king can move. It's a mobile piece, and in the end game, it's an attacking piece. You want to get it out there. Why do you think it is that the king can only move one space at a time, but the queen can move infinite spaces at a time? What's, what's going on there? Is that like reverse sexism? What is that? Why is the why is the, the 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 man powerless in this situation, and the woman has all the power? What's going on there? I I, I think why did that end I'm up like that? With you, yeah. I'm gonna level with you. I think that at first it was a an approximation of military tactics, but then just kind of became a game. So literally, it's just it's only a game. Why, why you, you have, have to, to be, be mad? mad? It's just a game. Yeah. It's only a game. He ate too many cookies. He made he took the sometimes food and made it an every time food and now he's old and fat. And the queen is a brutal a brutal ruler. Well, who well, can frankly, move in any like, direction. Changes were <laughs> changes were made to chess over the years to make it a more aggressive game. Right. Like so, chess is a really really good game. A very well balanced game at that. You think that chess started as an approximation of military tactics? Oh yeah, uh, kings would force their generals to play. Ta <laughs> would would force their generals to play games of strategy, including there, there this one. There was a firm belief that there was a firm belief. Um, yes, it, like the the early progenitors of chess. It would get you to think about things in a tactical way, which could be right. which could be applied to, you know, actual combat war, real war, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, I guess, but I mean, as far as this is being adapted into, like, this game being an approximation of, I don't know what, like, medieval warfare or, or, or something? Like, well, I don't know. Originally, I, like, uh, like a lot of good things in the West, it, it came from the Middle East. <laughs> oh. I, too, like falafel. <laughs> what else? Music? I feel like the Middle East is just a million years ahead of the West in music. They have like twice as many notes. Yeah, because they, they like they use invent, microtones. In, invented math like, and shit, right? Well, they, they use microtones. Numbers. Um, because they'll use like quarter steps. We just use half steps. Yeah, that's why all and their we, scales are like like suck for fucking pe people to learn. Because they're like all complicated and weird, right? Right. It's very... I don't know. I feel like in, in a lot... I'm, I'm sure there are some musicians and like... That there's some people in chat that are gonna be like, Fred, what the fuck? Yeah, the middle what? the Middle East has the the complicated like, uh, the more complicated tonal stuff going on. Somebody my, said my actually, understanding. yeah. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Well, somebody in chat was saying India, but India is the obnoxious time signatures, like the really, yep. really fucking, really weird time signatures. In their music right? that I can't even begin to fucking explain to you. Like I have had it explained to me, and it's just like, I just stop listening because my brain can't fucking comprehend it. Is Zildjian the oldest I, company uh, on Earth? I, in, I think so. Yeah. What were you going to say, sorry, buddy? India's like a million years ahead. So it, it is my understanding that music in the West largely used the pentatonic scale, and then people went and crusaded in the Middle East and they came back and they're like, hey guys, check it out. Octaves. Look, <laughs> there's me. like more than like five notes, guys. Look. Right. It's like scales can be more complicated. Like it's, if like my understand, like I'm sure that the concept existed in the West, but it was popularized. Yeah, we used modes. Yeah, the West used modes up to that point. But I like every time that people in the West would go to war in the Middle East, come, they come back with new musical ideas. That's my understanding. I could be completely off base. Anyways, India chess. invented the concept of the, the, the zero. H how hard is it to visualize nothing, That's... though? Or like zero numerically? Numerically, yeah. yeah. Uh, like that's, like, again, I that's one of those things that feels apocryphal. It's like, I... It's something that everyone says, but I'm not sure how correct it is. He doesn't buy it. He doesn't buy it, chat. He doesn't buy it. He's not buying what like, you're selling. I, if it's true, right, like, I absolutely accept that it 
it is likely true but again like i've just i've heard it repeated so many times that it kind of like me saying like i i, I was fucking up with my like diet soda thing um, there are a lot of people saying like, oh, like there's a similar number of calories in artificial sweetener, but you don't have as much artificial sweetener in there. And so there are fewer calories. And so I'm willing to accept like, yes, I may have been spreading that misinformation, but this is how misinformation spreads. And I apologize um, if I got that wrong. I need to look into it more, frankly. Like you might have been technically wrong, but at the end of the day, you definitely don't want that garbage in your fucking body regardless. Yeah. Just so like you're don't, fine. Don't drink soda either way. All right, so you were trying to show me the pin. I'm sorry. Mm. I've spread misinformation and down the rabbit hole, too. That's why I have mistakes videos. My next video is going to be a mistakes video. You're making a mistakes video? Yeah, I'm making another one. Can you just put me in the mistakes video? Yes. Dude, dude it's, it's just so, so relevant. All right, so you were trying to show me the pin. Uh, yeah, the pin. So, so you get the concept, though, <laughs> right? Like the knight's pin... If it's black's move, black can just, like, move the rook. Yeah. And now white might be in a position where it's like, okay, maybe I should just trade. Right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that, that At that point. Um, the opposite of that is a skewer. Uh, so let's suppose, for example, uh, what happens if we have a bishop back here and a rook Ah, right the, the, the spit roast. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. now we've got a weaker piece behind a stronger piece. Yeah, yeah. That's just called a uh, skewer. Same idea. Like, the same basic idea. Uh, let's see. What else? Okay. So, another really important concept. Let's talk about forks. A fork... Uh, and I use it against you in one of our games. Did you? Yes. Uh, so let's suppose we have the king in the starting position, and this this is a uh, fork that is very that is very common. Um, people are learning chess because you don't think about this. Can I ask but... you a question? Are you just like, can, can you can we like play games like this? Like, can we make our own? Like, can we do like oops all queens or something like that? Using yeah, this? we totally can. We could do oops all queens. We can do oops all queens. Oh, that yes. might be fun. Oh, oops all queens. That, that would be stupid. <laughs> that would be dumb as fuck. So go ahead. I would, um, I would panic. Yeah, I would yeah. panic. Okay, so a fork. <laughs> so uh, the, the most obvious kind of fork, right, is, well, let's, like, what happens if we have, like, okay, so, oh, fuck. J Damn it. Okay, so let's suppose uh, queen's here. Queen goes up to c6. Check. But it's also attacking the rook. So now the king has to move out of check. Like, let's say it moves here. Boom. Yeah, Take and there's the nothing that they could do about it. That's the fork, yeah. Yes. It involves this can... putting, them, the, putting them in check, though. You have to put them in check to execute a fork. No, no. you do not. This is, and, and, I'm, and I'm about to, so it is the most powerful kind of fork. And you often want to be looking for checks. However, you can also do forks in other ways. Like, let's suppose, for example, like let, let me just let let me just set up on the king side here. Like, let's suppose there's a black bishop here, and there is a. Or actually, let's not make it a bishop. Let's let's make it a rook, and then there is a knight over here. And this knight is hanging as well, right? So these two pieces are here. White bishop's here. This bishop is forking the knight and the rook. They're going to lose one of those pieces. I remember when you did this to me, actually, yeah. Yes. So you can, like, if it's attacking both of them, you might not be able to protect both of them. So let's suppose, right, like, you might have to make some sort of desperado play or something. Like, there is no desperado play here, but, um, like, let's suppose, you know, oh, well, I'm, I'll save my rook. Well, this actually, um, blunders the pawn, but... It does, like, but you're suppose... keep, but you're keeping the, the higher value pieces for at least that next turn, right? Right, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, the problem is still there. Now, yeah, you can take this, now move the rook. So now you're still down a pawn, but you've, like, made the best of it. Yeah, okay. So that's a possible tactic. Like, if this pawn wasn't here, though... Right, like I'll move my rook over here, but you still lose the knight. Yeah. I see. You want to put them in situations where they're fucked, 
basically. Yes. Yep. Um, and then you, Sorry. like, this gets really spicy when you have, like, the king here, the queen here, or uh, the king here, queen here. So the knight, boom. Check on the king and the queen. This knight has forked the king and the queen. One That's of the beautiful. powerful things about the knight is that it can attack the most powerful pieces in the game without being threatened in turn. Right? So the queen can't just take the knight. Like, let's yeah. suppose, right? Like, let's suppose that the queen was here and then white was like, oh, I got the royal fork. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, just I... only the knight can can do that. That's cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. that knights are really special in that way. But yeah, uh, a royal that, that's called a royal fork. Uh, when you have the king and the queen being threatened at the same time. Okay. So this is this is tasty. You want it, you like as you play, you'll get more used to seeing when the knight can attack two pieces at the same time. Uh, let me see. And of course, you yeah, like you can do forks with lots of different pieces. Like you have the queen. Uh, the one one of the reasons that you want to be careful with uh, moving your queen is that let's suppose like you're not forking the queen and the king. Let's say you're forking like the queen and a bishop, right? Like the queen can move here. Uh, like let, let, let's suppose, right? Like let's have a pawn here. Okay. Because you re you realize that the queen would just be able to take the knight after. Right. Yeah. Mm. And then maybe maybe we have like the black king here. Like mm -hmm. there are things in the way, right? Yeah. Um. And then like black pawn here. So now the queen like now like oh well okay here that's oh fuck me I'm trying to I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how this would work. It's all right. <laughs> but you get the idea, right? Like now the queen is attacked, the bishop is attacked. You so you have to move the queen, or else you just lose it. So, like, let's suppose, you know, I'm ahead. I want to be trading pieces. Well, okay, trade, trade. So I was able to force a trade, and uh -huh. maybe I wanted that trade. Mm -hmm. So, like, either way, you're losing the piece. Uh, or, like, a, a, a better example might be... Um, better example might be, for example... Oh, come on. Why is this such a bitch? Okay. So now I'm forking the queen and the rook. Queen goes here. Knight takes. Queen takes. Uh, and now I'm up the exchange. I'm up two points of material. Because rooks are worth five and uh, bishops are worth uh, three. Okay. So forks are a very, very powerful attacking pattern. And you can end up in situations where, like, a piece is attacking three other pieces. Now, another thing that you want to keep in mind, like, in order to avoid these kinds of scenarios, is you want to make sure that your pieces are protected. Right? Right? So let's suppose we've got a black bishop here, right? And we've got a knight here. Or like, let's have the bishop here, pawn here. And now we've got like the white queen um, attacking. Well, let's, ha let's have the queen here. So right now, this queen is threatening this pawn and this bishop. However, this pawn is protected. Because the queen's protecting it. However, this or this bishop actually isn't hanging. Okay, uh, we get rid of the knight. So now we're attacking this bishop, but nothing's protecting it. Now we could move the bishop, but alternatively we could move this pawn to protect it. Right. So you always want to be thinking like when you're moving a piece, is it protected? Is it safe? Right. So this is the advantage of things like bishops and knights. They're like they're shittier pieces which means that you can sacrifice them. Um, so let's say, for example, queen takes, pawn takes. Well, I've just traded a queen for a bishop. Great going, dumbass. Right? Yeah, like, you you, kinda... You've lost your queen for a bishop. Yeah, yeah, that's, you're, you're dumb if you do that. Okay, exactly. which I'm so, pretty sure... So, yeah. The, yeah, so the weaker pieces can actually like move with more freedom because losing them is not a terribly big deal. Not nearly so much as losing a bigger piece. So, like, pawns are the same way. Pawns can easily be sacrificed. No problem. Because they're they're weaker. Like, they're not worth as much. Like, I would rather have a knight or a bishop than a pawn any day. All right, you want to see if I learned anything here, or is there anything else you wanted, you wanted to show me? Um, I think those, that, those are kind of the, ba like, the basics. Like, think about pins. Think about, like, keeping your pieces defended. Make sure that if you're making a, like, always think about, like, when you move a piece to attack something, is it in turn protected? Um, and often what you want to be thinking about when you're making moves 
is try to make moves that do multiple things at once. So for example, I am both, like, let's say, actually, here's a good example. Um, so I've got, let me think, let me think. So we, I, I'm trying to take an example that we had earlier. So we've got the bishop here, uh, pawn here, pawn here, rooks here. Rooks being threatened. Okay. Well, one thing that we can do, move the pawn. Not only does it protect the rook, it but this pawn is being protected and it threatens uh, the bishop. I didn't even see that, that aspect of it. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's, this okay. pawn, yeah, so this pawn is safe moving here. It advances your position. It helps take control of the board. You're like, you're starting to move in, threaten spaces. This bishop has to move, so you gain a tempo. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Imagine that queen wasn't there. <laughs> but yeah, so just making, you need to be thinking about like, okay, what? how can my opponent respond to this threat? Because like this move is quite good, uh, advances the position, protects the rook. Uh, and then on top of that, you move the bishop back. Okay, well now I can move here. Moving this pawn here has freed up this pawn to move farther. And now it's protected and this bishop still can't do anything. Now this bishop has an entire, like the longest diagonal of the board is no longer accessible to the bishop. So I think what I'm hearing you say here is that I actually need to use my brain a little bit. <laughs> Just try to make moves that do multiple things at once. You, you, you must have seen a lot of moves that I made tonight that just kind of made you die inside a little bit, huh? Mm. Like, you must have seen some real boneheaded, Boy, if you, boneheaded moves for me tonight, right? If you could see some of my moves that I make in, t in some of my games, you'd cringe. Well, I wouldn't, because I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm sure I would be impressed, you know? So one thing that I want to impart to you, by the way, mm. one way of looking at the game. Yeah. Uh, I already mentioned thinking about the board as like a, a landscape that's divided into two halves. Yes. Right? You have the king side and you have the queen side. Yes. You want to think about how you are taking control of each side. So for example, maybe I have a really solid king side. Okay, well, maybe it's time to start swinging your pieces over to the queen side. That's how you start enacting strategies. And when you have a good overall strategy, then you can start to make progress. So like, you can tell yourself, all right, king side, it's a bust. Like, there's nothing I can do there. The king is nice and safe. The pieces are developed there. Why go there when he's nice and set up there? when the queen's side is open for the taking. So start moving the action to the queen's side. Okay. Does that uh, make sense? Uh, it makes as much sense as it's going to make uh, to me right now. I, I, if there's nothing that you could do over here, then why, then why stay there? Yeah, I understand that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, you've got the idea. Now, one other thing that I want you to think about that might help your paradigm a little bit don't think about pawns as pieces as much as the landscape of the board. Yeah, yeah. They kind of piss me off because they're in my way. Exactly. So sometimes they get in your way, but oftentimes they can make safe little areas for your pieces. They can block pieces off. So for example, like, let's just do like Slav defense. Knight moves out. Um, then maybe like Knight moves out here. Uh, like, so right now, the queen side of the board is a little bit messy. I've, I've moved my pawns forward, and I've started taking the queen side, so right now I've got lots of control over this side of the board. Like, think of it as like a hill, right? Like, I have moved the topology of the board so that this side is now favorable to me. And then maybe I'm going to like move my pawn here, open up this diagonal. So now I've got attacks here, but this pawn is in the way. So the topology. So if I want to maybe like get my bishop a little bit more active, like let's suppose uh, here. So we have like the a sort of semi-slav position. Uh, I want to open up this diagonal. I'll take here, take here. Obviously, this isn't a great move, but you get the idea. But right? now the bishop like, now, can, can, can now, come now out. Now the topology of the map has changed. Now we have an open file. Yeah. Now, I, would, I would not typically do that capture, but you can see how it has changed the sort of feeling of the board over here. It feels more open. And it's, it's all because we traded off some of those pawns and opened up space. 
Man, so he... when you're thinking about trading, doing captures, think about what it's going to do to the topology of the board. And, and when, you, when you move the pawns, don't think of them as pieces. You want to hold on to them. But when you move them, think about how you're changing the shape of the board. Okay, man, he's so eloquent, isn't he, Chad? It doesn't doesn't he just like? It, 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 listen, you're making me feel hopeless because <laughs> you you've displayed such an acute understanding of the game and how it works that I'm 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 fucking. What am I gonna? What? How can I compete with this? You know, how can I compete with this? I can't. He's dreamy. He's he is he is dreamy. <laughs> he, he he is dreamy. Yeah, he is. Um, no, just just think just think about it in those terms. Think about right. you know the pawns. You obviously want to hold on to them as best you can. But if you feel like, for example, this bishop is locked up, okay, let's see what we can do to open it up. Like maybe I can move my pawn here, with ideas of moving this pawn here. And then it changes the board so that your bishop is restricted now. Like it can move here or here. Uh, but it can't make any attacks on my king now. Because if it comes here, it just gets captured. Hi, Osteophimosis. They have a question. Yeah, but how does this relate to batching? What is batching? I keep hearing you make like jokes about it. And I still don't know what you're talking about. You really, you, you seriously don't know? I seriously have no I I've heard it like five times on stream. We're doing this chat? Are we are we really doing this tonight? Is or is this, it is, is it a bit and he really he re he has to know at this point, doesn't he? He has to know at this point. He this can't be real and he doesn't know what it is. I, I guess have... I guess we're doing this. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Alright. Okay. Fred. Okay. Yeah. What? So when you're when you're editing YouTube videos, right? Sure. You really get in the zone. Like I know how it is when you know to edit you to edit videos and shit. You really get in a groove. You're at like a yeah, rhythm. You're in the zone. There's like a tempo to it, and you're like you're grooving. It's like oh, grab this, put that, cut, paste, blah blah blah, dead, do that. And you're having sure, yeah. just you're just you're just kicking ass, right? Mm-hmm. What is the biggest inconvenience to you in the, in that in that moment? What's the last thing that you want to have happen? What, like someone break the flow? Or you break the flow. Or your flow breaks you, I think we should say. Oh, no. You got to take a shit. Okay. You got to take yeah. a shit. You're sitting there. It's going great. And then all of a sudden, you got you've been editing for two hours. Then it hits yeah, you. Yeah, you know Bam. what? I, I've experienced this. Yes. I got to take a shit, right? And right. then you go, you go, and you shit, and you come back an hour later because that's how long shitting takes. And you're like, D -d "Damn! Like I, now I'm not in the groove anymore. I have to get back into that now. Now I'm all discombobulated from the poop, right?" Okay. What if I were to tell you that I had a I had no. a way? No. You sure? You want to hear me out? I could make it so you never had to shit again. Okay. But there's a catch. Okay. Right. In order to achieve this, you have to spend an entire year of your life shitting nonstop. But at the end of that year, you never have to shit again for the rest of your life. Okay. It's a bit of a Faustian bargain. Or whatever. I, Monkey That paw, is whatever. one way of putting it, yes. Whatever. Uh, do you do it? Do you go for it? Well, it's kind of a trick question, right? Because... How so? You're, you're shitting for a year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The problem... Like, uh, presumably, you are on the pot for that whole time. Yes, yes, but it's not it's it's not a waste of time. Like you you, right, you like I can bring my office into yeah, the bathroom. We're going to let you do that. We're going to let you do that, Fred, yeah. Yeah. The problem that I see is that you're giving up more than a year. Because think about the physical therapy you're going to need. <laughs> Assuming that you don't like stand up and go for a run while you're shitting. 
right? Well, like, that's where the, the that's that's why somebody in chat invented the batch mill, which is a treadmill uh -huh. that it actually it it's powered by your you shitting, right? Mm -hmm. So as you poop, it feeds into the treadmill, powering it. So you walk and poop at the same time, so your muscles don't atrophy. All medical stuff, GG Mars has their has the right of it. All medical concerns are taken care of when you're in the the batch dome. Okay. We'll do it in a dome. I just made that up. It's a dome. I got. I get what you're it, saying. It happens in a kind of a bubble. It's like a sci-fi bubble. It's cool as shit. All of it happens in a little self-contained uh, uh, room where all of your needs are attended to. You're not going to have to worry about any medical stuff. Um, you're going to be fed. You're going to be hydrated. Uh, all of those like things. I say to my family, all right, guys, I'll be back in a year. You can FaceTime with them, but, you know, they're going to have to be okay yeah. with the fact that you're shitting while you're FaceTiming with them, yeah. Or, right, yeah. If they're okay with that, then what's the problem? You know, I mean, the batch chamber? That's good, too. So, so like, with, with no... Because the medical, like, the, the good medical things at that point would be excellent because I, I'm thinking... Like where where does where does the food go at that point, right? That that's my initial thought. You because... still you still gotta eat, right? You, you still gotta eat. The music wasn't matching the conversation, so I changed it. You still okay. gotta eat, um. But you know you're you're eating like you're eating on the toilet. But it's like a cool lazy boy that massages you and shit. You know? Okay. Like it's like, really like, it's really comfy. You're not uncomfortable. Like while this we're, is going we're, on. we're 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 in the movie Elysium right now, except for <laughs> shitting. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. But just for that year, you, <laughs> you come out. You come out and, you know, you go on with your life. and, and uh, So do you, you go for it? I mean, never have to worry about that inconvenience of having to shed ever again. But it's just, it costs you a year of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's batching. That's the concept of batching. And we've, you know, devised a, you know, an, a scenario where, like, celebrities get really into this, you know... Uh, and everybody, everybody's like all about it. Like, oh man, Madonna went in for a batch. This is huge news. You know, Madonna has mm -hmm. been relevant forever. You know, so then you uh, eventually have to decide whether or not you want to do it when the technology becomes available for, for the masses, right? Right. And it's not going to cost you anything. Your like, health insurance is going to take care of it. Don't worry about it. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like Bernie Sanders is it's the future and Bernie Sanders gave you like... You know, universal health care or whatever, and it's like, Batching should be for everybody! I am once again here to ask you to batch in my outstretched hand. Please, Stop. I need your batch! And Stop. he's a, Batching should be for everybody, not just the 1%! Everybody should batch! Batchy Sanders, we'll call him. And universal batching and batch forgiveness! Pretty rad, well, so you're not gonna have to worry about- Go ahead. Do you still have to urinate? Yeah, that's normal. That goes on like normal. This has nothing okay. to do with peeing. Yeah, there's nothing to do with peeing. It's a separate entity. Sorry. Okay. That that'll cost you another year. And okay. no, and you no, know? you can't batch batch. You can't do both things at once. You can't multitask this. Okay, so here's my thought. Yeah. Shitting when you get old is the worst thing in the world, right? Look like, at Rudy. Look at Rudy. Look. Like we we already we already saw Rudy Giuliani. Uh, uh, can I play the clip real quick? They didn't bother to interview a single witness, just like you. He had no control over his asshole in uh, that moment. You know, right? So that's a situation you probably never want to be in. Right. Exactly. So one of those like th those problems. You don't ever have to worry about those sorts of problems when you get old. Correct. On top of that, you probably are going to save yourself a lot of medical issues in terms of like, like a, a lot of gastrointestinal issues. Correct. He's so, into it. We want him over with this chat. He's he's totally down now. You see this? If you get old, right? Like assuming, like assuming that you get old. Um. So. Uh, on top of that, you also get rid of issues like um, if you if you get severely ill, yeah, uh, because diarrhea is actually a really big issue. To kill you, you get de de you dehydrated. Become, yeah, yeah, because you get dehydrated. Yeah, those issues would no longer exist. Thing of the past. Like, yeah, you you wouldn't have to worry about that. No, like, 
health-wise and like productivity-wise, it makes perfect sense. Of course you'd take it. He's one of us now, osteophobosis. Batch Nish! I, 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 I actually did the thing with my hand when I said Batch Nish. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm behind it. You're behind I it? I, would t I, I think, like, I'd have to put more thought behind it, but I, I would take that deal. Guys, we got our first celebrity endorser, Frank mm. Knudsen. Oh, on oh. top of that, like, if I was the only person, yeah, someone's <laughs> pointing out, like, but if you get stranded on Mars and need fertilizer, here's my counter offer, right? Mm hmm Wouldn't it be excellent to go to space because, you, like, you would be a prime subject to be an astronaut because you don't have to worry about waste. Now, it's you a huge are, deal. Like, it's a huge you deal. are losing, the, uh, the problem with that is you are losing, um... Oh, actually, you're losing moisture when you do that. So you might, like, you can't reclaim that moisture. Like, I assume, you know, you, like... That's what P is for. Has... That's what P is for. So all that liquid that would have been in the number two is in the number one now. Oh! Uh, so you're going to have to pee uh, more. Th th that, that sounds like that might violate the concept of it because this is an idea to completely get rid of pooping. So I would say that, no, the moisture from the feces does not... Go, does not carry over you just you don't you don't get it you just your right. body yeah, doesn't create lost. it it's completely it's lost, lost. Like, yeah it's we're, we're violating like obviously with this concept we are violating some I know laws I'm of getting physics the stupid nitty-gritty of this no that is exactly where th th this conversation needed to go <laughs> this is where this is why we brought it up to you because we knew you were going to do this this is exactly this is what <laughs> we want <laughs> Yes, yeah, so please, please get into the science of it. Yes. Because I get because I start overanalyzing things. That's, That's why beautiful. you wanted me in on this. Hell yes. <laughs> not not even overanalyzing, even just analyzing in a in a fucking a way that involves critical thinking. You know? Beyond just right. like <laughs> batching. You know, he's bringing a little bit of dignity to the whole thing, chat. <laughs> dignity. That's right. Dignity. The funny thing this actually sounds like a sci-fi premise though. <laughs> I, I could imagine reading a, a sci-fi short story like this. Number one, what if I told you you never had to take a number two ever again? Right. No, this this sounds like, you know, an alien salesman. Yeah, it's like a pitch. It's I, like I'll a pitch from it. Q. Hold on, okay. hold on. There, there's, there's an... I, I, I will do it. Remember when, will, Q, remember when Q didn't mean Q and on and it meant the character from Star Trek? Yes. I, I need... Uh, there's a meme where it's Hold like, on, Fred, yeah, I'll Fred, fucking do it. Fred, wait. And I need it. Temba, his ass wide from batching. Stop. <laughs> right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to think about this. Darmok and Jalad at Batchagra. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, we also figured Would you like out to play chess. It, we also yes, we also figured out that uh, your the pile of your waste product would be as tall as the Goodyear Tower in Akron, Ohio. So it'd be like twenty-two meters high. Okay, Darmok and Jalad on the toilet. Yeah, go ahead. Here, here's here's a good question, right? When you batch. <laughs> When you when you undergo this procedure, yeah, is this like a future sort of thing where you are where like, is it just that you shit normally like at, like your shit is completely normal and just as it ever was as it ever like, this is average shits all the way or are we talking like every is this a time travel thing where every future shit is occurring to you that that you would have had is occurring to you over the course of that year. Because if that's the case, <laughs> we could use batching for prognostication. Go on. So, so you like, examine people's to... stool samples from the future and find out like what they've been eating in the future, and no, like no, extrapolate he... data about the future no, from their, from it, their it poop. Goes, it goes beyond that. You can start. <laughs> you can start figuring out how many meals would I, would I have eaten? What if you only shit like three times? Oh, the it can, you can figure process? out when you're going to die. You, you get to learn a, approximately when you die. Oh, fuck, he's right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm.
You, you it, it, it's like the evolution of rumpology. Well, look at it this way. I don't think it's time traveling poop, and, and here's why. Because okay. everybody, regardless of the the, the date, the, here's the deal. Here's one of the core concepts of, of, of batching that makes it what it okay. is. There is no like, oh man, there was only a week's worth of poop. That means I'm going to die in like a month. No, no, no. Everybody poops for a year. It doesn't matter when you die. You could walk out of the poop, the, the, uh, the batch dome and just immediately get hit by a car. You still poop right. for a year. It's it's kind of like, uh, should I do it? I mean, I don't know. Like I could, like if you're in your fucking seventies already, you might not want to sacrifice a year of your life to batch. Right. Cause, cause you know, you might not have, you know, no, you're not the, worth it. You're not worth it at that point, you know? Yeah. So I don't think it's time traveling poop. Although that would be fucking cool. I don't know what sci-fi concept it is. Something about like hyper metabolism and then something about uh, No, this doesn't even work in sci-fi. It's it, it does it, not even work in sci-fi. It might be magic, but don't forget that, you know, any adv sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, Fred. Okay, yeah, including but you're, those you're involving feces. Violating the law of conservation of mass at this point. It has to, of conservation so, of energy, which is the same thing. It has to involve time travel then. At that point. I think is what you, I mean, I'm hearing you say. Right. That's... I eat... Like, even considering, like... Let, let's say that time travel is a thing that is feasible, right? We're going to say that's a sci-fi concept that yeah. is, like, feasible in reality. Yeah, yeah, which is... Well... Already, yeah. Like, let's suppose, right? it's, it's obviously, like, time travel is kind of a ridiculous premise. It is. But let's suppose, you yeah. know, it's somehow plausible. So, okay, yes, then it has to be a time travel thing. But then again, now now we're getting into the question of how realistic is time travel? And, it like, theoretically, it would take more energy than the universe has in order to time travel. So Is that you know. true? Yeah. So then it becomes a matter of you put yourself at an energy deficit. It's a medical thing. It's a, it's a biology thing. Now you're talking about the transference of, of, of matter and energy, right? So creating matter is like you have to pour energy into it. It's, oh God, why am I talking about this? I feel like this was your end game. What? What was? Just, just getting me to seriously consider this. I didn't even bring it up. Somebody ejected. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you were going to ask at some point. No, I wasn't. I swear to God, if that person, did, I, if nobody in chat brought up batching, I was not going to bring that up to you tonight. I wasn't. I'm not thinking about that. Okay, was, because like no, one day, just one day, it, you it know was what? Going to come up. It would. It, all right. It would have come up sooner or later. But to be honest with you, I've asked this to everybody. I know. Like this is this question has been posed to the chat, and then it's been posed to like Rev and whoever the fuck I was. They I asked Hugbees at one point. I'm I'm asking people, uh, and just to see like what this. So yeah, eventually we would have got around to you probably. I thought we did already. Honestly, I'm I'm shocked that this is the first time you're hearing it. This has been going on for months. I, Mike Matei, we asked <laughs> we asked Mike Matei. I asked Joel. Yeah, oh Joel said that he would do it. But only if he could spend the year in a hot air balloon. Oh, what? What? So you could shit on people? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, you you could chart your journey yeah. fecally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's amazing because like, you you see the different answers that you get like depending on who you ask. So like, I asked Hugbees and he he's he went to like. I want to do it if it could power. What if it could power a mech? He was imagining of like a mech suit, like fucking Evangelion mech suit that's like powered by shit, right? Which is pretty rad. Yep. You fucking oh. you ask Joel and you get fecalfunny.com. You ask you and you get time travel theories. <laughs> it just it really it brings out the best in people. It brings out the most in people. <laughs> the most amount of shit possible. Okay. Um, but we do have we do have to think about like if we're creating matter, yeah. Like we have a, a massive source of biofuel now. Oh yeah, there's applications. Yeah, Hogbees was onto something with that because you could power like, fuck, dude, the farms. Um, there could be some kind of 
new technology that hasn't even been invented yet in terms of yeah powering uh all sorts of you know farm equipment and, and, oh, and stuff no. vehicles but even? then it becomes a resource and then like america starts invading countries in order to like kidnap people to oh there's batch slavery <laughs> where like people are forced to undergo batching like in order to get the biofuel necessary like like we like future cars right like the rich people get cars that are like that have people inside them that are like going through batching the batch sons his son elroy do 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 the shit must jane flow. Yeah. his wife the, Zim <laughs> the, the Zim shit must flow <laughs> no pe people are forcibly <laughs> undergoing batching uh like they're batch slaves and that so then oh, it becomes God. like an industry the batching industry you're telling me like capitalism is going to ruin batching yes it, in the yeah. same way that it would ruin um transhumanism mm -hmm. it's like the same <laughs> like, it just it would ruin it the potential of it would complete would be completely wasted pun not intended right because you would have an infinite uh source of energy in, in human beings which kind of happens already in, in a lot of ways don't you think Mm -hmm. Except it would be more hands-on in that case. Well, I hope people are, right. you know, washing their hands. But um, there is no such thing as ethical batching in capitalism. <laughs> I, <guess. laughs> oh, oh my God! Uh, yeah, it's fucking Al Al stupid. Alan's saying if you wanted to test your relationship, batch with your partner. It will bond you for life. Undergo it together. Yeah, that could be a bonding experience. Yeah, I think if you make it through a year. I if anybody's in a relationship and you have lived with the person through this fucking coronavirus quarantine, you're probably good. You know, I think that that's like you lived with the person. Oh, my God. What if like you could oh, someone spends that year like what if there are esports stars that like become stars while they're batching? Right, they get they get wheeled out onto the stage. It's like sports? a few of them, I, like <laughs> at, at any at any given time, there are a few people undergoing batching procedures while they're playing. So, like you know, you have the Call of Duty bros playing as as they're undergoing the procedure. It's like, no, nah, batching isn't going to slow my career down. <laughs> I thought you were telling me like the batching itself is somehow integrated into the sport. Like it's like that 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 sport no. that Waka plays in in Final Fantasy X. With the fucking, uh, what is it? The, the, the Blurns Ball or whatever the fuck? <laughs> Where you use, like, your batch stream as, like, a jetpack to, like, like you know, fucking zoom around the arena. And, and, and it's like Rocket League. Blitz mm. Ball, yeah. B batch Ball. <laughs> okay, but, but for real, you have, like, a bunch of... Like, you have a bunch of waste, but th this is matter being created, essentially. Yeah, yeah. At a regular yeah. interval. That is absolutely going to be exploited. Yeah, and inevitably it's going to be, just like, you know, fossil fuels were and, and all that shit, right? Yeah, and then, yeah. and then you know... Ugh, I just... <laughs> batch slavery. Uh, I, I sent you an invite to play another game of chess, by the way. <laughs> What the hell is chess? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Chess Creeds. When we were doing the Blue Lick Road thing, and we saw the two toilet, the two toilets next to each other, and everybody in chat was like, "Oh, the the, the batch buddies." You didn't, you, you didn't ask then. You, you, like, I assumed you knew what we were talking about. No, I just kind of it, occasionally you say something that I don't know, and I just let it go. I don't have your invite though. Really? Just the check mark. Oh, maybe? there it is. Oh, we're good. Okay, I'm stupid. All right. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm white. I'm going to try to apply what we learned. All right. All right. So here we go. Controlling the center of the board. Yep. You want to control the center. Yep. Let's go. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to get this. Nope. That's stupid. Is it stupid? Nope. Maybe a little bit. I'm going to get the food with the dude is saying, I really need you guys to know that there's a South Korean dystopia movie called Achi or is it Achi? And Achi and Sipak, wherein Dudu is the world's new exploitable resource. I am not kidding. Is this a comedy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I looked it up. It looks like shit. 
I, I'm looking at it. Oh, pun, wow, inten that looks pun intended or not? What is with the five heads? All right, I got to look it up now. Now I got to look it up. It's called... Fucking... Uh, ooh. CPAC? I'm sorry, what? It's called... Uh, here, Achi I, I and CPAC. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got uh, it. Here, here's the Wikipedia. It's animated. Yeah. It is. All right, hold on a second. They got a man to voice it <laughs> named is that voice Yu Sung Bum. Who's Moisty? What is his name? Right, Sung yeah, Bum? Then that's just Moisty. What the shit? <laughs> that's literally Moisty. Oh man, maybe we do a movie night with this chat. There's a movie about batching, kind of. Not really. Nah, it's not really. No, kind of. I'll read the plot. Yeah, Somewhere please. in the future, mankind has depleted all energy and fuel sources. However, they have somehow engineered a way to use human excrement as fuel. <laughs> to reward production, the government hands out extremely addictive, popsicle-like, juicy Fuck! bars to citizens. Continue. Which in turn also makes them constipated. Achi and Seapok are street hoodlums who struggle to survive by trading black market juicy bars. <laughs> through, a, through a chain of events involving their porn director acquaintance Jimmy the Freak, they meet a porn star <laughs> named Beautiful, what? who gets a pink ring inside her butt, which makes her defecations rewarded by exceptional <laughs> quantities of juicy bars. What? For that reason, Beautiful is also wanted by the violent... violent blue mutants known as the diaper gang <laughs> led by the diaper king the police <gasps> most notably oh, the cyborg what? police officer gecko and others and it's not a comedy like it's a drama oh you guys don't even know why i said fuck because this is still on the screen my bad oh yeah because he hung his bishop yeah i squandered that bishop like it was nobody's business uh, should I be laughing at this as hard as I am? <laughs> no, right? Like, no, no, no way is this as funny as I f I'm finding it right now. Like, not even close. This is, th there's something, there's something very wrong with me. You know that, right? I'm so, yes. th thank you for <laughs> being my friend, even though you acknowledge that there's something th really, really wrong with me. <laughs> like, you must have so much patience. Somebody in chat earlier tonight said that. They were like, man, Fred is so patient with, with Mike. It's really, it's really nice of him, you know? To what? be patient with the, the to, that he's so. But you were like showing me things in chess. Like man, they're so patient with this fucking like j brain dead sack of fucking gabagool. Wow. Aww. And I, and you no, are, and I and I, I appreciate I that. Have, I don't have to be patient with you. Thank you. Uh, I think that my best bet here is to fee and keto. It's just. Korean Fallout, JC Mike, yeah. I think my best bet is to be in Ghetto. Yeah. Mm, but that di that diagonal is going to get blocked off. You must have took some of the happy juice to make you constipated. Blocked off. You, you found me out. That was a very confusing plot synopsis. Was that the entire thing? That was the entire plot synopsis. The Diaper Gang. The Diaper Gang. Juicy Bars. <laughs> this is such a weird position, I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> I think I move my knight here? Shit. Uh, the, like, the funny thing is, I definitely am up, am up material here. I just don't know what to do with it. It's weird. I'm kind of uncomfortable. You know, the last time you said that, you wiped the floor with me, so it's all good. <laughs> Demanufacture, you missed my shrimp snorpy avatar. That was floofty. And, uh, yeah, I know, it's pretty damn poggers. All right, so you're doing a thing here. Uh, that's the fee and keto. 
Uh, I, I've, it's the first part of a fianchetto where I move the pawn out of the way, and then the bishop goes on to g7. Because, like, you've got those pawns advanced on the king's side, but, like, my queen side pawn structure is fucked up, and so I don't want to castle queen side, but I still want to castle. And I don't want to move my knight to, G, uh, to f6, because then you can just go e5, and then I have to, like, dance my knight around for a million years. So I'm thinking, like... So my thought process is Fianchetto the bishop and then move the knight to e7. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to follow you. Um, you know what it is? You've learned the fucking position, like the tiles. You know the positions. I have to sit here and, and try to figure out which tiles you're talking about whenever you say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I have to follow the five across. Like, I have to be like, oh, five. And then I, put, I have to put the mouse over there and like try to figure out what tile you're talking about well they're marked i know i'm look. i'm i'm trying oh, to okay okay but but my eyes like are bad and i have to actually trace it no it takes a second it takes a second for me too all right i'm gonna do that uh i'll trade off okay he's trading off i'm happy to do that uh Yeah, and I think I just go ahead with the Fianchetto. Fred effortless, effortlessly talks strategy while Mike screams internally. Yup. <laughs> My brain is so sweaty right now. Alright, he's doing a thing. He's doing a thing. His bishop is ready to fuck. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the move. That's a decent move. Uh, it means that when you move, um, uh, your pawn is still pinned, but like it's a pawn. It's fine. The the c three pawn because if you move, uh, if you go pawn c four, then I just uh, take your bishop. Yeah, I see. I see that. Yeah. Uh, so it is something that you need to be aware of, but like there's, like your bishop's kind of stuck. I think I'm just gonna focus on castling for now. Yeah, I have I have a couple ideas. Hmm. I don't like that diagonal my king is on, so I'm just gonna nip it in the bud. That you can castle. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to after this. Well, I'm just gonna do it too. Yeah, that's legit. All right. Um, and now, uh, hmm. I hmm. Um, poop. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's fine. It's not terrible. Um, no, it's not a bad move. It's it just sucks that you moved your bishop to uh, b two and then to a three. Kind of like losing tempo. It's alright. Mm. I'm willing to bet that like the computer is screaming at me right now. Why it thinks you're making mistakes? Right. That that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Take that that pawn. You know you want it. It's so tasty. Uh, delicious pawn. You want it. It's been in my nose. I'm just thinking. Is there? I was playing hope chess. Hope chess? Yeah, where you're just like hoping things go the way that you want, like that you hope that the other person doesn't see your tactic. Uh, there's a very good chance I won't, so this is more than a hope. Uh, 
Here we go. Uh, I think that this is the play. Ooh, no, it's not. I almost just went down material. I'm just sitting here praying yeah, you, like you praying you fuck up and I notice it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I'm protecting that pawn, so now I have two defenders on that pawn. You have two attackers on it. Well, like technically the bishop isn't attacking it right now, but it will be if you take it. Yeah. Uh, and then I also like moving the knight also means that I can move my rook to b8. And, uh, but actually, no, I can't because then after you move your bishop, your rook will be attacking the pawn there. So the, the rook's going to be stuck there for a while. Okay. Until I can figure out something to do with it. All right. Um, something's got to happen over here, I think. Like, blood has to be spilled in order for this game to advance. It's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're about to enter, like, a massive trade fest here. Yeah. Trade fest 2020. All right. How do you feel uh, about the fact that you're probably not going to go to a con for a very long time? Like, you used to like cons, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm i a little disappointed. I don't think I care. Like, I think I, I, I think I was, like, done with cons anyway. So it's like, I, I don't I don't mind. Well, I like, I, I work from home. And so it was a really nice way to get out, spend a weekend with friends, you know, get, get my, get my time in with people. Mm-hmm. In you know person, I mean? like flesh to flesh. Right. Like, you exist. That is nice. Well, I'm really just like, I'm really just a voice, right? At this point, me right. personally. Like, you have no idea what I look like right now. None. What do you think not, I, I look mean, like right, right now. now? What do you think I look like right now? I think that your beard is just a touch scraggly. I shouldn't have did that yet. I think. Yeah, I ended up a pawn with that uh, with that exchange. Like, I lost one of my center pawns, but I'll take it for a material advantage. Yeah, let's, um... Let's do... Uh, and it also opens up the file. Uh, but it, it, it does mean that you can use the file, but... Eh. Yeah, which I was thinking about, actually. Yeah, it, so, like, even though you're down a piece, it does open up the file and you have tempo. A tempo, so a tempo, by the way, is like a move. So if I'm behind a tempo, that means that I am basically forced to react to your moves. Okay, I'm going to do... The, the, no, that's kind of dumb. Oh my god, Mike. What? If you're a, like, if you're just a baby, right? Like, you, you could just batch when you're a baby. <laughs> I don't even have to remember it. Uh, well, I think we talked about that before chat. Were we allowing that or were we not allowing that? Is that against the rules? I think we we might have decided that you, you, you can't do that. Like, you got to do it. You know, because legally you okay. have to agree to it. You got to be a voting age. I think you got to be at least... Yeah, but, yeah, but kids are getting circumcised yeah. without their consent. Uh, well, uh, that stops. You think, you think that <laughs> in, in this <laughs> that perfect future, stop people? Uh, you're right. I it's fucking no, because that's cheating. You can't, you can't cheat. That's cheating. You can't. I, yeah, that's, che that's cheating. Okay. No, you can't batch as a baby. Well, no, like, no. well, I, I was thinking like I would undergo it now. Like, if, if batching was discovered in my lifetime, <laughs> then I'd probably take it. But like, I would let my children, child batch. Right? Yeah, <laughs> if, if, if I had a child. 
I, I would say, all right, you know, he's one year old. He's ready to start his batching. Like, yeah, every, every kid begins their batching procedure. <laughs> um, some the the other day it came up okay. that somebody chat asked me to do my my Fred impression, and I don't know what they're talking about. But it reminded me that I was supposed to ask you to do your mic impression the next time you were on the the channel. The next time you were here on for a stream, I, I told no, them I was going to get you to do the, your mic impression for them. We already kind of did it, though, right? You uh -huh. remember? Because, like I, I said, what it, remember during the, like, we were talking about cosplay. No, that's what I'm talking dog. about. I, I want you to do it again for the people that didn't hear it. There were people who, oh, didn't, yeah, who weren't like there. yeah, walking into a con uh, with a curly wig on and uh, a chin strap beard. And I just walk in and go, hey, feet. Yeah, there it is. Which is like not fair, you know. Like that's not me. <laughs> that, come on. But uh, it is. Um, okay, yeah. I'll it's pretty. This. It's pretty comical. All right, so that's happening. All right, so then I should. I should really. I should really do. I should really do this. Yeah. Yeah. Because now, like, you take, but you also are threatening my rook. And so I'm going to do this. You're going to do that. Yeah. All right. So now both of our rooks are fucking useless. Well, we can trade them. Like, they're just kind of staring each other down right now. Uh, but whoever... Uh. Like, so this is kind of a tricky situation where... Neither of us necessarily wants to take the rook because think about the situation afterward. Yeah, yeah. Whoever takes second controls that open file. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 not smart for either of us. Yeah, so they might just be staring each other down for a while until one of us decides that it's better to trade off the, our rook. I think it's worth losing the open file to trade the rook. All right. <laughs> I hate that I squandered that fucking bishop so much right now. I, I'm fucking it's, mad. The, the funny thing is that it kind of gave me a weird position, right? Mm. Like I'm, I've been, I've been in, I feel like I've been on the back foot a lot of this game. Yeah, feet. I'm gonna put this. Um, Thank you. No, you shouldn't do that, Mike. Come on, don't be a fucking moron. Don't be a dumbass. I gotta do something here. I'm gonna do that. I'm like fucking up my whole the castling thing, but this like we gotta do something here. Yeah, your king's pretty exposed now. Yeah, but what am I gonna do? Um, I think I can kind of gain a tempo. Oh, you know what? I really like this. You really like that? Yeah. It's kind of penisy. <clears throat> it's kind of penisy. Mildly penisy. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of bad. I get it. I get why. Okay. Um Yeah. Cuz no matter what goes down in that little in that scuffle, I'm going to I'm losing the better piece. No, you're not. Uh because so my thought is your bi the only square that you really have for your bishop here is a3. But by moving to a3, you're blocking your rook, and so that pawn on a5 isn't like blocked off and isn't um, being threatened nearly so much anymore. There's what about what about six d d6? Sorry, did backwards. Uh, d6 is under threat from my knight on f5. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I did not see that. My my brain did not see that. No, it's okay. R remember what I said about knights being like really difficult to parse. Yep, that's there. It is right there. Yep, there you, you are experiencing it in real time. Yeah, there it is. 
Well, I don't want to lose the bishop, especially considering that I fucking squandered the other one. Like an right, asshole. I basically am forcing you to move it to a3. Yeah. I'm not giving you much option. Oh, unless, hold on a second, let me think about this. Okay, okay. You, there is a, um, there, there is a Zweischenzoi you can make, which is basically like an in-between move. Uh, where, you know, you make a move in between. You could trade the rooks and then move your bishop, technically. Hold on a second. Um. Fuck, I have to, hold on, I had an idea and now I, I don't remember what I was planning. Hold on. Uh. What do you think would happen? Peach Frog, Peachy Froggy is saying, what do you think would happen if a new player spent a bunch of time learning the knight as much as possible since it's such a weird piece? I mean, you just kind of learn how it works over time. Um, um, you get used to it, basically. Did I? But you would probably crush the other kids. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm assuming, like, you know, a kid learning chess. Uh... Just any, like, if you're playing against other noobs specialized in the night no, nobody really specializes in a piece though they might enjoy some pieces over others like a chess master will never say you know like this is my favorite like some might have favorite pieces but not so much okay Are you guys ready for this i'm about to blow your minds there is character selection in chess it's just not what you think it is you're not selecting pieces to main you, you select openings. Chess masters will select, will learn just a few openings very, very deeply and then use those. It's the same, it's, it's the same principle as learning a character in a game. So how many openings exist? Uh, it, all, it all comes down lot. to, I guess, what you, which, which pawn do you move first? Well, I mean, like, there are as many openings as there are, like, moves in chess. It depends on what you mean by opening at that point, because there are a lot of popular openings, and there are a lot of openings that are just kind of trayish. There are probably only a handful that are really viable, right? Uh, there are a lot that are viable, actually. There are a ton. <sighs> I, think I, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. The only good opening is the bong cloud. Go to hell. <laughs> did you see, did any of you who actually play chess in here see the time that Magnus Carlsen just screwed with, um, screwed with the chess people? Uh, who is it? The commentators in a tournament where he started going into deep bong cloud theory. I'm sorry, bong cloud theory? Okay, so the Bong Cloud is a troll opening that was developed by some of the best chess players. Seriously? Like, yeah, one of the best chess players who's like a, a fucking meme lord. Uh, really? He created a an opening called the Bong Cloud where you move your pawn in front of your king one space and then you move the king into that open space. It's a terrible, terrible opening. But he just does it to meme. And then he loses. No, he wins because he's like one of the best chess players in the world. See, he does it to dunk on people, essentially. A, a little bit, yeah. He's just kind of get dunked on. Like that kind of thing. All right, I don't know. I feel like I lost already. I'm just going to do this. Uh, and I don't think you have any funny tactics. No, I got nothing. I feel like my paths to victory are are fuck are fucked. Do you want okay. me to give you time? Y y yes, please. All right. Not like it's gonna help, but yeah. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Um It's a good sound. Mhm. Mm 
Why did I do that? We don't say no to free pawns. Say no this time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Zweischen, so like I could make, but... Just take the fuck. Just take the fucking pawn, please. Just punish me. Punish me so hard. Punish me. Just move it back. Now, now I'm wondering. Why not? Do I just move? Do I just move it back? Is there something funny I can do? I don't. Think <laughs> do you funny are I can funny, do. man? Do he do a he do a he he who who funny? Yeah, now let's save the night. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you can you can you can do that because I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. Yeah. I love this like knight like cock zone where like I can't do anything with my with this knight. Oh, the the B one knight. The, the the cock zone. Yeah, I'm in the cock <laughs> the cock the cock zone. Mo moving your C pawn up one space is like a big decision to make. Because you lock in your knight, you really get rid of... Uh, you really get rid of options. Fred, please, scholars mate Mike. I don't think that Mike has ever been in a position where I could scholars mate him. What does that mean? Uh, it's a four-move checkmate. So I, I'm not that bad, is what you're saying. I, I don't I don't think... It, it's, it's cheese. It's one of those things where if... It's very disrespectful, because... <laughs> It's yeah. something that only a new like it, it's something you do to a new player if you just want to flex on him, right? It's but it's you bad mannered. It's you, very bad mannered. You would have done it if you had the opportunity to do it, right? I mean, yeah, I would have taken it, but like the the thing about the scholar's mate is that you can only do it if you're a like doing it inherently puts you in a bad position. So the only, like, to initiate the Scholar's Mate, you have to put yourself into a bad position. Mm. And, like, there's somebody who knows anything about the game will probably take advantage of it. Right, exactly. It's a uh... great way to get someone to never learn chess. Yes, that is a, it's a great way to get someone to hate chess. Yes, that is accurate. <laughs> It happened to Waverling both times they played 5D chess online. That's a 5D chess doesn't count. That's not real. Like that's a meme. I don't even I don't even believe people actually play that. I think you're all just fucking with me. <laughs> like, I don't buy it. It's not real. It's real. It's just a, a goddamn nightmare. It's a hell game. Hmm. I don't think I'm blundering anything like this. Blunder the booty. Well, you pinned, <clears throat> you pinned my my fucking knight, knight but, to but, your but, king. Yes. but he wasn't going anywhere anyway, because like I said, he was in the cuck zone. <laughs> so no, he cool. could go to g5 and he'd be protected by the pawn. Well, I have other plans for that pawn. Big big plans. Big, sexy plans. Oh, yeah. Huge plans. I don't have much of an answer. Yeah, that's good. Really? I will, however. Yeah, no, that was decent. Uh, I do have a tactic, however, mostly just because you're down material. Hurt me. Hurt me so bad. Oh, this is interesting. So now... 
Oh, I see what the fuck you're trying to do, you sneaky bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you fucking sneaky bitch. Yeah, uh, you fucking see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is fun, man. Thank you for doing this with me tonight, man. I'm so glad you're having a good time. And Chad, thank you I'm... for watching. I know it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different than what we usually do here, but you know what, man? It's a variety channel. What the fuck it, it, is this if not variety? Um, I, I actually was really worried that you were gonna like get frustrated at it, but I'm, I'm really glad that you're having a good time. Oh, I'm frustrated, but I'm loving it. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Um, Some of my favorite games make me frustrated. Yeah, right. Um, it's uh, you know what it is? It's it's also um masochistic, and I like just getting dunked on over and over. I think it's just it feels so good, especially when there's an audi audience to witness my fucking brutal ass whooping in public. <laughs> I love having an I, audience when I get my ass whooped. I I feel like your um. I feel like you're you're getting you're actually starting to get intense now that you're seeing patterns, right? A little, a little bit. Like yeah. you're you're seeing things now. Um. Okay. I had a I had a funny idea. I had a funny he who ha ha he who. Um. I had one. You're actually picking it up pretty quickly. Like, you're seeing things that uh, I feel like a lot of other people wouldn't see. Like, you're doing quite well. Not anymore. I think, I think we just take it. Okay. Then, uh, because you move the knight in the way of the queen, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stupid. Right. No, I've just got you in a really rough position. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's great. Like, you're down eight points of material. This is, yeah. Yeah, this is so cool. This is so cool. Love this. I love this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, there's something fun I can do. Bishop is hanging. Hanging chads. Oof! Oof! God. Oof! Oof! They're oofing. Oh. <laughs> It's not a huge oof. Like, it's... I don't think so, anyway. Um, I'm not seeing anything super fancy. Somebody oofed. Oof. Well, you know what that means. No, I don't know what that means. I actually think I have a fun tactic here. Ruined my life, Fred. Uh, no, nah, never mind. It actually loses me material. You don't I want think... it anyway. You don't want the material. Come on. Well, I think... Oh, wait a minute. No, I... I, I, I think... I think I'm just going to trade down. You still have this fucking bullshit happening in the top right with your fucking king being protected by all those fucking pieces. Yeah. I'll trade. Uh, and then... Rip to that knight who was fucking completely useless this entire time. Then I'll just go ahead and... It's time. Grab this. Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh, I love that. Not, wow, nice, real nice. So now I'm in check, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, great. That's so great. Mm, I love that, love that, love that. Okay, love that. Love, love that, love that. Love that. Mm. 
This is cool. This is cool. Hi, ones this and zeros. This is fine. Thank you for coming tonight, ones and zeros. Uh, I, uh, they're asking what was Fred's thank you, Mario, voice referencing. They don't know about the... Uh, Hello, can so Mario. Can, can somebody link the uh, Mario sex ed video for, for ones and zeros? Uh, gonna... You know what? Let's just simplify. Wow. I wish you didn't do that. I really wish you did you didn't do that. Do you, do you need more time? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 really? Yeah. <laughs> Take it, pussy. But I want a style. No, take it. No, take it. Take no, it. No, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna style on you here for a moment. Fred is a, as a cat playing with his food. That's a style. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see how it's a style. Okay. 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 It does actually mean that I can trade down even further. Well, you fucked me thoroughly. Look at this board. Wow, this is sad. This is sad. I thought I actually had a chance. How 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 depressing is that? I thought I had a chance. I actually thought I had a fucking chance. Can you believe that shit? I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, the queen. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even see. I didn't even see this. Why am I bothering? Why am this, I, bo why am I bothering? this is called a discovered why attack. So, like, a piece moves out of the way, and um, di like, it discovers an attack on on a piece. Should have castled your asshole. I did castle my asshole. He did. And mm -hmm. end me. Nice. End me. That was a good move. How so? Uh, just moving the rook in the way and the and attacking the queen. It doesn't matter. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh my yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Pain. Pain is real. Pain. Pain. You can always unplug your comp <laughs> computer. <laughs> I guess it's a draw. Uh, yeah. Pain. Oh, okay. Put you right. Put you, put you right. Put you right. Put you right. There. Put you right there. Put you right there. Put you right there. Penis. Alright, my goal I now is to, to be... make this as fucking annoying as possible for you. I need to be very careful not to accidentally stalemate now. You're not gonna do that, come on. I very easily could. No, you're not gonna do that. This is scary. No, it's not. Stop it. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Look look at my lone king just fucking spread eagle in the middle of the battlefield, ready to accept the big slender dick. Oh my god, I don't know why it's slender. I don't know. I don't know what that why, means. Why is it slender? I don't know. I don't know. I just just the Slenderman. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
<laughs> no girth, yeah. No girth. <laughs> no girth. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's the play. Wow. I, like the fact that only your king is on the board means I have to be very, very careful. Like how so? Why? Because if you end up in a position where you have no legal moves, then it's a draw. Really? Yes. Well. I'm sure you know how to avoid that. Uh, I need to be careful, and I'm running out of time. This is... You know what? A draw will be the closest I'm going to get to a victory, so that, that'd be pretty, pretty pog. In fact, I almost just did it. Don't give him additional time. Well, he gave me additional time. No, don't give me time. I got this. I'm just going to remove the concern. Okay. 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 Yeah, clock. <laughs> Is that not what you wanted? I'm again. I'm very close. I never. I never in. got remotely close to your fucking king. You like when Mike jiggles his piece? Yes, this is the... The twerk king. He's twerk king. Look at him. He's kind of got like an ass too. You see the ass here? God, I have to be so careful. Oh. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, yeah. Will we do this again? Uh, yeah, if Fred wants to, sure. How is no legal moves different from checkmate? That's a really good question, Fred. Uh, you have to be able to make a move on your turn. That's all. So it's like no legal moves, but he... Hmm. Here it is. Here's the checkmate. I'm working on it. Here it comes. Oh, it's coming. You feel it? We're fucking just gonna run down the clock. I'm just doing it safely. That's not good, man. Oh, yeah, that's not good. This is it. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, yeah, hurt me. Hurt me. Got it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use the restroom again real quick. No! I just had another cup of tea. No, and, and we'll play again. No! Okay. All right, yeah, go. Yeah. No, no, we're go, going. Go, go, if, if I, no, go pee. If I pee, if I pee, the game is going to be going. No, go, go pee, go pee, no, I, go no, pee. I just, pee, no, go no, 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 we're, we're doing this, we're doing this. Pee. I'm going to go when I've, I, no, I have to earn my pee. I have to make you start really thinking. You're, you're suffering. I'm fine. Go for it. This is training for batching. Fry some chicken, man. Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> for real, <laughs> you piss loud as fuck. I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, Fred. What? That you piss loud as fuck.
<laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, my... Uh... My graphic designer just got done um, with some stuff for my official website. Yeehaw. Now imagine how much more he could get done if he never had to take shits. Right? Gonna have the, to the, the productivity demand, but... potential is, is, is infinite. Do you think that, like, in the cyberpunk future, people will, like, be forced to batch? Uh, I think it's going to be a personal decision. Uh, I don't know about this dystopia, this batching dystopia that you've you've outlined for us. Uh, it could happen. Uh, I'm not really a futurist. I can't say. Um, I guess we'll find out on December 9th. By the way, Cyberpunk 2077 said, or I guess Studio Project Red, they said um, nobody is allowed to stream the game at all until December 9th. So people will get advanced copies of the game, like press copies of the game, like people are going to get it early, but they're not right. allowed to stream it until the game is available for everybody. Is it fair? It's kind of like, why? Um, but here's the thing about it. I guess to avoid spoilers, but the people, the people who don't want to get spoiled just won't watch the streams. Right? Right. That makes sense? I don't know. But when they put this on Twitter, the way that they worded it was, we are asking kindly that you people uh, that you people don't uh, stream the game prior to December 9th. If you do, we'll take legal action against you. Oh, Jesus. Or whatever. Or like copyright claim it or whatever. Wow. That's pretty drastic. Or do like a strike on your channel or whatever the fuck. So it's like we're asking you nicely but also threatening you at the same time. It's right. like, I don't think it's you like, know what... Is it really asking nicely yeah. anymore? <laughs> if you know what asking nicely means at that point, do you? Right. Very Nintendo of them, yes. <laughs> Showing some Nintendencies with this... It's like, if you're so worried about it, then just don't send out press copies. Right? So bizarre. It is... I don't know. Hmm. 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 No, you're, you're starting to dip into Marge Simpson territory. Oh, me! That's just Toad, you know? But yeah, we're like Marge Toad. Toad Simpson. That was an emote that I had in this channel at one point. Really? I don't think we... we didn't, nobody was using it, so I replaced it, I think. Hi, Luca Chow. You share a name with my dad. Can you say you're proud of me so I can pretend... That my dad is proud of me too. You know what? No. No, that is earned, not given. <laughs> no. Mm -mm, nope. You gotta earn that shit. Don't ask me how, though. Uh, I'm proud of you, Luca, Luca Chow. Proud of you. Just kidding. Aww. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding that, oh, I was joking about not oh, being proud of you. I thought you were just like, I'm well, proud listen, of you. I, just kidding. I, I can't be proud of you if I don't know any of your fucking accomplishments. Like, what have you, what have you done? Like, give me something to work with here. Come. Yup. <laughs> it's come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's come. Yeah, it is. Mike, twenty twenty. Yeah, All right, it, it, you make really, it really. Now, is, now I need oh, to go. Now's oh. my time. 
Speed oh. piss, speed piss. Damn, boy, were you just frying chicken in there? <laughs> For real, though. Uh, what if you were my dad and you were proud of me? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Unless you passed organic chemistry. That sounds hard. I am proud of that. I am proud of that. Yeah. No, that's a big deal. Organic chemistry, that, that knowledge will help us develop the technology for batching in the future. Um, I just realized... Hi, yeah, Easy Evil says, I just realized there's no criticism section of the Twitch Wikipedia page. What do you, you... You mean like criticizing Twitch? What, you think they sued them or some shit? On taking username says, I'm waiting for Mike to say Christmas at the end of his noise making. Christmas. Uh, yeah, maybe we should watch that again for uh, for Christmas. Uh, for the past five years, we watched the Star Wars holiday special, but it might be time for a new tradition. What do you say, chat? Rap City Street Kids for for Christmas. You like this? You want to all watch it together? We'll do a watch together and, and all and all that okay, shit. I'm back. Sweet. Okay, I didn't lose any time. What if we do a rewatch of Rap City Street Kids for Christmas, Fred? Would you like that? I that would be wonderful. You'd I like actually that? would yeah. love that. You'd like that? Yeah, let's do it. That sounds that sounds really nice. And you know, we can do that on Twitch. We won't have to go do it in like a side tube or whatever the fuck. Right. Because we did it on Twitch the first time and nothing bad happened, so Nobody cared. Yeah. It's that time of year. It know? is. Um, oh, let's make it a tradition. Could do, could do. Um, I would like... I'm having flashbacks to, to when that kid's skull fucking shattered. I'm not. I don't remember what happened. I remember the kid, like, one kid threw a snowball at another and, like, just <laughs> pieces yeah. of bone went flying. Yeah. yeah, what a bad movie, fuck. Uh, oh, it's, it's legendary. Um, yeah, I, I hate my position that I'm in right now. It's it's not comfy. It's bad. It's dumb. Yeah, um, this is why Black usually doesn't accept the Queen's Gambit. Uh, you did like the Queen. It, it, you did the Queen's Gambit. You did the, the yeah. That, that was the Queen's Gambit. So a Gambit is when you remember I was saying a Gambit's when you sacrifice material for a better position. Yeah. Um, and the Queen's Gambit is like a pseudo Gambit because you always get the pawn back. Mm -hmm. And the reason that Black doesn't tend to accept it anymore is because it leaves Black in a pretty bad position, pretty much. But no I, matter what. I took it because I was like. Duh! Duh! No, I mean like it's especially mm. at our level, it doesn't really matter that much. Mm. All right. I think me and you were not on the same level, Fred. If if tonight's any evidence here, um, mm. you know, you know what I mean. There my, is my, my one dude. vulnerability that I have. They need to be careful about. Oh, I don't see it, so you're good. Uh, about. Uh, hmm. I can deal with it. I think. Yeah, I think it's safe to say you're gonna deal with it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're gonna be. I think you're gonna be just you've, fine. You've definitely gotten better as the night's gone on, though. Well, that's something. Here, I'm gonna I do this. I can say that confidently. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You like that? What do you think of that? I think it's wonderful, Mike. You do? It's lovely. The music stopped for no reason. Okay. Yeah, I'll trade. Yeah, I'll do that. Hmm. Then. I wish I didn't do that. Yeah, I think I'll do this. I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't do that. You know? No, it was. It was what the trade. It was fine. I could have, uh, I could have did that better. I think. Uh, no, I no, that was just a straight. Like I just said, hey, let's trade knights. That, like, your response was the correct one. 
Okay. 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 Yeah, what if uh we brought what if we brought um Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, man. Just, wow. Just, just, wow. Just, just unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. Absolutely halal. Oh, that's going on? Yeah. Oh, that's going on, huh? Wow, that's fucking red. That's so cool. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, no, I'm pissed. No, I'm uh -oh. pissed off. Yeah, I'm pissed off. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have said something about it. How could I be this bad? Is this normal? I think there's something wrong with me. I don't think it's normal for somebody to suck this the, much penis. No, the, these mistakes that you're making are all mistakes that I've made too. I don't even believe you. You're not exceptional in this even, way. Uh, you should see some of my early games. Oh, she's just, just saying that uh, to make you feel better. It's okay. No, I'm I'm not just saying it to make you feel better. It's right. it's for realsies. It's okay. I came for serious. Yeah, I I don't I don't know. Uh, I'm starting to become very mentally exhausted. Chess is exhausting. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying about that now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that pretty f pretty motherfucking hard right now. Let me let me let me tell you. Let me let me fucking tell you. I feel like I can hear your inner Italian coming out right now. <laughs> okay, so I I I want to move this pawn, but I can't because why? Why can't I? Which pawn? This one. I just want to move that right, right there. Uh, because it's my turn. Oh, that'll do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah that'll, that'll do it. That'll Stop do trying it. to move before me. I need to take my turn. Quick chat. Eat his pieces. Eat his pieces. Any Eat orifice will do. Pieces. Any <laughs> orifice will do. Uh, what do I want to do? Do do. <laughs> Brains working yeah, overtime. Let's get the rook in the game. Two brains working, firing on all cylinders. One of them has four. One of them has point four. Two brains chilling in a hot tub. How many feet apart? Five. Because. because they're not gay. They're not gay brains. Straight, totally straight brains. Um, straight brains. Straight brains. Here, whatever. Fred's got the quad core brain sax and my fump fit. Let's head that off. My fump it. My pump it. My pump it. Head above fit the pass. You had you headed me off at the pass. Head him off at the pass. I hate that cliche. Pass. I hate that cliche. Skadoosh. Um let's um do let's do that. Control the center, right? Control the center. Hmm. And now my king is just standing there naked. Like everybody ran from him because he fucking shit himself or something. <laughs> okay. Nobody likes the king. Nobody likes the king. It's a little bit grotesque. 
He's got his fucking king up here in the same situation it was in last time, remember? His king, your, your, your king is in the same exact spot. Why can't I do that? Wait a minute, what the fuck? The pawn is protecting it. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 great. Just great. So, so great. That's, that's good. That's good stuff. I think maybe we should be done after this game. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's great. That's just great. That's just great stuff. Just great. Just fantastic. Just wonderful. I think I just... Just fantastic. This well, this is cool! <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. awesome no Mike you could still win you can still win this is I'm 17 points of material ahead now this is sad is the word you're looking it's, for it's it's just it, it, it's pretty done no I could do this this is how Bernie can still <laughs> can still win <laughs> like fucking six months after the primaries here's how bernie can still win <laughs> this is just all kinds of dick oh that hurts so much Take the rook. You don't need the queen anymore. Go for it. Wow. What a savage fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> so sa <laughs> savage. Just savage. It's absolutely savage. Did anybody actually read the article of Here's How Bernie Can Still Win? Like, like how... What, what was the content? You know what? I'm curious about this. Now I want to know too, yeah. Here's... Fuck the music. God damn it. Here's how Bernie can still win. A, th a thread. Here's how Bernie can still win a thread. Oh, no. Oh, it's a meme. No, they, 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 nobody okay, ever... Okay, I was like, like, that has to be a meme. Nobody ever tried to say that seriously. I... I okay. guess that no, I guess they're sorry. No, there is there is no article. I'm sorry. Okay, I was gonna say they're they're taking the piss, right? They're taking the piss. And it sounds just like somebody frying chicken. Uh I gotta get the music back. Oh, I wish that didn't happen. Wish I didn't Wish I didn't fuck that up. Cause now I have to go look for the uh the play the playlist again. There's a playlist. How about I just loop this song for the remainder of the stream, which is probably not going to be that long anyway. Yeah, All right. We're closing up shop here. Uh, you, you just, just kill me. Just, just kill me. Just kill me. Just hurt me. Bernie won by a lot. Let's do one more. I, I one more? Yeah, let's just do one more. It's going to be fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's go. It's the last one. I'm going to win this one, right? Just letting you know, I'm going to win this one. Like, I want to win. I want to win very... I don't like losing. Did you know that about me? And that's unfortunate because I lose so much in my life, you know? I feel like you, you could improve at things a lot faster if you batched. Finally, somebody's starting to make some sense around here. Saxima Fumpet says, what is batching? Well, you see, Saxima Fumpet. <laughs> Do you really just ask that? Yeah. 
when a man and a woman love each other very, very much, they do something called batching. Stop. When a man and a woman love each other <laughs> very, very much. L love each other. Right. What's that from? Really? Love each other. Think about it for a minute. Don't tell him, chat. See if he can remember. Oh, is that just an RPG? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he remembered. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Got it. Love each other. Love each other. Love each yes. other. Love each I, other. I remember. I remember. Love. But that that part Love. of the song haunts me every it, fucking night. I think about I'm that. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm not the only. Where he person. just fucking says the word love, like he just drones it over. Love. Love. I'm so happy that I'm not Love. the only person who's horrified by that. It, there's something very dark about that part of the song, right? Right? Like, that's the part, the only part of the song I don't laugh at it. I I, I feel extreme negativity and, and fear. Fear. It's just, it's it's unsettling. It's extremely unsettling. <laughs> Finally, someone understands my pain. Dude, we listened to the fucking song one night on, on, on fuck, like, like, times five speed and Justin RPG is like, I am married to a five night Pokemon. <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta listen to it at five times speed, and then you gotta listen to it at fucking like point five speed. It sounds like the orgy music from Eyes Wide Shut. I, I don't know it. I'm sorry. It's horrifying. Um, it's terrible. Ugh. My nights are out. Yeah. You're getting developed. Can you give Hergatraff and Buru moderating privileges? No, I'm not able to do that, Tita. That's Mal's thing. I don't know. Mal, you'll have to ask Mal. Cat's Bagel. Welcome back to the family. I'm going to read all of the resubs and subs and bits and shit uh, at the end of the stream. I apologize for that. Again, I like to try to not call out subs if there's like a guest or, or whatever, you know. You know what's wild? I've I've been sitting in the shrimp position all night. You know the shrimp position? No. Or I guess like the ga the gamer position. Uh, oh, like L. Yes, like, like L, L from L Death Note. Position. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I guess it helps me concentrate or or whatever. I um, gotcha. Oh, there's a whole face. There's a whole Facebook page of shrimp memes, and I'm not allowed to show my chat the, shri the shrimp meme unless I fucking subscribe to the Facebook page. How about I fucking burn your house down? How about that? Oh my fucking god. Fuck you! No! <laughs> no! See more of shrimp memes on Facebook. I don't want to see shrimp. Yeah, I can't, I can't show you the shrimp meme, I guess. What yeah, if I... no way. Like, logging into Facebook is too much. I had to <laughs> create again. a burner... I had to create a burner Facebook account to join... What What was it? The Meow Meow Purr Pals to keep an eye on the Purr Cat Cafe. Are you still in it? Yes. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Fred, by the way... Delete that shit. Or do, are you planning on making a follow up? Making a follow up video? Is that why you, you're still you're still in the Facebook group? No, 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 no. I'm in there just to see if anything more comes of it because I'm just fascinated. You fat. You just for your own personal gratification, you want to keep tabs on it. Mm -hmm. um, th there definitely was an insider who liked my videos who was very willing to uh, give me an in. <laughs> You found the Per Cat Cafe fucking like whistleblower or some shit. Yeah, no, That's somebody amazing. told me about it. I'm just <laughs> like they they said like I can get you into the like Meow Meow Per Pals Facebook group. And that then eventually like eventually I said, Hey, 
is that offer still on the table? <laughs> and he's she got was like, yes, it is. He's got a man on the inside. Wow, that's fucking devious. So, this is me sitting in my chair right now. Uh, I feel like it helps me concentrate better. Like, some games, I don't know, like, I can lean back. Like, if the, if the, if the game requires me to use my brain more, or if it's an FPS for some reason, I, I use this position with FPSs. Um, and it is certainly part of the reason that my back is so destroyed. But I don't really play FPSs very often. Splatoon, I would sit like that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It depends on the game I'm playing. Chess is definitely requiring the shrimp position mm -hmm. tonight. Definitely. No, I got you. For, for whatever reason. Uh, what did you just do? Uh, you... Oh, I gave you two minutes of time. And then you uh, moved... But I moved by G pot. Like, I'm, I'm fianchettoing again. He's doing a fianchetto. He, he likes that. He, it makes him win every time. Well, I'm like, I, I feel like there are better options in the French, but I just don't know them. So, I'm doing this. I need to study the French more. Okay. Okay. I should have did the, the bong smoke. What was it called? The bong rip? The bong cloud? I should have did the bong cloud. Clearly. Why didn't that, I that's what you're doing wrong. Why didn't I do the bong cloud? Uh... I'm very proud of you, Luca Chow. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Hmm? I think I know what you're gonna do. I'll be very proud of myself if you do it. I have a couple of options. I think one of them like makes more sense than the other ones though, but I'm not sure. Because again, there's so many things I'm not seeing. Love. 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 Am I aware it's almost 2 a.m.? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah. I'm very, I mean, I'm very tired, and my back hurts, but it's fine. Yeah. What if we could just get that that one bit of the song and loop it for 24 hours, Hergotrafum? You could use that shit at Guantanamo Bay. That's exactly what I thought you were gonna do. Oh, nice. I was considering B6 as well. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been a very a very similar move. I don't I don't really know where that leaves me, however. I hadn't anticipated what I would do if you did it. Now I feel it. That's that's me. On the reg. It's like, alright, I did it. I have I I think I have a decent position. Now what? Okay. Love. Love. <laughs> Love. 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 Okay. 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 kind of spicy right yeah but i mean i still win a piece yeah but you're, you still gotta yeah but yeah but don't worry about it yeah that's bad why did i do that why why am i like this you have the right idea um it's just dog it work is a little rough d dog shit execution I mean, that's not what I was gonna say, but, but yes, yes, but yeah, <laughs> but, 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 yes. but yes, dude, you're new. Like, this is what it's like to be new at chess. Yeah, I guess it's what it's like to be new at anything. Like... Yeah, no, this is this is obscenely normal. Um. Yeah. 
things are getting a little messy over there. I think I want to do this. He's going to castle. Or he's yeah, gonna, he's gonna I, that, that is what I'm thinking. I, yeah. I, he's going to try to set up a castle, and he's probably going to be most definitely going to do it. I mean, yeah, it's There's nothing it's I can do to prevent of, it. Yeah. yeah, not really. And that's fine. Like, castling is a thing that tends to happen in chess. Yeah, I'm probably going to do it too. TBH. Yeah. TBQH. I'm probably going to do the same thing. Um, what if, what if, chat, what if I, um, uh, huh, huh. Okay, I see. Do you? Yeah. Good night, No, GG. I can't take the knight because it's protected by your queen. Well, I could. It would just be a trade. That's not necessarily what I want to do. You did block in your bishop, though. For now. Yeah, for now, but... Um, oh no, people, I see people in chat discovering Justin RPG. For the first time? <laughs> no. Yes. Tita wants to upload a duplicate and ask to ignore the first one. Yes. Sure. What you gonna do? All right, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it fuck it is. Yep. Right. Right. What? The thing, you know. The, the you know the, the the thing. There's the thing. Well, now I'm worried. <laughs> No, you shouldn't be worried at all, honestly. Um, you should really not be, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing at all. It's actually kind of oh. it's kind of embarrassing. I did have some ideas, but none of them are, are panning out the way that I wanted them to, and everything's going to complete shit. Oh, good night, GG Mars. I don't know. If... Oh, we can do that. Oh, we can do... Oh. That was a while ago. They're probably long gone. Mike, just take the knight. No, I don't think that's a good idea at all. Because this bishop will just take it, and then there's there's and there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing I, I a, can fucking yeah, do about it. Trades when you're down material are not great, but I don't really see a much better option. You don't, right? Yeah. Because I'll let you in on what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at knight to c2. That is a severe threat right now. To me. Knight to C... Knight to C2. Yeah. You want to go here. That puts me into check. But look what else it attacks. The it's fucking... Fork. The, it's a fork. You're, you're forking me over. It's a, it's a royal fork. I'm being forked. I'm being forked. Yeah. You know, I had no idea what you were doing, Dan. None of that ever... I See, this is... I can't play this game. I'm too brain dead. Just give Fred five bucks to lose. Okay. Doing this. Yeah, right. That's yep. legit. Is it? Ah, it's kind stretchy. Of legit, right? It's kind of legit. Hmm. The question is, how do I approach this? Mm. 
I get complicated, but I feel like I don't need to get complicated right now. Actually, trading down might be a good idea. I don't want to lo like losing a bishop for a knight right now kind of sucks, but it is trading down material when I'm ahead. When you're winning, simplify. Keep but simple, stupid. Scope but open. Stop. <laughs> Scope but open. What a game. Yeah. Everything about it is per a perfect fucking game. The perfect game doesn't exist. <laughs> Bug snacks. Fred, will you scoopy my banoopy? Ooh, whoopy. <laughs> Ooh, whoopy. Ooh, whoopy. Actually. <laughs> Ooh, scoopy. No, I don't. Scoopy. Oh, whoopy. Banu whoopy. Banu whoopy. Banu whoopy. That's kind of, yeah. Got to work on that. We'll, we'll figure it out together. Does Fred Knudsen is gay? Remember that Bruno Mars article? Remember when you read the entire Bruno Mars article and somebody put yeah. it on YouTube? <laughs> YouTube? Yes, I, I, I remember. I remember this vividly. <laughs> and it was fucking beautiful. No, I don't want this knight running around. Ew! Yucky! Yuck! Yuck! No. I don't want that. You boned me. I've been boned. I've been thoroughly boned. Thoroughly boned. Okay. Now what? So I could start working my way over. I could also trade down. Which I, and that'll come with a threat. Comes with a threat, so I don't lose that. Opens up the file. You got a fancy little badge next to your name. Yeah, I do, because I'm a gold member and I got to choose one. You gave these people money? Yeah, I, I did it for the new video so I could take chess lessons. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks like they paid off. Okay, so he's doing that. That's pretty fancy. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have a big problem with that. That's all right. If he wants to do that, that's cool. I don't much mind that. I don't much mind that at all. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do something that he um, may not uh, um, expect in order to create an element of surprise. I'm going to create an element of surprise here. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, element. I'm going to do something so surprising many people will call it stupid. I think. Some people will call it dumb. Stupid banoopy. <laughs> <laughs> Other people will say it's brave and daring and brilliant even. It will be bold. And it's gonna be kinda it's gonna be kinda bold. It's gonna be kinda bold. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Let me let me put it let me put it to you that way, champ. Um Alright. Let's see it. Oh. What do you think of that? How's that tickle you how's it tickle you? Does it tickle you? No, it's, that's interesting. It's kind of interesting, right? It's a little bit interesting. I was right. I told you it was going to be interesting. Uh, it's a little bit, yeah, little bit wild. Yeah, another piece in. A little bit wild and crazy. A little bit no, funky. good. Uh, what do I do here? You got three attackers on it. I've got three. Okay. You could bring four. Which is a little spooky. Spooky Panopi! <laughs> How many different variations can we do of Spoopy Banoopy tonight? Fred, I ask you a question. If I got severe brain damage in an accident, and the only right. thing I could say was Scoopy Banoopy, would you still be friends with me? Would you, like, still be you? Yeah, and I would be able to communicate by, um... Like, gesticulating? The, the and... in intonations of how I say Scoopy Banoopy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
Scoopy yeah. Benoopy. Yeah, I'd, I'd, still, I'd still be your friend. Yeah. Scoopy Benoopy. Scoopy Benoopy. Scoopy Benoopy. <laughs> yes, I would still be your friend. Like a Pokemon, yeah. Yeah. Well, like the bug snack, yeah. Like the bug snack, yeah. which is like a Pokemon. Yeah, I can't believe they ripped that off so daringly. Like. <laughs> Is daring the correct word? You know they had a big conversation about it, and the conclusion at the end of it was nobody cared. Nobody gave a shit. Yeah. They were like, fuck it. How much of a man can you replace with Scoopy Banoopy before it becomes another person? Like a ship of Theseus? Ship of Banoopy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the worst part of... If, if there's one thing I don't like about Bug Snacks is that it makes me want to fucking inhale as much food as possible. It makes me so fucking hungry. Like, I just want to eat everything. Like, I even see Scoopy Banoopy- Even knowing they're parasites. Yeah, well, you know, like, well, well, I see Scoopy Banoopy. I don't even remember the last time I had a banana split. And I've been craving a banana split since I played that fucking game. Oh, now I am too. Right? I feel like there's some foods I have where I just- I think of them, and then I start craving them. Yeah, and that's all that game does, is shove foods in your face, and you're like, fuck. Food with the dude says, you're an adult, Mike. Just go buy a banana and some ice cream. A lot of assumptions yeah. in that sentence. A lot of assumptions. Like, <laughs> that sentence is f fucking thick with assumptions. I, I feel like going Swollen. to the store now always has the question of, but COVID. Of course, yeah. That's that's first of all. And you're you're saying I'm an adult, like, which everybody knows is fall a fallacy. It, it, it's like, am I willing to risk getting COVID for this banana split? For a banana split. That's my, where we fucking are right now. My answer is no. Yeah, my answer is no. This is just reality now. Um... You're assuming I, I want to spend or am able to spend money on a, a fuck bananas and ice cream. And you're assuming, like, guys, if I eat a fucking banana split, I will gain 30 pounds overnight. I will wake up and be 30 pounds fatter. My metabolism is honest, honestly shockingly, unbelievably slow. Like, science would not believe it. How slow my fucking metabolism is. Like, I cannot enjoy food. I can't. I can't. D is it my turn, Fred? Yes. How long has it been my turn, dude? Uh, a few minutes. A few fucking minutes, huh? Wild. <laughs> just fucking wild, man. Just, just crazy. Unbelievable. And I had no idea. All right. Um, things have to fucking happen here, don't they? Things have to happen. Well, right now, I come out better if the pressure is released. You do. Yeah. Things. Things have to happen. Uh. uh okay. Um. Just gonna do that because things have to happen. Things must happen. Things must take place here. There's nothing funny I can do either. It's just, it's tragedy. It's nothing but tragedy. No funny moves. None. Trying to figure out if there's anything you can do with your queen. I'm thinking about that too. I'm thinking about Not really. Thinking about honestly, thinking about B4 to kind of make things a little bit, uh, a little bit weird. Yeah, just like um, the the point of my B6 move was to stop your queen from immediately coming in to help. Uh huh. Um, even though it could have, I think, with B3. Yeah, well, it was it paid off. I I can't. I just I, my my brain doesn't work like that. That's fucking nuts. 
All right. Like you still, yeah, you could have gone B3. You still can go B3 and add pressure. Um, but that the point of my B6 move is partially to like limit your queen's movement in my territory, but also to make room for my bishop to move to B7 to get in on that dog pile. <laughs> the dog pile. Okay. Um, I don't know why that's funny to me. Probably it's like that time of night where everything's funny because I'm just I'm so shot, you know. Um. Hmm. Waverling, is there any way to make a board set up in a legal standard board that has the king surrounded by eight pawns? That's a good question. If you coordinated it with the other person, you mean? I don't really. I don't know why it's a good question, but. Oh, I got a funny move for you. I got a I, I got a it, hilarious move for you. You ready? It, I don't think it is actually. Is it? A very comical move. Is it? A little bit. I think it's pretty funny. You don't think it's funny? Mm -hmm. Funny move. Decent move, Moshi. Hi, Moshi. Thanks for coming tonight. There I, there wasn't a good one. It didn't feel like there was a, a good move, you know? I feel it, yeah. Kind of got your back against a wall right now. There's no continuation there. This song is making me think of Mario Sunshine. Which song? It's it's called Feeling On Owl, the Austrian oh. wine poisoning. What did you do? You moved the rook? Rook to E8. You moved rook to E8. I wonder why you did that. Really, I don't really get why you did that, but... Well, it puts my rook on the same file as your king. Mm -hmm. It sure does, and that's going to cause some, some problems for me. Mm. Giving him a little backup. Back up, that ass! Music to piss off the side of a gondola, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's funny because people do that. Do they? Uh, yeah, dude. The entire city of Venice is just sewage. Like, all those really beautiful looking canals is all fucking feces. Uh, and it smells like it. I shouldn't it. be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. The whole city just fucking reeks. Like, you think like, it's romantic because you're in the gondola with your, your, your sweetie? Or whatever? Mm -hmm. Nah, it's just like you're, fu you, you, you're just sailing down a fucking sewer. No, I remember, um, wasn't that a whole thing where people, like, the coronavirus restrictions went in at Venice and then the rivers just were absolutely beautiful. Is, th is that right? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah there, there was video of it. Yeah, like, it the, like the, the river became really clear. All right. Here's my play. Uh, all right. I'm going to move this bishop here. Fish moved back in. Okay. Okay. Nature is healing. Kind of for real, though. Okay. I think... I think this is okay. Now, things are getting a little dicey here. That was a decent move. Bringing my final piece into the game. There it is. The big, the big fucky wucky. There it is. Damn. And there it is. There it is. Okay. Mm. 
there will be blood. There will be blood here. There's no way around it. There's going to be blood. There's going to be a lot of blood. Do, do you want some more time on your clock? No. No? No. Do okay. you want to play this out? Yeah. Things have to happen. Right. Things have to happen here. Um, yeah, things have to happen. It's going to be a bloodbath, and it's not going to look good for me at the end of it. Hmm. I'm going to castle. That's, that's what reasonable. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. That's actually really reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Yep. Put you in a tough spot. Hmm. chat by the way thank you for not telling me what to do tonight i haven't really been seeing too much of that i saw it a little bit but i was ignoring it it's because they don't know what to do <laughs> it's, it's it's that i think for 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 a lot of them that's the case but there's also there's 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 no back seating you know which yeah. i i think i appreciate for this no for sure yeah mm -hmm. okay Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know right. what the plan is. Let's see it. It's like a two-turn idea, but... Okay. okay, that achieves... That achieves... But it hinges on you expecting me to do something specific, does it not? No, I, I haven't been playing that way. You haven't been playing that way? No, I've not. I, I've been trying to legitimately play. Yeah, watch your time. Yeah, I see. You sure you don't want some extra time? You could give me some extra time. I'm not going to Okay. I'm not gonna okay. It up. All right, I've got you. I'm, I'm very into this right now. I'm very, very into this. Like, I'm... Giving, I'm giving this my literal everything right now. Yeah, I'll give you as much time as I have. There. Okay. So I want a good game. Are you getting a good game? Were the were, was was this at least entertaining for you tonight? Even though you just yeah, no, this position know, is scary as fuck. Wiped the floor with me over and over. No, this this position is spoopy banoopy. Spoopy. What's he doing? Why did he do that? Oh, look at this. He's really beefing up that, that, that fucking line back there. Check that out. He's really beefing it up. Ooh, beefy. Beefy. Hi, Sin City Assassin. Your cousin was one of the original programmers for this site? That's cool. When was oh, that? that's rad. When was that? The 80s? <laughs> it's probably not the this 80s. Site, this site's pretty modern. Probably, probably not the 80s. Most definitely oh. not the 80s. Uh, can you, hi, Just the Toe. Fred, can you say, hello, Mario, I'm the Sco I'm Scoopy Banoopy in the Mario voice, but also make it sound like Scoopy Banoopy? The Luigi voice, I'm sorry. What did you just say? I want you to say, <laughs> like, look what Just the Toe is, Just a Toe is saying. I want you to say that in the Luigi voice, but also make it sound like Scoopy Banoopy. Hold on, let, let me, let me, let me make my move first. All right. Okay. Yeah, combine three voices. <laughs> voices. <laughs> All right. It's done. All right. So he's 
starting to... Yeah, he's he's fucking making moves now. He's doing things. He's getting shit done here. Yeah. Yeah, he's making things happen. He's making things happen. Okay. I will be doing this. Um, what, did you, what did you want the person to say? That's what I'm doing. Getting that, that rook to come hang out a little bit. Ooh, penis. Okay. All right. Let's, let's just nab that. No, that's not Michael. You can't do that, Michael. Come on, Michael. Come on, Michael. Michael, what are you doing, man? Mike, you fucked up everything, man. You fucked up everything, Mike. Mike, you fucked up everything. You fucking... You... You fucked me so good. So good. I didn't even know you could do this. You've been thinking about it the whole time. I had no idea you could even, you could even do that. I've been shoring up my defenses before I tried to do anything. Look, like, look at the the ellipses and attack. look at the ellipses in the chat. That's how I know it's over for sure. The ellipses in the chat. I don't think so. I think the only reason they're doing that is because that's what you're saying to yourself. No, no, they know it's they know I'm 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 fucked. It's over. It's it's fucking it's fucking over. It's 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 over. Yeah, now, now they're all doing ellipses. It's over. Because you said so. It's fucking over. Yeah, there are people in chat going, Frank, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it's over. It's See, all if I was, apart. if I was smart, if I was smart, my last turn would have been spent moving this bishop to F3. But it's too late to do that now, bike. So what do what do I want to give up? I want to give up the rook, or I want to give up the queen. I probably want to give up the rook. I think. Mm -hmm. If it's a choice, it's 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 a choice between the two. Well, you could have just moved the queen. What do you mean? I could have just moved the queen. I I'm done. can have that. Take that with the fucking bishop. Take that. I'm just... My heart just fucking fell out of my asshole. I have... I have no will left now. That just fucking ruined me so badly. I'm fucking... I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Yeah, I, that just crushed my fucking spirit so badly. I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. It's okay. That's it's, it's the game. That's the game. I didn't I didn't want to make you feel bad. I did what the chat told me to check check his king cuz that's the only time I fucking achieve anything is when I do what chat tells me to do. All right. Um Just going to start listening to chat. <laughs> Yeah, start back seating now, chap. Now's now's <laughs> the time. Now's the time to start doing it. Yeah. There was so much hope before that happened. Eight chess moves that will blow his mind and destroy his penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt so much, but I have no choice. I had no choice, dude. It's over. There was hope. Like, there was actual hope, chat. There was actual fucking hope. We can check the an the analysis of the game afterward. I'm sure that's gonna just be a depression fest. 
I feel like I feel like I didn't play that pin very well. Does it matter? Hope is the worst. That's the last time I have hope in my life. I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm never going to have hope for anything ever again. You think I would have learned that by now? At fucking... Maybe was this was the stream about idea? I'm about I, to turn know, just... I'm about to turn 35 years old and I just have had a lifetime of disappointment. You think I would have fucking learned by now never to fucking have hope? No, I'm exaggerating it, Fred. It's fine. I had a really good oh, time. Okay, tonight. okay. No, I had a great time tonight, man. Thank you for coming and doing this with me. I mean, of course. I, I was having a good time. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dude. I'm fucking around. Mike just okay, became okay. Da da Dangan Ranpa. I'm Dangan Ranpa now. What we if Dangan Ranpa now? What if we did another one? I might win. You're doing better. The more you, the I'm more right that we play, the better you do. Right okay, so I'm I'm doing an analysis of that massive pin. Apparent. Okay, no, it wants Ke me to trade down the knight. It doesn't want me to Fianchetto. Apparently, Fianchettoing is really bad. Do you want to share your screen with me so I can see? What yeah, you're sure. All right. I'll... Um, give me a sec. Here we go. Okay, so I'll flip it so we can see it from your side. There we go. All right. Okay, so computer says analysis. Yeah, book move, book move, book move, book move. Oh, I got a no, thumbs. No, I got a thumbs excellent. up for that one. Yeah, it's excellent. Yep, it's uh, it's not like the best move, but it's basically like it's one of the best moves. Um, so I go with the French. It's a book move. You have a book move. This apparently is a huge mistake. Um, because if you go here, then I think like you win a pawn with temp. Or whoops, pawn. Why is this a mistake? Because bishop to g7. Bishop Be to b2. Because at the end of it, I would have been up material. And you get it. You get, no. You can just block it. That's why. Um, I see it. So yeah. Um, this actually is the best move. Funny enough. The it's... best move I could have made right there. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I, I, I still solid. lost. So like, does any of this matter? Yeah, of course. You want, like, I mean, you want, if you want to get better, then you want to look at what you did right and you want to recognize what you did right. I don't but want to get better. I want to win. I don't. I know. I'm, I'm just being a dick. I know. I know. <laughs> but no, like, the, like you, you had the right idea. This was a, the problem with this is that this take forks the bishop and the knight. And this is just one of those patterns you have to get used to. I've, I've, I have fucking fallen for like pawn forks so many times and it's the worst feeling right because it's like ah dick you're losing a high value piece to a pawn right yeah what and a then fucking... from this point i had like control of the game what a uh, fucking this... clown show this is a yeah, clown this... show what, what was this i think i capitalized on this yeah i take 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 yeah there was apparently a better way to do it but fuck it I was kind of at the point where I'm like, oh god, just don't fuck up, Fred. Oh look, moving the rook got me a thumbs up. Yeah, it was good. It was like, you're defending the knight, and I just decided to trade. Um, I didn't need to, but I wanted to simplify. Remember when I was just like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm winning, so I'm just going to simplify. Mm -hmm. That I, I, My instinct there was completely correct. Yeah, this move scared the fuck out of me, by the way. Like, that. this is when I buckled down and started getting nervous because i was just like ah shit yeah that was the funny yeah, like, move remember i was like thinking of a funny move yeah but like this means that i can't initiate the trade so i was just like right. i i'm losing control of the game here like you you started like this might not have been the quote unquote best move yep. but it's the move that gave you more chances for victory mm -hmm. so like i would say that this is still like one of the best moves you could have made. Because when you're behind, just playing the best move, when you're this far behind, just playing the best moves will result in a loss. At that mm -hmm. point, you got to start trying to fuck with your opponent's head. And this definitely fucked with my head. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well. I, like, there, there goes my... Um, my I games. feel like I had the initiative up yeah. till this point. You know what my advantage is? Is that I have no head to fuck with. <laughs> Just brain empty. Like, how do you? Like, it's like a force in nature. Like, you have. Like, how do you? How do you f fuck with somebody's mind? How do you play mind games when they have no mind? You know. I wanted me to go here. I was seeing this move because it would break the pin, but I also didn't want to lose a defender on the pawn. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just adding defenders. I was looking at this move, funny enough, but I didn't want to. That would have been staggers. according to. I guess to the... like, if you took, it wasn't that huge of a deal because then knight takes and I'm still up material. Yeah. And I'm up a tempo, so this was good. Uh, you need to get your rook into the game really bad. Yeah, that was uh, I was thinking about all that actually when I did all of yep. this. Because no, I had like, a, I had a bishop and a rook sitting down there doing absolutely nothing. Like there was no scenario where that was a good thing. Exactly. Yes. No, like you had the like. Here's the thing, right? I've just been playing for a few months. Yeah. So like I've I, I think the only reason that I'm winning is because I'm more comfortable seeing these patterns, mm -hmm. right? It's you like when when you were making moves when you were making a lot of these moves, you have the right idea. And I think that with just a little bit more experience, you'll be like doing quite well. Like you're you're seeing a lot of the things that you need to see, and right. like that this is after like three hours of play, you're doing great. Like I <laughs> I if I were you, I would be feeling pretty good about myself. Uh, well, you know what, man. Uh, at the end of the day, I still have that gorilla grip pussy. So you know what, everything yeah. where everything really works out. I love the question mark with that, that the implication right. is where the website is saying like, what's wrong with you? Right. Yeah. That's the question uh, preceding that, taken... that question mark. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid? Because... You're, are, yeah, are basically. You stupid? No, the, the site lets you know when it thinks you're a dumbass. The question mark. It's like, hmm. Wow. You're, you're looking, a moron. Looking at this bar is one of the most debilitating things in the world because the 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 engine is going to see the best moves mm -hmm. though the vast majority of the time. Right. And so when you make a move, the best you can hope for is for the bar not to move. Right, right. The the only time this bar moves, the only time there's movement is when you fuck up. <laughs> and so it's just so demotivating. The computer to be like, yes, like you made you made the best move. Congratulations, you are adequate. <laughs> I've been ignoring that the entire night. But, but by the way, that's fair. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Um, but when when you fail, it's just like, mm. you know, what would be better if instead of a question mark, it was ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this. Oh, there's a quick. What does that mean? So that that actually you're is extra stupid. Than just a question mark. That's an inaccuracy. Meaning, uh, meaning that it's a weak move. That is a, so an like, exceptionally the, it, it bad go, move. It goes yeah. best move, excellent, good. A book move is just like you know, yeah. a standard move. Yeah. In, an inaccuracy is a weak move. A mistake is a bad move that immediately worsens your position. A blunder is a very bad move that could lose material, material or end the game. And then a missed win is just when you um, miss something that would have given you material or the game. So I got that was a mistake right there. Uh, that that was an inaccuracy. Inaccura inaccuracies are oh. question mark excla exclamation point okay. question mark exclamation point question mark exclamation. It's called an interrobang. Did you know that? Oh yes, I I did know that. Boop, and then I always okay. forget that. Thunk. 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 A lot of thunking has. Oh, this the du the is... double question mark. Did you see the double question mark? Yeah, it's a blunder. That was like the. You, you are a dumbass when you get that. Red double it's, question it's, mark. Yeah, it's it's like one of the worst moves you could have made, basically. Man, that makes see, me feel real good about myself. And then boop. Then it's mate in seven. And then it's mate in six. Yeah, I found it. Then this is mate in one. Certified dumbass. 100% approved board, board certified... 100% dumbass. USDA grade dumbass. The double you question mark stamp of approval. You legitimately were like figuring, like I feel like after a few more sessions you'd be giving me a run for my money. I, then I, I just beefed so hard. There were some good moves and then just so much beef. Did, but question. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, yeah. no, 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 no. Shut, shut the fuck up for a minute. Mm -hmm. You have no familiarity with this game. Nah, that's right? true. None. Right, none. Like, none. going into this, you specifically said, don't teach me how to play at the beginning of tonight. I want to just, like, do it. 
I did say that. I figured we should yeah. just dive into some games. I don't know. I don't know what the logic was. I made a joke in. about it, but yeah. This this game is completely unfamiliar. You don't know any of the patterns. You don't know you don't know what a good or bad position looks like. You don't know what to try to get to do. And by the end of the night, you were making moves that were making me sweat a bit. Oh yeah, I had you sweaty? Like <laughs> Yeah, like like that. Like, You're not just on. saying that, Fred? No, I'm not just saying that. Like as soon as you made uh, where was it? The this rook. move. I was just yeah. like, like I didn't see this. Mm. I did not see this move. You found like you found something that I did not even consider. Can you do me a favor? Can you go look at the the um the rankings of the moves again, where it had like all the the um yeah the little icons. What, these? Did yeah. you ever get the brilliant? The the one no, at the top. No, I've never gotten a brilliant. You never got a brilliant. No, I think it's something that like even the engine doesn't find. Look at his 15 best moves. I got that one blunder. Blunder. <laughs> That's the technical <laughs> term. I love that. I love it. Blunder. Um, but I... Can, can, oh my god. If we play more chess, we're going to need a blunder emote. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Alright. I have to end this. Um, The shrimp is starting to get to me. I uh, um, yeah. All right. Take take care of yourself. I want to say thank you to everybody who came to watch this tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed oh. the stream. Um, I know again it was a little bit it was a little bit different, but uh, whatever. Check. Oh, there's art. Just on wanted, the to, wanted to wanted to try something. Uh, this was art. this was Fred's idea. Um, and I was very apprehensive at first because I knew I was just gonna get abused all night, and I was like, I don't know, that sounds kind of embarrassing. Like it's gonna make me. I was worried it was gonna make me look and feel stupid, and it did. But it was okay because it was fun, and uh, I had a good time. I don't know. Was there no, it was like at, the more you play chess, the more fun it becomes. I promise. Uh, I also want to say thank you to all the people who subbed, resubbed, uh, and all that donated bits. I'm gonna shout you all out individually here in a second. Um, also, if anybody is new to the channel, you can find me on Twitter, and you can find me on YouTube. There's two channels on YouTube, full streams and highlights. All the links to that shit is going to be in the chat momentarily. Nice and easy for you. Thank you, Herrick Trafham. Also, if you made art, put it on the Buru. We're going to look at that in a second, too. Uh, let me do a thing here. Uh, hold on. I'm going to mosey on over to... The creator dashboard, which is where it shows me all the subs and such. Uh, five hours ago. Oh, we've been at this a while, haven't we, dude? We have, yeah. And I mean, it, it we were going tense. to end like two hours ago, and you're like, no, let's go again. Dude, because I started getting really into it, man. Like, I want, I was thirsty for, for, for victory, you know? No, I could tell. Like, you, like, we started out just, like, chilling, you know, talking about batching. <laughs> and then, and then, like... About two hours ago, just the conversation stopped. And it got, like, hardcore, yeah. Alright, so, here's what we got. Uh, plus two, double razor bear, Zumba Fitness, uh, Bun Time, and Vineheart, Beef Nation, M Jam, Peachy Froggy, Spaghetti Puncher, Sea Urchin Head, Nick Delcat, Femme Famigi, Crystal Jank, Ultran 122, Max Z-Lock, Ghost Disease, L.E.J., Raven Hallow, Moist Angie, Lips, round, Lounge Around, Pure Bread Doge, Felicron, that sounds like a bug snack, uh, Felicron, Hue Time, uh, Ziggaus, Lulu Lu, Newcomer 3, Car Sausage, uh, which is such an interesting concept to me. I'd like to explore that more. Uh, Zachros, Coil Twitch Bot, Captain Dogbeard, I Pikachu's U2, Tom Hanks Officially, and Mr. Cat's Bagel, Welcome to the family. There's bits in there. There's subs in there. There's resubs in there, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Keeping the lights on over here. And also, Fred, thank you, you beautiful men, for hanging out with me tonight and uh, playing this game with me. This was this was such a good time. I, I'm um, really, I, I was really worried for a little while that I just, like, ruined your evening. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. I, I know I sounded exasperated, but that's because, like, I get into things and I want to win. But that's not gonna, you know, um, that's, that, that, that's, that's me when I'm not doing well at, at anything, and it's not your fault. I much prefer this than you had just sat there and, like, went easy on me all night or something. I knew I definitely didn't want that. I hate that shit. So, I, 
like I I feel like it's disrespectful a lot of the time. No, not no, I don't I don't think so. Th this was the like, only I'm... way this was going to go down and I knew that and I was totally okay with it before I even started the stream. Like I took, you know, some time to think about it, you know, do I really want to sit there and get my ass kicked all night in front of a bunch of people? And I think I came to the conclusion the answer was yes. So no, you didn't ruin my fucking evening. No. No okay. night spent with you is ever bad, Fred. Oh, my. I love you, buddy. I love you. I do. Love it's you true. too, it's man. Real. It's real. The love is real. Um, I'm gonna look at the Buru. Let's do it. Um, and there are quite a few. Uh, is Mario's dick smasher from the night? Here. No, no, no. It's last night. <laughs> no, it's the last night. Uh, Fucking Jesus. There's that face. There's a yeah. The face is is top tier. It's from one of the trailers for the new Super Mario Land theme park section. I assume in... so. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you did, you see the trailer? Because there's a little uh, segment I, no, where where like like people are running underneath CGI thwomps, and some of them are being fucking smashed by them. It's awesome. It's kind of disturbing. Okay, so this is from Ventahex. This is incredible. Um. A really fucking gorgeous take on Carrion Dal's Jabroni Chan design. I think it's Tita's design actually originally, and then Carrion Dal uh, d d adapted it or something, or was it the other way around? I don't know who did the 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 original Jabroni Chan design. That was j okay. So Carrion Dal started it, and now Tita is gonna make the face rig for it, and now. Ventahex is jumping in on the party and doing these awesome fucking designs. Alternative outfits for Carrion Dow's Jabroni Chan. I used Tita's uh, V-Roid model as a reference and the middle outfit was inspired by a teacup. Uh, I love like awesome. yeah, the sassy one on the right with the really fucking stylish dress uh, but was just it's just like a little bit playful, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> No, uh, I love these. These are fantastic. The one in the middle, that dress is fucking amazing. And I like the the, the cheese pattern, like the cheesecloth for the fucking tights and the clown shoes. The, <laughs> yeah. The, the clown platform shoes, the clowny it's platform like, shoes. It's like tastefully clown. You know and, what I mean? And then on the left there, it's like a kind of uh, I, like ca wear. casual, but, but like upscale casual kind of like... Like fucking, I don't know what Hollister type of, type of a vibe from that one. E girl, yeah, yeah E girl. Um, I I I love this Ventahex. Thank you, uh, so much. This is fucking awesome. Outstanding, outstanding art here. Yeah, uh, also the design, the designer choker. I almost missed the designer choker. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're very very leggy jabronis. Uh, these gals, very leggy. Uh, what a yeah, fucking these are cool, awesome outfits, though. What a, what a cool concept, fuck. And yeah, I'm, I, I, the one in the middle, too, like, has the, the the Venetian mask without the things coming off the side, so it's like a, a masquerade mask, so she's like, she's going to a ball or something. This is so fucking awesome, damn. Thank you. Th there's Thanks. a lot being told in just the designs alone. R right? Right? Yeah. Um, And that's actually very similar to the design that... uh. I feel like a piece of shit, but I forgot their name. Grace and Glory? Was it? Was it? The... No. Who did Grace the... Grace and Glory? The uh, art for the... The, the one who did the... Uh, the art for... The Warrens. The Warrens. The Warrens. Yes. Uh, I'm right, right? Yes. Yeah, that's that's inspired by that design of the of the Venetian mask uh, yeah. fella. All right, so here's some art from Nulvoy. Uh, and it's me taking a big old chomp out of one of your pieces, I guess. Your move, bitch. <laughs> eat the pieces. He can't win if I eat his pieces. It's true. I love, uh, yeah, I love this art. This is, um, it's got that kind of, I get like an Undertale sort of vibe from it. You see it? A little bit. I yeah, see yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Mischievous. It's fucking awesome. Thank you, no Nuvoy. Very cool. Uh, this is delightful. This is from Intellect, And it you. I love it. Really cute. I'm, uh, I'm such a baby. I still like get get that floaty feeling in my gut when I see fan art of me. I'll tell you what. 
I've been doing like, it. it I, I, I've been at this for four years, right? Mm -hmm. I've been making videos for four years and I, it still gives me the, those butterflies. Fred, I was just going to basically say the same thing. As long as I've been doing this, like you think at some point you, you like you get, you get tired of it. You get tired of it or, or you get, you get like, like it doesn't affect you anymore in that way but no every time i see no. a piece of fan art from somebody it's just it, it fucking brightens me up man it never it never gets oh. old yeah it's cool as shit I, I i love that guys thank you for making I, all I awesome this. art and i'm i'm looking at this i'm looking at art from from people like every night you know like five four or five times a week i'm i'm, I'm seeing it and it's like nah i never i i never got tired of it i never got bored of it it's just i always love it it feels mm. so good yeah oh just um, I don't know. It feels good. I, I don't know. Don't. Is it narcissistic? Uh, get, I don't get, think it's getting narcissistic. Real, getting real. I don't. I don't have a great self-image, so to see people draw me like this is really like ah. Also, the night is precious. You see that <laughs> he's such. He's such. All just, like horse. The face is yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, the night's really good. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. And then you're enjoying a tea too. Very cool. Thank you, uh, intellect. I love it. Uh, there's another bit. Here, this one's for. Oh, this is from Tita. Uh, it's the the Jabroni Chan uh, face rig. Oh my God! There it is. It's, it's actually coming together. It's, ha it's happening. It's happening. Shit! I love the the sweater that falls off the shoulders with the um, and you could see like the, I don't know, like the tank top underneath. Is that what it is? Yeah, I I think or just yes. Yes, I don't know. There are a million names for uh, so shirt, like so uh, shirts without sleeves. All right. So what what am I what am I meant to do with this Heracotraf? Read the comments on Tita's art, but ignore the first one. So you want me to read this? All right. Um, say hello to Jabroni Chan's first stable release. I did consider emailing you, but I want to guarantee you seeing certain information. Good idea. I've done a lot of research and found an easy and free program you can use called VC Face Alternative to the Paid Luppet. Uh, I swear it's not. I don't want it to be a source of stress. No, I, I, I just, just, we'll, we'll figure it out. Don't worry. Oh, this is so, this is so sweet. They, they included, um, um ignore like a, a video for a tutorial. And then it says, and then it says ignore above. Well, hang out. What? Well, Paragatrafim said read the the comment and ignore the first one. So I don't understand what. I get well, well, the comments is I screwed up the comments. I swear it's not as long as it looks. There's a duplicate. Ignore the first, please. I beg you, Jabroni Chan. Please read comments. Uh, either way, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, we'll we'll get it figured out. This looks fucking awesome. It looks really uh, good. Yeah. This is this is really good work, Tia. I love this. I'm certainly gonna gonna be using this if and when we can get it to work, which hopefully do it, coward. Will, will oh be my soon. god, no. do it when we play chess next. Okay, yeah, fuck it. Get get your face. Okay, so one funny thing about chess players uh, that it, it's sort of a stereotype. Chess players have really bad poker faces. Uh, well, in that, like, they're, how they feel about a position is always obvious on their face. Even when they're across the board from someone. Well, we can't see um, each other's faces, but I will make uh, a... It, I will grunt or go like, come or something, you know. So you right. You know how I'm going to feel about it. Vo vocally, yeah, I let you know how I feel about it, right? No, um Gary Kasparov he is notoriously like he has a notoriously bad poker face. Like he's he just broadcasts exactly yeah. what he's thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just by watching him play. Uh Yeah, the face rig is not going to give away anything cuz it's honestly the, the it's just gonna look like I'm stroking out the entire time. You're not gonna be able to tell anything from looking at the face right <laughs> Uh This is from Paint Sponge. Uh, check this out. Fred, not understanding how he's losing to me. <laughs> me, who's been eating his pieces when he's not looking. This is a, a meme format, right? Old meme. An old, old meme. meme. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Love it, Paint Sponge. Thank you. Uh, and what else do we got here? We got, uh, one final piece from The Food with the Dude. <laughs> and it's, uh, remember our, like, Star Wars sonas that, uh, they made for us? Yes, right? yes. Is our, it, you're, you're the Wookiee and I'm, I think, like, a Twi'lek or something? It's good. 
and, and there we are playing. Uh, I don't remember. I don't know what the game is called from from Star Wars. It's like hyper chess. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking, like, definitely one of those things where you're like, yup, that was George Lucas's idea. Right. It's, no question I, about I, it. I feel like they'd, yeah. be, they'd be playing something, it looks more like Total War than it does chess. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Uh, yeah, the Wookiee's hair is perfect. It's got the little... It's, <laughs> it's I know, got, it's the got the thing. Got the <laughs> it's got the swoop. That's fucking perfect. Oh, dear. <laughs> Apparently, come Chuggo never heard the old adage about letting the Wookiee win. <laughs> good, good description. Uh, I still love the name Come Chuggo. These come two are, <laughs> are always super fun to draw. Very cool, man. Punda boo boo. Uh, all right. Babu. We got to wrap this up, guys. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support. Uh, am I going to stream tomorrow? Yeah, I probably maybe. Probably maybe. Um, I still, I really want to see if I could get those fucking corruptions to happen. I, I really want to try to make that. Tomorrow, I, I have to wake up and email that person back. Um, there are a couple of, there's a lot of legwork for the ROMs. Like, it's not an easy thing to, to, to do, man. Like... Guys, the amount of Vinny, the amount of work that Vinny does to 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 make those corruptions and shit happen is just, it's fucking. I don't know. I don't know how he does it so consistently. Like it's not an easy thing. But I have done it before. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. He gets help, Tita, but you still have to. There's you still have to do a lot. Like it's not like your standard stream prep. Like not even fucking close. Like you it takes hours to get because you have to make sure they work and shit and, and all that, and you got to get the resources and you got to get the files and you got to get all the you got to get all the shit. Um, you can get banned for mentioning somebody who's been. Why does that sound fake? All right. Well, I mean, if it's true, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I, just why do I doubt that? that that's oh really yeah, that actually is like technically a thing. Which is weird. I don't. I don't under. I don't understand, man. Uh, that. What, what? What? Why? I. Let's. Let's not. Okay. I didn't know. I'm sorry. All right, guys. Also, is the suspension different from a ban? I believe it is. So you know, I mean, I. Yeah, I like we'll that. Call that... him. We'll call him Panda Babu. I, I have a lot more to say about it, but I guess I can't. So forget it, guys. Ha have a great night. Uh, I'll see you all soon. Lots of love. Take care of yourselves. Love each other. And Stop. Uh, be, be, be safe, everybody. Let's sign off, Fred. <laughs>